All right, let me see if the YouTube uh, streaming thing is working. We are going to be playing the map packs today, okay? I just got to make sure that everything is working and going good. All right, looks like it is. Let me check right, the audio. Like let me check right. the audio. And all right, uh, I think we got it. So, and, all right. We're going to be reviewing the map packs today, but we're going to be doing them in order. So, that means, you know, we're not going to be doing alpha pack first, for example. We're going to be doing, like, everything that came out in the 1.6 wave of packs, then the 1.7 wave of packs, then the, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, we are starting with level easy. This stream is going to get instantly copyrighted, so I barely put any ads on it. You know, Forever Bound is going to take all my money anyway, so who cares? Uh, let's see, do I enable progress bar? Probably not, right? I think, mm, no, I'll keep progress bar on. It doesn't matter. 22 viewers already? That's crazy. Okay. So, we're going to be reviewing all the map pack levels. I'll probably change the tier list uh, around later because um, it's it's some stuff I... <laughs> it's, it's like a way of categorizing the levels that I disagree with, which is like, in the bottom, it's like, oh, cream of the crab, you know, whatever. And, yeah. You know, I'm just going to be doing the normal SSS or SS to F tier. Uh, if the audio is bad, let me know because, you know, audio bounce. Oh, my God. I don't, I'm looking at the stream chat too much. All right. I gotta, I, so pretty much how these streams work, if you've never been here before, is I go through these levels in practice mode and I rate them on a tier list, right? So, let's see what happens. Let's see who, who now what do you guys think the best map hack level will be? I have some guesses, but what do you guys, what do you guys think? It's probably not level easy because as much as I like this level and as much as I documented the history of it on my channel, I mean, you know, it's level easy. Like, it's pretty good. It's not the greatest thing ever. Like, even stuff like this is pretty cool for the time, right? Like, oh, uh, <laughs> you can choose two routes and one of them will kill you, but the other one, uh, or one of them has a higher chance of killing you, but the other one doesn't. This is literally the only flaw I see with level easy uh, level design is that if you hold here, you die there, right? That's the only flaw that I'll point out. Because otherwise, I think level easy is just, there's nothing really right with it, but there's nothing wrong with it either. Like, it's just, it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good. Oh, so, so yeah. Let's just uh, play through this and see what happens. Uh, is the audio balancing good? I'm just looking at chat while I do this. Oh my god. Yo, he's dying to two spikes. The goat fell off. Damn it. Alright, so yeah. And this part this part looks pretty cool, right? Like, This isn't just like a generic stereo madness copy, clearly. Let's see. Streams current bitrate. Recommend the... YouTube's recommending I, I like up, up the streams a bit bit rate or something. I don't think my Wi-Fi is good enough for that, so it's probably gonna stay uh, low as heck. What do you guys think? Is the quality good? Or is the quality okay? So yeah, then this final shit part, you know. It's a level easy, nothing crazy. I think this is the definition of a, a B tier level, right? And it's nothing bad for the time, it's just nothing crazy. So with that we have our first rate right here. I'm gonna open up this. So level easy. Alright, I'm gonna change all this uh, tier list. Garbo, okay. SS. Hmm. I don't think there's any SS tier map pack levels. I, like there technically is, but like even stuff like um, a drift or retray came out during Death Moon time, so I, I don't think there's such a thing as an SS tier map pack level. But I'll I'll be down to change this later if that changes. But yeah, pretty much S to F. Oh, by the way, the title and the description say Gauntlet tier list. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. Thanks for thanks for saying that. A live map pack tier list, okay? Awesome sauce. An opinion on, I'm just gonna change it to opinion on map pack levels and then delete the rest of the description. Great catch, great catch. Sir. All right. Bum, bum, bum. All right, I believe that's saved now. So something about open widget to see if the stream Okay, so it says I recommend they use a stream bit rate of 6,800. So I'll, I'll just like, I'll pull, I'll pull up the stream menu and see if I could change that. Uh, stream bit rate. All right, let's go with the 6,800. I don't know if my Wi-Fi is good enough for that, but let's, let's find out. All right, if you guys notice anything wrong with the stream later, let me know and stuff like that. And now we can confidently place level easy in the B tier. There's nothing wrong with it. If anything, it's above average for the time. It is a 1.1 level after all. So yeah, it's it's probably just gonna get better from here. Dreamland. Check level easy's comments. What about level easy's comments? Okay, yeah, this guy's a troll. <laughs> yeah, dude, seeing people like bait is funny as heck. 
Um, all right, Dreamland. So, Dreamland. So, the thing is, I have so much to say about Gauntlet levels, but with map packs, it's like, you know, if they're all like 1.0 levels, it's it's gonna be hard to harder to say stuff, right? So, I mean, Dreamland looks pretty good for the time. This is, I don't think this is a 1.0 level. Yeah, it's not a 1.0 level. It's a 1.1 level. But yeah, there's no mirror portals. So, what I like about this level is, uh, I guess, the site re readability aspect of it. You got the jump pads, right? And every time you see a jump pad, you sort of know whether or not it's going to kill you, right? Like, this is technically a memory level, but if you know your mechanics, you can sight read this. So this is sort of like a smarter version of back on track, which I like. And obviously, the level's really, like, well-polished and put together. So while it probably has, like, slightly less unique aspects than level easy, if I had to guess that this level also ends up in the B tier. Also funny structures. Real funny, Scambrooks. Real funny. How mature of you. Anyways. Don't... Yeah, this level doesn't really have a whole lot of, like, flaws I can think of. I know the, the name at the end is kind of badly built, but, like, oh, I might, okay. You know what I mean? This is probably another B tier. What do you guys think? Comment your tier ratings in the chat, okay? We got A tier, B tier, C tier. You know what I'm saying. Man, DJ VI is going to get so much ad revenue from this stream. He's going to get, like, 12 bucks, guys. Boom. All right. So... I say B tier. Yeah, this is a B. Nope, not above level easy. I'd say it's not above level easy, at least for now. So, next we got end of line. So, as, as some of you might know, uh, map packs came out in 1.6, right? So, end of line was pretty much as recent as decoration got, which is why you see it like, you know, which, which is why a level that seemingly doesn't fit among the other gauntlets is here. It's probably just because Routop was like, okay, I'll include two 1.0 levels and then include this 1.5 style level, right? So end of line is interesting because it actually has two routes. In fact, I'm sure the vast majority of you took the uh, the under route because that one's honestly way easier, right? So I'll play through both routes. Actually, no, I think it merges right there, but it's pretty cool that end of line has two routes in the first place, right? So yeah, I, th I think here's where the merge happens. Yeah. So I'm just going to... Uh, now now go down. I'm sure like most of you just picked this route. Not only does this route look better, but yeah So it's cool that such an early map pack level already plays around with the idea of two routes for no reason really End of line has a lot of charm in that way You know, you'll just randomly have the creator put like lol or some other text in the middle of it And it is kind of like janky and weird to have like 20% of the level be like a thank you text But I don't know something wholesome about it it's kind of funny that this is also the only level that this guy's ever released that's gotten featured, right? Oh, I think that's actually a really cool user coin route. Because I think that was a bug in the old level, and this guy just, like, had a had to be a user coin route. So, ooh, okay, that's interesting. Have you guys ever been through this user coin route? <laughs> look, I can't say, it, it, look, it looks pretty outdated, I'm not gonna lie, but, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of sick, you guys have to admit. Like... Damn, this almost feels like, like, this is weird, man. I have not seen this before. <laughs> okay, well, that's probably going to be one of the only new finds I have here. Is it possible to even, like, is it even possible to jump that far? Does it, do any of you guys know that it's possible to jump that far? Because that seems like, if it is possible, it's like a, a pseudo-impossible timing. Holy shit. That's crazy. What do you guys think? Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, you could just about do it like that. Yeah, no, that's a crazy route. Nothing here, go home. Yo, why does the end of end of line low-key have, like, coin lore, dude? This is crazy. And then, of course, this is the thank you text for the last, like, 28% of the level. Bro, that's insane, dude. What a cool... Okay, so that's a cool, but, like, admittedly outdated-looking coin route. Like, you could tell that this is the only featured level that PMK has ever had because it's, like, a definition of, like, a creator returning from, from like... Like two years of slumber and thinking, oh, hey, this fire thing looks like the coolest thing I could do in 2.2. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the last like 25% of the level, I think everyone's seen this. It's just thanks for playing. And it's like, um, you know, easy. Oh, wait, no, we got we got some more to do. Okay. So, yeah, it's a pretty interesting level, but this is definitely the lowest quality level we played so far because not only was there far better stuff for 1.5 yeah these coins should be verified cool Vlad. that was a sick coin are all the keys individual coins because i can only think of one coin in this level unless you could find some other stuff you <laughs> keep saying check the most recent comp yeah fair enough <laughs> fair enough hi matt Mar okay so end of line is definitely the worst level we played today and it definitely suffers 
probably the most from being outdated. I'd say C tier. It's not bad, but it's like... I don't know about some of the design choices. And especially the coin route. It looks like it's like... It's, it's, it's like the definition of a creator who looks like they like fell off in terms of level design. No offense to PMK. PMK is the GOAT, of course. <laughs> but yeah. You're going to hear a funny dog for the most part because that's that's annoying. Well, hello there. Hello there, PMK. Yeah, this guy's never gotten another feature again. But hey, you know, 54 million downloads. That's all you need sometimes. Oh my god. Is this dog going to bark? Chat, uh, what do you think? Is the dog going to bark the entire stream? Okay. So the normal pack was the next pack to be instituted in 1.6. And already, you guys can spot a pretty infamous level, Square Adventure. Who likes Square Adventure? <laughs> leave, a, leave a like if you hate Square Adventure, okay? I, I want to see how much the like counter goes up. But for now, we're playing Polar Guys to VO1, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this level. It's just a Polar Guys remake. It's not that deep. Nothing crazy about it. I'm curious, do you guys hear the dog or, or what? Because maybe I lower mic sensitivity and get it out of there. Yeah. That's definitely a moment, bro. It's crazy, man. Some people just buy dogs to just fucking, like, leave them out. And just have them, like, wreak havoc all day. If you're gonna ignore your pet, dude, just get a cat, bro. That's way better. Because cats... Cats don't bark. They just... They just you know? They're, they're quiet. They don't do anything. But no, everyone has to have a dog nowadays. Anyways. Like, what is he even barking at, you know? Maybe he's barking at Square Adventure. He's a he's a he's afraid of the uh, Square Adventure takeover. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Anyways, Polar Guys V one. I mean, from what I've been seeing, this little is kind of mid pack, you know. Let's see. Nothing crazy about it. It looks like a, a, a newer level because it has some like stuff like pulses, which weren't a thing until like 1.5. So, if I had to guess, the barks were sync. Maybe the. All right, so this stream like doubled in likes when I said who dislikes Square Adventure. So I could tell that's a lot of you guys. Beat this cube only. I think I just, I think I did for that one video, right? Um, the no jump one, because I did have to play like Polar Guy stuff for for no jump. Uh, let me see when this level came out. That is, uh, yeah, that's one point five or one point six. So that's kind of mid pack, right? Um, I'd say I'd say it's worse. I'd say it's probably the worst level we played so far. Uh, but it's not an offense to it. Like, it's not a bad level. It, it suffers less from being out of date than End of Line does. Anyways. Hold on, let me see here. Let me see here. Okay. Da, da, da. Mic sensitivity moment. Yeah, there's literally nothing I could do about that. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, it's whatever. Oh, man. Just uh, consider the dog a co commentator, okay? Man, that's upsetting. I pay I pay this dude to get his dog out of the out of the house. All right. So this is the infamous square adventure, and it's the fifth level to ever be added to the map packs. So it starts out pretty easy. I don't think anyone has an issue with how this part plays, right? However, later on, <laughs> later on, seventy four percent. That is where the problems begin. Okay, so some of these levels have some pretty interesting coin routes that I've never seen before. So I think I might try to do some of that, like. Does this blue pad lead to a coin route? No, this level has no coins. But it might be one of those levels that has like star pulser coins. You know what I'm saying? You know that thing the old levels did where it was like a pulse ring and then it has a star in the middle? That's a cool uh, old landmark of Geometry Dash design. Many of those levels updated their stuff to to user coins, but some of them some of them are hold out, holdouts. Like Square Adventure probably is a holdout. Okay. Ooh, we got... Okay, no. Okay, now I have to... Ooh, all right. This is definitely, yeah, okay, so that's not even a, a star coin. That's just, that's just a, a breakable block coin, dude. That's crazy. All right. Let's do this. Up arrow, down arrow. I think Square Adventure is another level with multiple routes, at least around the end. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, this is, this is like level easy, but probably worse designed in most ways. But it doesn't get like egregiously unplayable until, of course, the level says hard, and then everything just goes to, goes to shit. <laughs> So yeah, this will be a, uh, this is probably most people's least favorite map pack level, especially after the that dynamic on track buff, because, okay, uh, when dynamic on track got nerfed, uh, I don't know, it was some weird thing where creep is cute. I think it was the actual guy. This is like the most infamous part. People, people hate this part. 
But yeah, for some reason when Dynamic on Track got nerfed, it was because Buff This got raided. So the level was just anti-Buff This propaganda, like I said in my worst levels video. So yeah, let me see here. Is this part that bad? I swear I remember dying to this like a million times. Like, I I'm dying, but only to see like how I can die. I think this is the main part that people hate, right? Yeah, yeah, this looks like the main part that people would hate. It's not that bad, but it's only because I've, I've like, I'm like retroactively like played this. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's a weird route. Is that actually how you do it? Like, is there multiple ways to beat this level? Cause that, that just looked weird to play, right? Okay, so let's assume I keep going. It, Square Adventure is actually two routes. Yo, that's actually kind of crazy. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up, this level might fuck around and be S tier. I'm not gonna lie, man. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, so yeah, obviously the whole easy hard thing, it is like technically appealing, but I mean, come on, let's be real here. <laughs> um, I want to say that the like whole gimmick where the level starts out easy and ends deep, like hard is just a bad gimmick. No one likes going through like the first part to be the easiest only to be met by like the worst level design ever. So honestly, I'm going to say this level does some things right. It's not an F tier. I know most people would probably put this F tier. But there's going to be worse levels. There's going to be worse levels. Like uh, Cool Vlad is saying here, Theory of Relativity is a way worse level. Because the dude just updated it, and you could tell he just completely fell off. <laughs> like, like no offense to... Uh, I forgot I forgot who the dude that made that was, man. But Theory of Relativity... Oh my god, that level was bad. It is like the definition of early 2.0 hell. Alright, hi-ho. So this level's by Hakucho. Hakucho! If you guys ever seen the uh, derated levels video, you guys would know that Hakucho was like the number one, like, how do I say this? The number one level stealer back in the day, okay? This dude, even though he could make perfectly fine levels, he just, okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just increase my sensitivity. All right, this dude, even though he could make perfectly fine levels back then, decided to purposefully go out of his way to just steal everyone's levels. And he wasn't even good at it. Like, most of his stolen levels just didn't get raided, but... Yeah, I mean, the story of Hakucho, or how Galaxy is used to be known is quite weird, but it's it's a nice uh, remnant of GD history, and uh, of course he is High Hill, so that's his main uh, con contribution to the game. Bow, 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 bow. Mm. I mean, this level's not bad. It doesn't do much right, but it doesn't do much wrong, you know? Uh, I think for the time it came out, it's probably like a C tier, if I had to guess. We're going through a lot of, like, mid-pack right now, you know what I'm saying? This is literally mid-pack. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Well, it's a good thing Rob Top started things out with level easy, because that's definitely the best level we've seen so far. Uh, like I said, we're mainly playing through the 1.6 map packs first, so we're not going to see much retray for a while. And, and I consider Alpha Pack to be possibly the best pack in terms of average quality in the game. So yeah. What I like about this level is the narrative. Like, there is a whole thing where like you're like going up, and that does actually feel pretty good. Um like gameplay wise it's like you go up and then you know you finally go down at the end of the hill so i actually kind of like that so well formatted well layouted well layouted what a, what a nice word um let me see definitely um it depends on the id it depends on the id when this came out uh 150 Ooh, what how is this oh my god no there he's stream sniping oh my god okay all right i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop enabling that in case someone says some like crazy stuff that the G gd server just doesn't pick up randomly all right, uh, let's see here. We got High Hill. I say High Hill is low B tier. I, well, hmm. I'd say narrative wise, it, it's just cooler than Polar Guys V01. Can you say, I don't think I love you no more. You never seem to call me lately. All right, there you go. That's all. Thanks for the two, two euros. All right. So now we have Remix Pack 1. So what's funny is uh, Neptune's like the, the king of map packs, right? <laughs> Neptune's the king of map packs. And in um in update 1.6, he had like four... um He had in four entire packs dedicated to him. Like I think in 1.6 alone, he has... um. Hey, don't continue it. They need to send more money. True. Uh, for every $2 you send... <laughs> this is extortion. For every $2 you send, I'll sing a line from Exo. How about that? <laughs> free money. Free money. All right, so this level is uh, pretty okay. I mean, look, it's Terry Madness V2, you know? Neptune, Neptune moment. Um, they Rob Top mainly put Neptune's like actual like V2s in this, but he also has some like 
Like, I know Standard Madness is a Neptune level that ended up in the Gauntlets. I don't know about anything else, but yeah. But yeah, Neptune, fun fact, is like the CEO of map packs. He has the most map pack levels. Then I think second place is Darnok, third place is Cody, and uh, I think Darnok has like 12 map pack levels, Neptune has 17. And then uh, third place is Cody with 10 or something, and fourth place is Funny Game with 9, so that's pretty cool. But what's funny is like the vast majority of map packs are early Funny Game, so this wasn't even when Funny Game like reached his peak, but um, it's known that Funny Game and Neptune were likely Robtop's favorite creators back in the day, because if you look at Robtop's old uploads, the only replays he has of levels are, I think, Auto Club Step. Um, auto theory of everything and club step v2 which means one neptune level and two funny game levels so that means those are rob top's two probably favorite creators so there's nothing wrong with how this was built for the time i don't know if i should play it against i wonder if i should play it against um Matt, like these levels the fact that they're literal copies right why are people still saying gauntlets i updated the the title like a million hours ago what's up smango i'm, I'm gonna mod you smango you're the goat uh, let me see here. Ba -da -da -da. Add as moderator. Uh, standard. There you go, uh, S, S Mango. You can now use your dictatorial pot. No, no way that's molten. There's literally no way that's molten, dude. How do I how do I click on stuff? How do I click on channels, dude? I think I'm being trolled though. I think I'm being trolled. How do how do how do I check if that's molten, dude? I I don't know if I even can. It's not. Damn. Damn, I got tricked. I would have given Molpin mods so fast, okay? <laughs> I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna lie, okay? Molpin's actually subscribed to my channel, so it's possible, you know? I think he's my most uh, subscribed to subscriber, so there's the Oh wait, I forgot to I forgot to rank the the dude. Bro, you lost 10 watchers. True. I fell off, guys. No one wants to see V2s, okay? They just want to see a uh, Square Adventure. So at once once Square Adventure hit, uh the stream peaked, okay? Bruh, Stereo Madness V2 by Sumsar? What is this tier list guy doing, bro? And now I gotta find... Oh my god, this is so annoying. Oh my god. Okay, all right. Stereo Madness V2 by Neptune. This has better design than End of Line, I'd say. Um, Yeah. Better than End of Line, better than Polygast Vs. Dude, the thing is, stereo, the V2s are just copies. I don't know if I can, like, good faith, like, rank them much higher than C. Because... Like, once you do the V2 once, don't get me wrong, like, Neptune revolutionized this, okay? Without Neptune, you wouldn't have no Tried super buff, you wouldn't have no Vortrox super buff, okay? Neptune was the GOAT, he was the originator, okay? And he didn't make no 10,000 bucks from it. But, look. All I'm saying is, buffing is just like, it was invented by him. But once you do it once, it kind of, level, like, conceptually loses its originality, if that makes sense. Now, I think Neptune's actually a very good creator. Like, Necropolis is easily a top, like, tier level. In terms of like, it's it's thematicness, you know, the whole glow crosses. That's awesome, but I don't know the, if these levels just like change the the difficulty and don't do much else to play around with the concept. I don't know if I can actually rate them much higher than what they're being rated right now. But so far, the map packs have been pretty fun and site readable. The only time where you can argue it's been bad is like the 77% part in Square Adventure. But even then, I think it, that's just bad design due to the creator being like, oh, well, I'm just gonna have two routes and just not have that not be explained to the viewer at all. Which is kind of a funny concept, but it, like, so, so, yeah, Square Adventure is badly executed, but I think, like, once you know, like, if you play Square, uh, Square Adventure in practice mode, you should be fine. I think I'm gonna have Back on Track V2 slightly below Stereo Madness V2, but it definitely still has better, like, overall design than End of Line does. You gotta love the, the two, the blue pad coins. <laughs> it's the most meaningless thing ever. Uh, let me see here. Well, it's funny is uh right now you know people are like man are you fell off but hey man this streamer this stream is like 50 50 viewers the map pack one average like 20 so honestly i'm fine i'm fine with that this stream is gonna yeah venza yeah is it yeah venza is the theory of relativity goat right i'm trying to think who's the most like infamous map pack creator i mean jelt is up there man everything jelt makes like is hated like lunar ocean people hate lunar ocean because it has that one transition and people hate um what is that other gel level? Um, I'm blanking out. I'm like Joe Biden right now. Uh, oh, this is uh, America can be defined in one word. S -S 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 -S. Creepus Q used to be the most infamous. Yeah, used to. But now that the Dynamic on track has been nerfed and, and Dynamic Madness is not that bad. I don't remember people actually hating on Dynamic Madness. Oh, I had this as a Geometry Dash trivia fact the other day. But out of every level that's ever been released to the Geometry Dash servers... We're not talking about change of scene. We're not talking about no whatever, right? If Rob Top decided to put Dynamic on track as the premier level, he really thought that was the best pick. Rob was like, 
You know what, yeah, we'll pick dynamic on track, and keep in mind, Steam was implemented in 1.9. You're telling me that he couldn't have anything more recent from update 1.8, and dynamic on track is 1.7, so I don't even think that applies. It's just like, <laughs> makes you think, why is dynamic on track the one level that Route had decided to include? He was just like, yeah, yeah, that's the level I want to represent my game. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, okay? <laughs> that's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. Anyways, this level's been pretty playable and nice so far. It, it probably goes above uh, back on track V2, yeah. Ba -dun -dun. Ba -ba. If you're in a fake being Mopin, at least have the Mopin PFP. Come on, man. That's a funny orb timing right there. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god. Ba -da 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 we got the blue pack one. You, you love to see it? Okay, you love to see it. Yeah, it's, it's funny how much of these map pack levels like don't update with user coins. They just have those like star coins. Makes you think, right? Like, I always wonder how Geometry Dash history would have changed if Raptop added, like, let's say, Newgrounds integration into, like, 1.7 or 1.6. That means, like, if he added Newgrounds integration earlier, you'd already see, like, far more unique levels before 1.8 hits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Lunar Ocean was nerfed in December 2023, but before, it was, like, it was bad, man. Um, It wasn't bad. It was just that, I, from what I remember, that one transition, which, like, everyone hated. Uh, let's see here. Uh, but the, the where is uh, Polygas V2? Okay, Polygas V2 goes above back on. I like it design wise more than Steermanus V2. I don't think I'm gonna factor in originality here. Whatever, Neptune made the V2 concept, he's allowed to milk it dry. Okay, so yeah, all right. Next, we're going on to the stereo pack, right? Yeah, stereo is next in terms of 1.4 packs. All right. So Mr. Cheese Tiger is actually a great creator. I think Impulse is one of the best 1.5 levels easily of its time, right? Um, I think Easy is pretty good. I don't think there's anything like bad about it. Like it's just your average level, right? Like I said, since Newgrounds integration wasn't added in early, um, or earlier, the issue is that all these levels use the same 16 songs. And the issue is for my stream, <laughs> 15 of those 16 songs are copyrighted. I think Polargeist is outright the only uncopyrighted, uh, main level song of the first 16 which is pretty funny but man my bank account is not gonna like that holy gosh member is pricey is that a thing maybe i should just make like a one dollar member tier if you're broke just say so <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god i hope i don't lose viewers guys it's a joke it's a joke okay um holy shit um man that's so funny, dude. Every time, every time you have like one of these, like, um, how do I say this? Um, you have a streamer, right? And and they just like kind of make fun of their chat, but then you have like they like get way more attention from the drama. Oh wait, did the stream pause? Okay, then they get like way more attention from their uh, chat, right? So I think unironically, like a lot of these like streamers were doing it on purpose to have like all these commentators raging about them, like, oh my god, why are you making fun of your viewers for being poor? And then it's just like they actually profit from the drama. That and if you've ever seen like the, the Sundere anime trope, you know some d viewers like being made fun of. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. All right, let's see here. What was that level? Uh, easy, right? Uh, easy is, is good for the time, it's mid-pack. It's it's like, it's below high hill above uh, Polygast V01. All right. When will Matt Mart make an apology video with a ukulele? I'm not skilled enough to play the ukulele. If I make an apology video, it's going to be stri uh, spitting straight fire. You know what I'm saying? All right. Stereo Manus X. Guys, I apologize for putting Square Adventure low. I know everyone loves Square Adventure, and Square Adventure has so much avid defenders. Okay. That's the thing, man. There's really not a whole lot to say about these map pack levels. So, you guys might be wondering, what is my motivation for making this tier list? I guess I'll find out my motivation as I go forward with this. Because there is definitely a motivation that exists. If you guys remember one of the most recent community posts, I was considering making like a one to two hour uh, video, right? <laughs> Take a wild guess as to what that one to two hour video would be for, right? That is for the packs, baby. For the packs. So yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think like, hmm, like are these good? So, so there's a huge debate and I'll bring this up multiple times probably throughout the stream. But there's a huge debate as to whether or not map packs should be part of the game's main progression system. Which means, like, oh, should the map packs be part of the secret coins or whatever? Right? Like, what do you guys think? Should you get secret... Okay, actually, I'm gonna put this as a poll right now. 
Bro, if your parents sound like Matt Mart, then FBI definitely felt like... What are you saying? All right, uh, let me see here. How do I make a poll? All right, we're going to make a poll right now. Should you get secret coins from beating map packs, right? So I, I think... Um, so so it's like an actual debate of whether or not um, map packs should be removed from the game's main progression in terms of secret coins. Because what's funny is you have like this one Twitter guy being like, Oh my god, I got banned for hacking the map packs. And you see him literally trying to hack Retray. It's like, holy, that's a struggle meal, man. When you're trying to hack Retray, like, I think you're the issue. <laughs> that's just my opinion. All right. So Stereo Madness X, I mean, it's got some design, okay? Like, the design exists. I'm just surprised how much of these 1.0 levels Rocktop was still rating in 1.5. Because, I mean, it's like it's like the definition of mid-pack. I like the block design here. I like the block design here. Okay. Um... Maybe top of C, but the thing keeping High Hill above is, um, the thing keeping High Hill above is its overall narrative in terms of gameplay, which you, do, you just don't see a whole lot. Maybe I'm giving High Hill a bit too much credit here, but like, hey man, it is a High Hill. You know what I'm saying? If I had to choose a hill to be high on, it would probably be High Hill. All right. Let's see here. Stereo Menace X. I'd say below High Hill, above easy. It's probably the best design level I've seen so far. So yeah, it looks like the majority of people agree with me when they say uh, secret coin should be uh, a majority thing. Uh, oh yeah, Stereo Madness V2. It's funny how these levels casually just have like 1.1 million likes for just being in map packs. I brought this up the other day, but pretty much... What's crazy is, okay, so if you look at every... Think about every level in the game that has 1 million likes, right? So pretty much, I think it's only like 100 or so levels that have ever hit 1 million likes, right? But for some perspective, the th I think the three newest levels with 1 million likes are Ghoul, Mind Control, which are both like ID like 44 million, right? They're pretty new. or They're not new, but they're like years old and they're the first levels in Gauntlet. So of course they have 1 million likes, right? But then the only exception in like the past six years of creators creating stuff in Geometry Dash is I Spy With My Little Eye. That is the only level in the past like five years to just get 1 million likes, which is pretty crazy if you think about it, like recency wise, because there's... There's pretty much no level with that level of like, I guess, popularity, if that makes sense, right? So it's just funny to look at all these like map pack levels who can like effortlessly do it. Meanwhile, you have like map pack levels releasing like, you know, like just mid pack, but because they released mid pack like eight years ago and they got put in the gauntlets, they just get like up there. Now I will say, this is one of the better designed map pack levels, okay? Hmm, yeah, I, I really like the 3D work on this. I mean, this definitely isn't a 1.9 level. It was probably updated later, right? Was this updated later or was this made with 3D blocks? It's hard to say. I, this looks like a level that was updated later because it has some like clean aspects, right? Like the invisible block lining here. So that's pretty cool. Ba, 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 ba. When was this made? Version 13. Some star really, <laughs> some star really cooked some updates with this joint, man. Yeah, problematic hit 1 million likes recently. I saw that. Um, that's funny though. I think problematic. It makes that what the second most popular nine circles level in terms of likes for sure Probably right because I know jawbreaker and whatever has like 500k likes fairy dust um, Honestly, that looked pretty good. Obviously, there, there's some like influence. There's some like recency bias because some star updated the the heck out of it But I'll still put it in C tier Yeah, yeah, I know I saw that he redesigned it Anyways um, All right Stereo pack is okay. All right, next we got the, not the UFO pack. That's for the 1.7 update, I want to say. Next we got the Morph pack, which is probably my least favorite pack in the game. And you'll, you're about to see why, okay? We got to skip a lot of packs here, but we'll get to them later. Oh, wait, no. Actually, next is the hard pack. Ooh, okay. So the hard pack instantly has some pretty bad levels here. Geometry level. Now, to my knowledge, I think this one was actually made by Darnock. I know Darnock made one of these stage mixes. He might have made the stage mix called stage mix, but regardless... Um, I counted, there's six out of the 195 map pack levels, there's six stage mixes, <laughs> which is definitely not the most original picking, pickings by Rob, right? Now, do you guys know of any old gauntlet, or okay, do you guys know of any old like 1.0 to early 2.0 era creators that deserve to be in the in the map packs, but just weren't? The only ones I can think of off the top of my head, okay, actually no, I'm, I'm mainly talking about like 1.0 to 1.8, because if you talk about 1.9, there's like many 1.9 creators that would deserve to be on map packs, right? But pretty much the only like 1.0 to 1.8 creators I can think of that are like really good that Rob Top like genuinely missed are let me think Sheriffo, Majako, and Bismuth, and maybe Zeraku. 
Those are like the only four I can think of, which are like genuine flops that Raptop like should have put in the map hacks, but just didn't, right? So I honestly hate uh, pretty much all these stage mixes levels. If I had to guess, pretty much all these stage mixes levels probably end up in, um, yeah, like look at that 10 design compared to everything else. It's just so inconsistent. I feel like that's the definition of an F tier level. Like it doesn't do anything new. It's just a stage mix. It doesn't even have sync really. It's just bad, you know? So I think this is gonna be our first F tier of the stream. Ba, ba. Like, <laughs> this creator is, is a creator which, how do I say this? In a nice way. I mean, there's some like unregistered level from like eight years ago. Yeah, Five Duck. I'm sure Five Duck will be crying when I say he wasn't even like skilled enough to copy the design of Electrodynamics. Like, you could tell even by Electrodynamics, Five Duck no longer really had the capability of mirroring the level perfectly, which is like, like if you're copying a level, at least do it right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that was geometry level, F tier. Easiest up to your ever. And there's five more stage mixes where that came from. So <laughs> we're gonna have some fun here. So, uh, chat, do you guys know why this level was named one? There's actually a reason why Cody made levels called one, two, three, four. And it's not just because of the title. Think about it. Why do you guys think that he only put one as the title? If you guys know the answer, I'm gonna be very impressed with your, your historical knowledge. Dun, dun. Yeah, and 2.0, you could make this better by copying the music, uh, by cutting the music, but you can only do that for 12 levels. So even then, that's not like all encompassing. Nope, it's not because of that's his first map. It's because Cody used to use a, a pirated version of Geometry Dash, right? Which, like, pretty much. There's some people who only played a pirated version of GD, and you could only uh, put one character as the level title. So you'll just see like a ton of random levels with just like one character and be like, hmm, why'd they do that? Was that a creative decision? No, this map pack level was made using pirated GD software. And if Raptop was like Lord Nintendo, he'd strike down Cody and destroy all of his levels. But Raptop doesn't really care because Raptop's chill like that. And that is why he's the GOAT. I can't imagine being a Nintendo fan or Smash Bros fan right now. It's just, it feels like a poverty franchise, the, how badly it gets treated by Nintendo all the time, right? So anyways, yeah, so Cody, this was made using pirated GD software, and Cody hates Robtop personally, okay? This is true. Um, but fun fact, did you know that at a certain point, uh, 5 by Cody was the most popular level in the game? This is, like, really early in 1.2. Then 5 was, like, taken over by, by uh, autoplay area, then autoplay area was taken over by level easy eventually, right? But yeah, so that means in the early history of Geometry Dash, the most downloaded level was made using pirated software. Overall, this level was okay. It's from 1.1. It doesn't do a whole lot wrong. I, I kind of like the Tetraminos at the end. Um, yeah. Let me see here. I'm thinking... I'm thinking below High Hill, uh, above uh, Stereo Menace Hex. I feel like this is a video more of a story. New question. New question. What's your new question? Partition Madness. That's crazy, man. Yo, people don't realize that Partition is like one of this game's like biggest old heads. He, he might be the... He might be the oldest active creator aside from Rob Top, which is crazy to think about, right? Because, I mean, even people like Darnock have quit for like a period of like five years at a time, right? But Partition has the second oldest insane level. And along with that, he has a 1.1 rate. Do you guys know how crazy that is? So out of everyone, the, the quote unquote clickbait YouTuber <laughs> where that only makes replays and he has like a million subs, he's the oldest player of pretty much any of us, which is kind of weird to think about. But it's kind of funny too. Uh, yeah, Yoon Heisu also, but even Yoon is uh, older than Partition, because Yoon started in 1.2, which don't get me wrong, it's still very OG, especially considering that they're the number one creator nowadays, but yeah. It's funny that how Partition out of everyone has a map pack level. Okay, so here's like the, the three big YouTubers who like have map pack levels that people don't realize have a map pack level, right? One is Partition, two is Aeon Air with time pressure, and three is Sputniks. <laughs> Sputniks was one of the very few people to have a 2.0 uh, map pack level. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but I think it's called Enchanted or something. But yeah, it's pretty funny how out of all the YouTubers, it's like those three. <laughs> Spunix mainly got lucky because Robtop never, like, there's only 10 2.0 map pack levels in the entirety of the map packs, which is pretty crazy to think about how, like, underrepresented the genre is. It's back when Spunix was only made 2.0 effect levels. Yeah, and even then, the, the effects were, admittedly, eh, they, they could have done a little bit better. You know, they were, they were, they were okay, they were okay. They were okay. The oldest Anarchy server in Minecraft. Okay, so uh, this this level is pretty okay so far. I mean, nothing crazy. 
I'll give it I'll give Partition Madness this. It probably has some of the cleanest design so far. There's no real design flaws. And I do like the icon art that's about to appear at the end. I think it's like Banks. And it's like the partition. Yep. Alright. So yeah, that's pretty cool. What about Nexus? Nexus has I don't even think Nexus oh Nexus has posted levels, but I don't think even think he has a rate. So Partition Madness is honestly one of the cleanest designed uh, levels we've seen so far. I'd like to put it uh, pretty high up there. Oh, uh, but ba ba da. And definitely above High Hill. Above Steer Madness V2. Maybe it depends on I'd say I'd say that's a good spot for it. Because the thing is Partition Madness is obviously like older than all the other levels, so it doesn't really have the justification of being a 1.1 level like Dreamland or um end of or Dreamland and level easy, but yeah. Next is the morph pack, which you're about to see is my least favorite pack. Polargeist Reverse is actually pretty cool conceptually, even though it did kill me in my second hardcore video. However, Oh man, the first two are stage mixes, okay? Which makes you wonder, right? If Robtop, if Robtop had three stage mixes in the initial 1.0 update, why would he put one stage mix in the hard pack, but then just have the morph pack have one cool level called Polar Geist Reverse? Like, it's kind of nonsensical. It almost makes me think like, it almost makes me think that Polar Geist Reverse should have been in the hard pack, while the, uh, that level we played before geometry level should have been in the morph pack. But Robtop just randomly decided, nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. And you just decided to make the map pack seem completely inconsistent. Because now Polar Geist Reverse has to associate itself with two losers of a level, okay? Uh, this is probably the worst stage mix because, I mean, does this shit look like Jumper to you? I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me, but... I don't know, this just doesn't look like Time Machine, right? Am, am I bugging here? I mean, you can tell it's trying to look like Time Machine. I mean, right? It's trying... Wait... Is that a cool coin? Hold up. I might try to get that coin right. Hold up. How do you get that coin? How do you get that? How do you get that coin? Oh, man. That that doesn't look possible. I'm not going to lie. Um, At 100% speed, does this look like Jumper to you? True. True, true, true. Anyways, yeah. Look, so this level not only copies the stages, but does it so like blatantly wrong that I'm just... I'm not only surprised that this got featured. I'm surprised that this got rated. I'm surprised that this got put into a map pack. Like... I think this is one of the few arguments as to why, like, <laughs> as to why map hacks are bad. This is one of the few indictments against map hacks, okay? I can't even read this. It's in reverse, mirror portal. Oh, what, what a nice heart at the end. What a wholesome level. This is literally the worst map hack level. And if I, I'm, I'm gonna be appalled if I find anything worse. Because does it really get any worse than that? I think the one we just played was Stage of Madness, right? It copies the map pack levels, but doesn't even do so correctly. It's just unfathomably bad this guy has multiple creator points and stage of madness was his most recent level what okay let's just see let's just see out of experiment look this level wasn't good but it's like like he was trying like how is this unironically better than his other map pack level i'm not gonna play through this because you know it's a map pack stream but wow <laughs> what a weird yo stage mix made by team hacks of course guys team hacks was such a legendary old creator okay all right, so this is uh, the third of six stage mixes that Robtop put in the map packs. I don't know what Robtop's thing is with stage mixes, but hey. Uh, Robtop surprisingly had a restraint. I think there's only two Flappy levels that ended up in the packs, uh, which is uh, Flappy Hexagon, and I think that all the levels just called Flappy Bird straight up, but yeah. Surprisingly, not the one by Darnock. I think the one by Darnock is probably the only one that would have deserved to be in the packs, because obviously, like, Darnock, like, invented the Flappy, you know what I'm saying? He's the free Who's the first Flapper, okay? So at least this level copies the levels correctly. I just don't understand Robtop's decision with putting Stage of Madness and then putting just an objectively better level like this next to it. It's just like, like what is the reasoning? Robtop couldn't like find another cool creator to include. It's just like, I don't know. Like like this level actually is <laughs> copies the levels correctly, which just makes me think like, like what about Stage of Madness really stuck out to Robtop? Did he think that was okay? Did he think it was like, I don't know. It's just, it's like actually inexplicable. Um, anyways, this level is like obviously outdated. I think it probably only includes like the first 11 levels like all these other old head stage mixes that are just completely outdated um, Don't time out people who talk about unrelated stuff, but do time out people who who spam but da -da -da -da. Wow <laughs> I, I, Okay, so here's the thing about that's funny as heck about these old head like creators like <laughs> whoa, what's going on guys? Uh, there's, there's a, okay, anyways, um you couldn't just like put the Clutterfunk blocks? Was that too much effort? You just had to just leave it as decoration? Like, 
Like, what is this, man? Like, okay. All right, Team Hacks. I'm sorry, Team Hacks, but this is going in the F tier, right? It's going probably below geometry level. Actually, I don't know, because geometry level kind of botches the levels worse. But geometry dash level, or geometry level has cooler numbers. That's that's the standards we're dealing with here. Because this level has slightly flashier and cooler numbers, it goes into the top of F tier rather than the complete, like, rock bottom. Anyways, this is the only level even slightly redeeming map packs, uh, or the redeeming the morph pack, because... Poltergeist Reverse is actually a pretty cool level conceptually, even though it doesn't work. And as much as I hate this level for killing me in my um, Hardcore 2 video, um, it's a good level, right? So yeah. Um, unlike the other two levels in the more, the other two levels in the more packed are F tiers. But something tells me that this level, I mean, it's not F tier. It's not that good, but like, you gotta admit it's pretty cool to like play a level from Reverse, even though the, even though that means it like doesn't sink at all. You could tell that if there was like a song trigger thing back then to like reverse the level, the creator probably would have done it, you know? So yeah, I could see the intention here. Anyways, uh, comment your favorite map pack level, the new new viewers joining the stream. Comment your favorite and least favorite map pack level, and I'll see if I agree with you. Uh, currently, I, I feel like my favorite map pack level is either Retray or Adrift, because I think those are, out of all of them, like the strongest ones, and Mystery Dungeon. Those are like, those are the peak map pack levels. Yeah, this level's okay. Alright. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, this level's not bad. It doesn't really, like... It doesn't flop gameplay-wise, you know? It's just fun. It's pretty fun. Like, yeah. Shout out to Polargeist and the Creator Step for being the only copyrighted or uncopyrighted Geometry Dash main level song. I think, oh, Prism is underrated. Well, cool, Vlad. I actually include Prism in, in the first like 20 seconds of my hardcore video. So the Pr Prism will forever be associated with uh, one of my biggest videos of all time. Well, my biggest video currently. So Prism may be underrated, but not by me. I love Prism. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Where is Podegas Reverse? This is not a bad level. This is, uh, it's okay. It's okay conceptually. It's pretty good. Um, I'll put it above Partition Menace, below Stair Menace V2. That sounds pretty good. Pretty good for my rating, okay? Uh, my favorite is Cataclysm. Least favorite is Geometry Level. I love Cataclysm. I think I straight up put... I, I think people thought I was capping when I said this, but I put Cataclysm in um, the S tier of the Gauntlet levels, and I'd stick by that, okay? Cataclysm is a banger banger, okay? Wait, so yeah, if Cataclysm is an S-tier gauntlet level, I think that means it'll probably end up S-tier in this one, too. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, challenge. Uh, do you know that um, for 1.5 previews, Utopia Dash is one of the few levels included in, like, Geometry Dash promotional material? Like, look up uh, Geometry Dash 1.5 promotional material. You see that, you'll see that Utopia Dash is one of the few levels that Robtop decided to, like, include to represent the game. Which, I mean, obviously this level deserves it. It's Darnock, it's clean. This level might be the first level to dethrone level easy because honestly, I can't think of anything wrong with this level. It's it's one of the... It just has amazing structuring. Darnock was obviously great in general with structuring at the time. I'm honestly surprised Darnock doesn't have more map pack levels because if you look at some of his old stuff, I mean, he was probably consistently making some of the best stuff for 1.0 and 1.1. Now, now, granted, being the second most frequent creator to be included in map packs is pretty good, but, you know. Yeah, Darnock probably deserved first. Yeah, there's really nothing wrong with this level, and it's it's a pretty fresh sight considering that pretty much all that we've seen so far is 1.0 blocks. So finally, we're getting some some 1.3, some 1.4, and eventually, I think some 1.5. But yeah, this 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 might go above level easy, but I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Better or worse than level easy? Because the thing is, level easy was made in 1.1. So if you judge it by 1.1 standards, level easy might still arguably be the better level. What do you guys think? But yeah, it's crazy that crazy that if the creator step like um how do I say this? If the creator step like made uh his song copyrighted, he'd probably be sitting with like fucking two hundred k dollars in the bank right now. He'd be six figures. Darnock also has the level black lights. Yo yo, time out Scorch XP. I'm not even gonna lie. Time this dude out for one minute because black lights is a banger. It deserves epic. Okay, look, look, look okay okay guys, chat. This dude committed slander against Darnock. This is the only, uh, pretty much the only real 2.1 level that Darnock released. Are you telling me that this doesn't deserve a rate? Do you have any idea how fresh it was to see a creator return to 
with just nice 1.9 decoration. Now, I actually think it arguably gets worse when Darnock tries to implement 2.1 features, right? Because like, this obviously looks more like outdated, right? But when Darnock was playing around with the 1.9 objects, it actually gave this level, like, 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 look at the first part. It gives this level like a chill, somber, and nostalgic tone. And I don't even think Darnock meant all that because at the, at the time, 1.9 nostalgia wasn't really that crazy because it was only like a year and a half years old, right? But this level is like, like, look at this. Like, it's like nice, nostalgic. It, it like reminds you of the old times, right? So like, even though Darnock's like gone from the game now, essentially, unless he like returns for 2.2, hopefully, hopefully he returns for 2.2. This guy's a great, great all-time creator. I've, I've been pretty much all of his levels as you can see here, right? But yeah, I mean, this level... It deserves epic, okay? No, no, it's not a map pack. It's not a map pack. It's just Darnock's most recent level, and this dude randomly, for no reason, slandered Darnock's black lights, okay? I could talk a lot about black lights. If I was a skilled enough creator, black lights uh, is an influence for one of my future projects, but I'm not a skilled enough creator, so you'll probably never see anything like that. But yeah, I love black lights. I don't want to see any black light slander again, okay? That's it. You made me mad. <laughs> Okay, where's Utopia Zone? Utopia Dash. Utopia Dash. Where's Utopia Dash? Oh my god, this organization is so bad. I can't I can't spot it. Where's Waldo? What <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm I'm blind. I'm literally blind, okay? Hold up. I'm I'm Yo, am I bugging? Am I bugging? Where the fuck is Utopia Dash? Well sorry guys. I think I'm gonna have to end the stream here. <laughs> I can't find Utopia Dash for the life of me. Um, I'll find it later, guys. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. Wait, you, wait. Someone said it's the bottom. Yes, yes. We found it. We found it. This is the greatest finding of all time, chat. Okay. What do you guys think? Above or below level easy? Matmart is awakening the demon inside of him. Okay. He's 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 awakening the dog. Okay. Uh. Ah, it's better. It's better than level easy. I'm sorry. It's better than level easy, but it was made after. Everyone's saying above. Fuck it. We ball. Um, I don't know. Level. Uh, okay. So rabbitical. Rabbitical is a goat. Okay. The thing with rabbitical or ripples, I think. I think this is the ripples guy, right? I think this is ripples adventure guy. Phantom I don't even know what that means. Um, yeah. So here's what I think, right? I think ironically, um, Rabbitical is a great creator, but I think his worst levels are the ones in his gauntlets, in the in the gauntlets. Because look at Extreme Park, for example, right? Extreme Park was the hardest demon when it came out. And I think that this easily deserved to be in the map packs, probably, right? One of the initial demon packs. Because this level has like a legendary level of like structuring and awesomeness that just like, this level has an insane amount of aura for 1.2, right? This is goaded, okay? And then along with that, he has, um, he created Time Road, which is, I think, in my personal opinion, the best 1.3 level. And this is only 71,000 downloads, right? If this was in the map packs, this would literally be 2 million plus downloads. That's like the minimum. If you're, in, if you, if you were featured in map pack level, I think the least downloaded map pack level is like Tyrion Wall at like 1.994 million, which is pretty much 2 million, right? But I consider this to be one of, or the, like probably the best 1.3 level, right? And sadly, Robtop, for some reason, decided to include Can Let Go V2 by Rabidical instead of this, which is way better, right? Like, I think everyone agrees that this has more distinct design, and we already have Neptune with the remix packs. So why is Robtop just continuously included, like, recycled V2s from these creators? That doesn't make sense, right? Oh, wait, yeah, that is, that is fucking Pineapple. Ripples is one of the first to do core style. Yo, Pineapple, follow me back, bro. You ain't Drake. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, yo, pineapple's the goat too, bro. Yo, pineapple should get some map pack level. Map <laughs> for real, for real. Um, I'm trying to think. Nah, yeah. I had some fun playing um that one level that you made, uh, the mountains one. It was like Nine Circles style, but it was like mountains. I think it's called Pyramids of Giza. Pyramids of Giza has a very unique uh, gameplay style for the time, so shout out to Pineapple for that shit. And also, I, I remember playing like um that, that one level that, that, that it's called like Geometry Wars or something. That's like one of my childhood levels, for real. So yeah. Uh, anyways, can the go v2? It's just like for such a good creator like Rabidical, I feel like it's kind of disappointing that his most known works are the ones in map hacks, which is stuff like Ripple's Adventure, Windings, and this. And those are definitely worse than the levels I showed you, Time Road and Extreme Park. So I mean, I'm glad Rabidical gets representation, but yeah, I think Rob Top could have probably chosen better levels. Now I will say, this actually looks very fresh for for. No, actually, hold up. 
I kind of underrated this because the level calls itself can't let go v2, but this actually, like, this block design actually fucks around. Like, is this what you meant when you say, when you said core style? Because, like, this block design actually cooks, dude. What the fuck? Yo. No, I actually, no, I actually entirely get this inclusion in the map hacks. No, this is, this is B. This is easily B. If not A. I actually mess with the design. Back then, I thought if you made hard levels, you got demon. I was so naive. Well, isn't that kind of how it works? Or do you mean like four star hard levels? <laughs> I don't get it. Hold up. Yo, this block design is kind of crazy. I was underrating it because obviously the first part of this level is kind of uninspired. But like, do you guys notice how like, like soon into the level, despite only using like 1.2 objects, this level already uses like very innovative, like core style stuff. Yeah, this level should have went with a different name because it's doing itself a massive disservice by calling it itself can't let go v2. This should be, this is crazy. Like, let me just replay this part again. I think this might go above Utopia Dash and I didn't expect that, but I think this might be the best level we played on stream so far. Like, like look at the block design here. Wait, it's about up here, it's about up here. Like, uh, right, right here, right here. Look at like, that looks cool, guys. That looks really cool. Yo. Yeah, yeah, this fucks around and does a uh, one point one. This is better than Utopia Dash. I'm not gonna lie, man. Can't let go v two. Can't let go v two. Let's try to find it. All right, all right. Yeah, this is better than Utopia Dash. I'm sorry, Darnock. All right. Oh, what's funny is Darnock has I think no one point nine levels by um. Darnock, despite being the second most uh frequent map hack appearing appear guy, is um. People hate CLG too because it's memory focused, but I love it. Honestly, I only had to memorize like one part in CLG. Uh, I, I, I don't see the hate. The thing is, I think new normies, new gens will hate anything with the slightest amount of uh, memory. They're like, oh my God, my level doesn't have jump indicators. It's clearly the worst thing I've ever, ever played. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't get that mentality. You know, sometimes you gotta work for your food, you know? Back in the day, humans used to like, humans, Men used to hunt, okay? We used to go out there and spear woolly mammoths. And now, the modern Gen Z man can't even beat uh, that one level, Nature Step or whatever, without crying that they have to memorize it. Oh, is Limbo too hard for you? Try hunting a woolly mammoth in real life. Yeah, that is what I thought. Maybe you're the problem, okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You might hate on it, but... <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. I'm literally correct. Uh, this level has some pretty cool block design from what I've been seeing so far. I mean, obviously it's, it's old Darnock, so that's pretty good. Uh, that's that's pretty bad game gameplay design right there. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'd say below level easy above Dreamland because I mean it's Darnock. It's good. Anyways, what's funny is that 1.9. Um. 1.9, like, Darnock is literally better. Like, I think everyone agrees that... What's crazy is that Darnock was such an old creator, but despite that, he was able to, to peak in 1.9, despite being, like, one of the oldest creators, which is just super weird, right? Like, isn't it crazy that this dude was still making top-tier levels despite being pretty much one of the first players to, like, ever play this game? Like, look at this, man. Darnock pretty much influenced, like, the most popular style of block design in 1.9, which is insanely impressive for a, a creator who was already a veteran and quote-unquote passed his prime. But despite that, he has no um, gauntlet levels because Robtop, okay, for some weird reason, Robtop never made like a 1.91 map pack patch note, right? Which means that the only map, he only include, uh, included like seven new map packs in the um, 2.01 update, right? Which means that there's actually very little 1.9 and 2.0 representation in the game, if you think about it, right? So Cidic Flow is pretty good. But yeah, this is, a, this is a thing I'll be talking about in the video, right? Why did Robtop stop making map packs. My, my theory is that gauntlets were actually meant to be a 2.0 feature. Because do you guys notice that um, a lot of aspects of gauntlets have like a sort of Mario style to them? Like, you know, you, like, you know how you go like straight forward in the level and it's just like um, a Mario thing, right? Like a Mario map. So pretty much my theory is that gauntlets were meant to be a 2.0 feature, but Rob Top pretty much postponed it. And he was like, I think when he when he uh, created uh, 2.0 or whatever, uh, he realized like, okay, well, I'm just going to postpone gauntlets to the next update. So he decided on, um, yeah, he just, oh, man, I, I'm like delivering this in the least clean way possible because my brain is scrambled. Okay, guys. But I think you guys know what I mean. 
Gauntlets were likely meant to be a 2.0 feature, in my opinion, but then they were just moved over because Raptor added no 1.9 map packs. But when he realized that he was going to stall Gauntlets to the next update, he was like, okay, I had one final wave of map packs. Which sucks because I think the last wave of map packs is filled with bangers. I think there's the only like infamous level I can think of in the last wave of map packs is Portal by Mindsap. And that's just because it suffers from like early 2.0 move trigger syndrome. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's a well-designed and themed level. It just suffers from, yeah. Like I said, early 2.0 move trigger syndrome. So yeah. Um, I think Robtop abandoned the map pack concept right as it was about to reach its peak, right as it was about to get good. Like, do you guys notice how there's no 1.9 demons that are, like, officially in the thing? What's funny is, like, Speed Racer got, like, 30 million downloads regardless of being featured in the map packs, but it's pretty crazy to think about. Because, like, yeah, Speed Racer's not in the map packs. You'd think a level with 30 million downloads like that was in the map packs, but no, it just got it naturally. Because Zenthic's the GOAT, of course. Why else? Uh, so this level, I mean, it's the usual, like, mid-pack from Neptune. I do kind of like the idea of the slabs in the block design. I feel like it almost makes the level fresh, but the thing is it just doesn't work because of, like, weird layering. So I feel like it's both a mark for and against the level. I'm gonna put this... Um... Yeah. Easy... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. P Pineapple, you're right. Um, Easy Demons are by far the most popular thing in the game. If you want to get downloads as a creator, the number one thing you should target is... um Is Easy Demon... Yeah, it's Easy Demon by far, and uh, then Extreme, if, you, if you're if you gonna make like a clouded out Extreme Demon. But on average, Easy Demons get by far the most downloads. Because, you know, people like uh, to be Easy Demons. That's why I think that in the future, Neptune, uh, no, the Nightmare is probably gonna take over as the most download lo downloaded level. Because I think out of the top 10, the Nightmare and Bloodbath are like the fastest uh, grow growing levels, right? So yeah, we might see um, a total, um, might see a total nightmare takeover i think i think maybe i prefer the nightmare over um damn bro my brain is actually slow bro that's crazy this is what happens when you're unmedicated okay let's see here uh yeah i'm gonna say i'm gonna say uh, i'll say above back on track v2 all right okay okay yeah i think the nightmare is gonna take over as the most downloaded level which would be pretty well deserved in my opinion um but kind of actually i don't know I think Outer Space is probably better, but Sonar is better than both of them. I hope Sonar re reclaims its rightful place as number one. But I think it literally can't because Gauntlet levels have an advantage, right? Because you guys know that whole thing where if you beat a Gauntlet level in the Gauntlets, you don't actually beat it. So you have to beat it again. In Whoa! You guys saw the icon there, right? And a chair? Okay, yo, this is the best V2 so far. Not only did Neptune include a square icon, but he included a chair. This dude might be the GOAT. This dude might fuck around and be the GOAT! Oh my god! Holy shit! He included a square. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, anyways. Um Damn, what was I talking about? Okay, yeah, so I think sonar is better than both of them, but okay, so you guys know that if you beat a gauntlet level, you actually have to rebeat it again, like outside of the gauntlet. And I think that counts as two downloads, which means which is probably the main reason why stuff like outer space grows so fast. Like Acid Factory is also like I think a top ten level, right? So yeah. Gauntlets have a real advantage over map packs, which is why the map packs have fallen off. The last real pillar of map pack supremacy is Retray, which will probably stay as the most liked level forever because it deserves it. It totally deserves it. Dima V Kulov, aside from Retray, is one of the most underrated 1.9 creators. If you look at their uh, parts and stuff like, uh, I think TikTok uh, by Triaxis, I think it's what it's called. Uh, let me see here. I Spy is famous because it's the icon of TikTok. Yeah, I Spy is one of the fastest growing levels too. I mentioned this earlier in stream, but. Um, how do I say this? It's by far the newest level to hit 1 million likes, right? Because believe it or not, before I Spy, the oldest level to have 1 million likes, or the newest level to have 1 million likes was Ghoul, which I think is ID 44 million. And is, um, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, I Spy, I, I Spy is like ID 88 million and has 1 million likes, but this other level, Ghoul, which is the first level of a map, a gauntlet, keep in mind, has 1 million likes. Which means that I Spy is pretty much the only level in the past five years to have 1 million likes, which I find to be a crazy, crazy fact. But yeah, I Spy is one of the fastest growing levels because of like TikTok and virality, and there's a lot to be said about it, but I think it's well deserved. This is probably going to be the first B tier V2. Because I mean, I Spy has a lot of cool effects. It's surprising to me that Dear Nostalgist has 1 million likes. I think it's unironically mainly because um that 2.0 parallax stuff was really cool at the time, but not only that, but like. Dear Nostalgists is very aesthetically clean. Like, if you ignore the bugs, um, I think Dear Nostalgists spoke to a want in the community. 
where people were like almost sick of the new like 2.0 culture and a lot of creators wanted to like revert back to monkey right so purity by taman was one of the first levels to really like return with a 1.0 style but triaxis really hammered it in with dear nostalgists like if you look at dear nostalgists it has just very clean and memorable gameplay schemes throughout and like i said that parallax part made it that parallax part by itself made it feature worthy right that and uh, X by Triaxis and Taman, which some people don't know this, but Taman built half the layout for X, is also an extremely popular easy demon. I think one of the five most popular easy demons, right? So I think I Spy might actually be a top 10 uh, most popular easy demon nowadays, but yeah. X is a uh, top five. X obviously deserves it. So I think Triaxis in general is just a very popular creator and that's how Dear Nostalgist is boosted. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, then whatever's in the first page of easy demon will likely stay in the first page of easy demon for a very long time because that's how monopolies work. That's how the law works. But yeah, it's funny how how similar uh, the Geometry Dash most downloaded page is to like capitalism, capitalism, and monopolies. Okay, like let's be real. <laughs> Should level easy still be the, like the the fifth or sixth most downloaded in the game level in the game? I think it just recently got took over by Bloodbath, or it's about to get taken over. But it's like, hmm, should level easy be the sixth most uh, whatever? Maybe, <laughs> but no. Uh, let's see here. Can't let go V2 was okay, but it didn't have any like crazy uh, design Ws like uh, base after base V2 did. It's crazy how it just suddenly goes from like six star to insane. That's pretty funny. But I mean, fair enough, it is a remix pack. How did you turn GD search pages to capitalism? Because if this was communism, every time you search up the thing, it always has the recent tab. So every level has an equal chance of being showcased to the viewer. Uh, this level really does by far the least new. But it doesn't have any design mess ups like Drow V2, so I'll just put it there. But this is <laughs> this is literally the, the hall of mid and the peak design of base after base V2. Um, so yes. Alright. Let's see. Remix pack two. Next is the expert. No, next is the dash pack. Okay, so this is interesting because light out is the first case of a map pack level that was clearly not the original. Just clearly blatantly not the original. And the creator just updated it to suddenly be like, oh yeah, well, I'm just gonna have <laughs> I'm just going to completely change light out. So we're going to have a level that doesn't fit with the rest of the gauntlets at all, <laughs> which is pretty funny. So we'll we'll get a refresher on, on light out and I'll, I'll, tr I'll play the old version out of curiosity because the current light out by Amelia X is definitely not what, what Rob Top meant to put in the gauntlet. Okay, <laughs> let's just say that. And I'm trying to think, is there any other crates of big gauntlet updates? Uh, Starquake and System Out both had pretty funny updates, which like added curse words to the level. In a system out case, uh, at the start of the level, it used to say fuck Mika. Obviously, Robtop had to remove that because even with parental controls, I think you're allowed to play map hacks. Actually, no, I think the, the whole meme was that parental controls deleted the map hack button. Anyways, yeah. So at the start of system out, it said fuck Mika. And then the, the new Starquake, which hasn't been fixed yet, uh, it says like, oh, this level is shit, but thank you for playing it. <laughs> which is pretty funny and based by mask. That's just jumper from memory. Let's be real. What do you, what do you mean as a little hopper? Yes, this hopper is pretty much jumper with the worst level design. Like there was a ugly part earlier on, so I don't think I could rate this very highly. Yo, I, actually, I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm a mod. I'm a mod pineapple. He low key deserves it. <laughs> I'm a mod pineapple. Thank you for making a uh, uh, geometry wars and uh, and mount uh, pyramids of Giza. Now pineapple has dictatorial powers. I never thought I'd be saying that. I'm honored. All right. I wonder how long I'll stream this for because how do I say this? My my there's only like 105 gauntlet levels and that stream went on for five and a half hours, but there's nearly double the amount of map pack levels. So am I just gonna raw stream like eight or nine hours? Maybe. <laughs> Fuck it, why not, right? Now I'm out. Don't I? It's too late. It's already in motion. All right. I think I think pineapple's already uh, rated. Welcome to the team up top. All right. Let's see here. Hopper, it's mid pack. Um, it's badly designed. I guess it's a bit more original. Uh, yeah, Hopper's not that good. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I like end of line more. I'm giving end of line too little credit for like 20% of the level being like text. Okay. My bad if I'm not reading chat enough. I'm just trying to get through these levels mainly, but like, yeah, I'll, I'll try to read like important messages. So light out is a case of, okay, so keep in mind, right? Uh, this was 100% updated because literally all the levels that we played are meant to predate 1.6 pretty much, right? Does this look like 1.6 to you with its whole, whole custom song and custom block design? 
Oh yeah, so I think in map packs, there's three big cases of uh, updates, right? Aside from Starquake and System Out, like I previously mentioned, right? The system here, the sync here goes hard, but yeah, anyways. The three big update levels are this one, um, Theory of Relativity, and that Gravity Cycles. Those are like the three levels that were updated to be like completely separated from their old self for no real reason other than I guess the creator just felt like it. So Light Out admittedly has some cool aspects and I almost like the fact that those this was updated because despite the fact that the creator obviously doesn't show any real skill for the 1.9 editor, it's probably better than just having to play through like a million 1.0 looking like style levels. Like this is at least a, re a refresher. But it's hard to call this good, because if you judge this by 1.9 standards, I think this is outright like a low C, high D. Like, it's not good. This part looks pretty solid, but yeah. I don't know. I, this part, it's, it's just like... Okay? I don't know, man. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bro, guys, this is so hype. <laughs> the, the, the slow gameplay mixed with the fast music is just so hype, guys. Wow, this is insane, guys. This level hits so different, I might put it in D tier. YouTube the Ameliacs. This is shameless. Not even partition was this shameless, right? <laughs> He's just like, guys, check out my YouTube channel, please. Please. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Ameliacs has a Discord? Hey, hold up. <laughs> Honestly, this level ruined the entire map pack. Damn. Imagine being cooked by a mind sap. Imagine the dude that made Portal saying that you ruined the map pack. <laughs> <laughs> That's some hypocrisy if I've ever seen it. I'm not saying Mindsap is a bad creator, of course. If you made part of Sonar, you're clearly not a bad creator, but Mindsap, you made Portal. I would not speak on this, buddy. I would not speak on this. <laughs> Mindsap was very salty, though. Yo, Pineapple, you're so old that you might have actually fucking known Mindsap back then. What was Mindsap like? I'm gonna play Light Out Old first. Sonar was carried by Creator Junior. Yeah, I know, obviously, but like... Mindtap at least made the first part of it, right? Like, I'd have to guess Mindtap at least made the first part of whatever. So this was likely what Light Out used to look like, if I had to guess. Unless this is just a troll title, right? But this actually... Wait, what? Okay, yeah, this makes sense. Okay, so... The creator kept some parts of, like, old Light Out, but very few old parts. Damn, this is a weird adaptation. No, because this level was kind of better i mean it's better for 1.5 than the new light out was for 1.9 x don't go there guys don't go there x yeah so i don't know i have i have really mixed opinions on this level i think this is d tier because obviously the new version is 1.9 it's like epep 409-esque except epep 409 obviously is in a, in a map pack it's kind of funny it's kind of funny how much this keeps from the original, though, because this is, like, the exact exact same gameplay scheme as the original, which makes me think, like... It's just... It's funny, man. I have to wonder what the thought process was behind Amelia just deciding to change everything. I mean, same with Theory of Relativity and, and Gravity Cycles. I guess the cases are probably all just creators who, like, know that this will forever be, like, their most clouded project, so they just, like, change it to whatever their current decoration thing is. So, fair enough. Fun fact, did you guys know that uh, Battle Town by Tongi is the only gauntlet level to ever be um, reverted by Robtop? Uh, Tongi updated Battle Town to be quote unquote like more playable for its users, right? But despite that, um, yeah, Robtop decided to update it because Robtop must have actually not liked the new version as much, which is pretty funny. Anyways, yeah. Rip Tongi. No, I mean, Tongi's, Tong I mean, Battle Town is awesome. I consider Battle Town to be uh, one of the top three OG gauntlet levels. If you guys know what I'm talking about with that. Like, first first six gauntlets and demon are what are considered to be the OG gauntlets. But anyways, this isn't about gauntlets. This is about map packs. And uh, Light Out gets a solid D tier. <laughs> this is not a good level, okay? It wasn't good before. It was actually pretty all right before. But now that it's updated, I have to give it a worse rating because this is not good. If you're going to update your level to 1.9, at least cook. That's the funny thing about 1.9 levels is that... um. One of the gauntlet level demons legit used to have a secret way. Which one? I know No Eyes was briefly impossible when 2.2 came out. Uh, let me see here. Light Out is, is trash. It's honestly below Square Adventure. It's below Square Adventure. You guys agree with this, right? Like, I think it's below Square Adventure. It's not good. Anyways. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. All right, let's see. Dash pack. Smoking that dash pack. You know what I'm saying? 
All right, now we got Yunhasu14, who has Dizzy World. Yunhasu being in map packs is funny as fuck, because you wouldn't think, like, a modern, like, creator juggernaut with 349 creator points or whatever would be in this, right? But, no. Yunhasu is in the map packs, despite mostly being known as a new creator, right? Which means that out of every creator to ever be number one in the leaderboards... Okay, so for some perspective, Split probably has the highest chance of taking Yun over, even though I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. If someone did take over Yun, it would be Split, right? So for some perspective, if Split took over as number one, Split would be the first creator since um, this dude 99 Geometry Dash back in like the first day of update 1.3 to be a creator without a map pack level for perspective, right? That means so far every creator in Geometry Dash history that's been number one has had a map pack level, including Yoon, despite being a, a more like known as a new creator, right? So yeah, that's a pretty interesting fun fact. Every 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 uh, number one creator except 99 Geometry Dash has a map pack level. That's because 99 Geometry Dash, I'm gonna be honest, mostly made mid pack. So Dizzy World is is pretty generic. I mean, it doesn't do anything wrong. It doesn't really do anything right either. I'd say if you look at like the definitive Yoon Hasu level, it's probably Unique, right? Because I think Unique might have been featured in GD World. I don't know if it was featured in GD World, but it has like 10 million downloads. I think it has more than Dizzy World, which is pretty surprising. But yeah, I mean, Unique obviously deserves it more because I mean, just stylistically, it's a cool level. Let me just let me just show you guys what I'm talking about real quick if you haven't played a Unique. Yeah, 8.4 8 million. This is probably featured in GD World. Back then, this was, uh, no pun intended, Unique style, right? So yeah, this is a more like experimental Yoon, right? So it's it's um, I honestly don't mind Yoon being number one because Yoon is an OG. Yoon deserves it, and Yoon is the goat. So yeah. Anyways, um, Dizzy World doesn't really do like I said not much wrong, but not much right either. So we're gonna have to probably place it in place it in C if I had to guess. All right, da, da, da. um, better design than Hopper. I like End of Line more low key. Zenthic is original top one. You were almost top one, Pineapple. I know you were top 10, but... Uh, look in Discord DMs, show to, like, the stream. Okay, so I'm on a different... Um... Yeah, no, I, I can't really do that, Cool Vlad, because I'm on, a, like, a different, uh, like, thing, if that makes sense. I'll, I'll, I could look up the video later. Uh, let me see here. I'll, I'll put it, I'll put it up uh, probably later if you remind me, uh, cool, cool Vlad. But for now, we're to stay on topic. All right, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. All right, um, yeah, Zenthic's not the original top one, but Zenthic is a pretty old uh, top one. The the true original top one is, I mean, I could go down the list. It's Darnock 2, then Darnock, then Geometry 99, 99 Geometry Dash, Mask, Zenthic, uh, Cody. Cody I, Cody, I think, is the oldest proven top one. No, actually, no, Darnock 2 is the oldest proven top one. Darnock 2 is the only uh, number one creator with a screenshot of them in the top one that has less than uh, 10 creator points, which in Darnock 2's case was 9. It's a long story, Pineapple. Anyways, let's see here. Next is the... Next, I think, is the Expert Pack, yeah. In terms of, like, uh, uh, timeline-wise release dates. Where is Expert at? All right. So next is 5 by Cody. As you guys know, this was pirated. Oh, I mean, like, for me, Zenthic is number one for my era. Yeah. Yeah, because your era was mostly, like, uh, 1.9. Uh, I think Viper had already taken over during, like, like by the time you were in your, like, early 2.0 tenure, I know Viper and Zenthic Alpha had a very big rivalry that, like, switched spots between them continuously, but, yeah. It's cool to have such an old, uh, legendary creator in chat, though, for real. Thanks for joining the stream, Pineapple. And, um, yeah, I mean, oh, this is a funny kill route. <laughs> Cody was like, yo, I'm gonna add two routes, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, the stream is about to be seven hours long. I hope it's seven hours long because I think it's it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be eight hours long, bro. We're like, we're like seven packs through, and it's already an hour long, dude. This is insane. And the thing is, these are the levels I have the least to talk about. These are just mid like 1.0 levels for the most part. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Uh. Pick a struggle. Oh my god. I, okay, yeah, this level is D tier. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways. Anyways, what's up, Ender? Ender? Knock the Fly is such a meme, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think, um... I, I think someone said, like, Josh and Lol or something was, like, an old creator that deserved to be in map packs. But what do you guys think? 
I think that the only like 1.0 to 1.8 creators that Rotop was missing for people who, who weren't in the stream before are Majako, Sheriffo, uh, Vizimuth, and uh, probably Zeriku. In terms of 1.0 to 1.8. Now, if it's 1.9, there's like a lot more creators that you could add to that. Like, for example, if I made something called like. Okay. Like, if I made a 1.9 pack, it would probably be like Revolution by Funny Game, ROTD by Millipaddy, and this level called the Crystal Field by Novel Boy, because that level was sick. Right? Imagine like that, the rainbow pack, right? Incendium should have had a level in a 1.9 map pack. I think Robtop agreed with you, which is why he included Scarlet Surge and Chaos Gauntlet, because. Um, Incendium is the only 1.9 creator to be included in um in included in a gauntlet level that didn't already have a map pack level. So I think Robtop specifically wanted to represent Incendium, especially after Incendium quit. So I actually think it was a pretty honorable move by Robtop to um put Scarlet Surge in. Because I mean Glitter Shroom and Samsara are also the only other 1.9 creators to like be in uh, uh or 1.9 levels to be in a gauntlet, right? But they already had their clout from map packs. So I think in Incendium's case, it was specifically Robtop honoring Incendium. And, and I mean, Incendium deserved it. Uh, Scarlet Surge is S tier. So yeah. Uh, Lado, I can't play random levels on stream because there's always a non-zero chance that it's some like crazy like furry shit. And <laughs> let's just say I don't want to be uh, that one streamer. Who's that one streamer kid that got trolled? He was, he was named like Bobby or something. Anyways. um, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that shit was crazy. Hold up, what was the level I just played? I'm sure, I swear I'll remember. I swear I'll remember. Man, these levels are actually so forgettable, dude. I actually can't. Um, It was five, okay, yeah. That's fair. All right, five by Cody. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this entire map pack just Cody levels? That's crazy. Cody's, Cody's clouded out, man. Holy shit. Uh, five is okay. It's... I'm gonna say below... Mm. It, it's, it, the thing is, for the time, Polar Guest V, uh, five was pretty good. Because it's older than pretty much all these other levels. And five was, fun fact, at a certain point, the most downloaded level in the game. Right before Auto Play Area. So it's, it's pretty much one of the only seven levels to ever hold that title. I'm trying to think how much creators have like exclusive map packs for them. I know the fast pack guy, uh, Kroos HZ or whatever, has a has a map pack for him. And Neptune obviously has multiple map packs, and so does Zelink. And then I think the only other guy is Cody, maybe. I think there's only four creators who have like entire map packs dedicated to their works, which is pretty uh, interesting to think about. Yeah, Cody, Zelink, uh, da -da -da, Cody, Zelink, Newt, Neptune, and the uh, Cross HZ. My throat's already hurting, and it's been an hour, 20 minutes, bro. I'm going to be so cooked by the end of this stream. I'm, I'm really trying to return to video uh, creation in a, in, at a grander scale, though. Um, I'm not sure if my motivation is back, but I, I really am going to try to return. Like, ideally, I, I don't need motivation to work, you know? But flawed human psychology and all that, you know? That's life. Uh, so this level is pretty good design so far from what I'm seeing here. I honestly hate 1.3 blocks. I think 1.3 has my least favorite block palette because in most create cases when creators do the pattern, it's like always botched. You guys notice that, right? Like the shades of the triangles just don't hit each other well. So I think 1.3 is by far my least favorite block palette. It's just always so like out of date. Um, This level isn't bad though. Yeah, happy pack is goaded. Too bad... It uh, like I said, um, okay, um, let me think. Ender, math, okay, so we're playing the map packs in chronological order, which means we haven't actually gotten to the, uh, these newer ones, right? So because we're playing in chronological order to get a better understanding of, uh, you know, the time and all that, um, yeah, we're not going to get to those levels for a while, but I do think that Happy Pack is, is god tier. I mean, I love Jerkrat. Jerkrat is one of my favorite creators, uh, of all time. I think I've, cre uh, completed pretty much every Jerkrat level. Uh, so yeah, what was the level we just played, bro? Man, these levels are so forgettable. I have to continuously pull up Geometry Dash and be like, okay, 10x step. Uh, all right, Cody. Let's see here. Cody, Cody, Cody. All right, 10x step. Let's get 10x step up here. It has some block design Ws, some block design Ls. Um, I'll put it below end of line. It's okay. All right, an eight jumper. I better see Drift in S or I'm throwing hands SS. 
Yeah, Matt or math. I'll con I'll I'll consider putting an SS tier. But if I had to guess, the only levels that would end up in SS tier are Adrift, Mystery Dungeon, and Retray. I don't think there's any other map hack level that's quite on the level of those three. Those three are like beyond peak in like every way imaginable. But m maybe I only have an S tier, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, like like a uh, cool light said, the Prism is also a, a top tier map hack level. That's the thing. I think that's what's so disappointing about map hacks is we're, we may be playing a lot of generic levels now. But I think the uh, map pack wave that was added in 2.01 was truly on another level with like what it added to the game. Like like I said, the only controversial level I can think of from the 2.01 packs are uh, Portal by Mindset. And even then Portal thematically looks cool. So yeah, I just think it's pretty disappointing how Robtop quit on the map packs feature right when it was starting to really get good. Because I'd say stuff like the happy pack, the alpha pack, they're pretty, and the force pack, they're pretty uncontroversial. And I think most people like them, right? It just sucks that, like, the second Robtop truly had lightning in a bottle, he just decided to switch to gauntlets. And I think early gauntlets were easily worse than late map packs. Because the thing with map packs was that they didn't have to care about thieving, right? They just had to, um, they just had to be map packs. It's like, it's not that deep, okay? We're just gonna call this the expert pack, for example. <laughs> You've got to be an expert to be, you know what I'm saying? Robtop didn't care about thieving, so because of that, and that was kind of a buggy transition, so I'm gonna have to mark some points off for that. But yeah, because Robtop didn't care about theming back then, map packs were allowed to just not give a fuck. But because gauntlets care about theming, you have like, for example, the fire gauntlet, where it's like the first four levels have literally nothing to do with fire. And then the last level is like, okay, it's fire themed, but actually it's it's magma. So it actually should be in the lava gauntlet level. And lava gauntlet has a fire aura level, which should be in the fire gauntlet. So the fact that gauntlets have no real cohesive theming makes it so that the early gauntlet levels, mainly before like time gauntlet, were far worse to me in design. So yeah. That's a complicated way of saying uh, late map hacks are better than early gauntlets, which I think most people would agree with. They just don't really realize it because late gauntlets are better than late map packs, obviously. So let's see, we were just playing eight jumper. Ocho jumper. Okay. All right. Let's put, it's, it's like, it's okay pack. Um, Better than Hopper. It probably messes up more than Dizzy World, so I'll probably keep Dizzy World above it. All right, next is Remix Pack 3. So what's good is that we're getting through the most boring part of this stream right now because I'm not going to lie. I'm sure for 1.6, this was fresh, but this really doesn't hold up that well today. Like, <laughs> I feel like I've been playing the same level over and over and I'm stuck in like map pack purgatory right now. So uh, if you're a new viewer, as you could see, this is what the, the stream is about. The stream is about the idea of whether or not secret coins should be removed from the map packs reward system. Because Robtop has toyed around with the idea of pretty much having map packs be removed and have it be a legacy feature, where map packs no longer reward secret coins. And I'm not sure if I agree with that. But I think 66% of you guys also like agree with me when we say that map packs should be uh, kept as a secret coin reward. And I think it's a pretty uh, like interesting. Uh, it'd be a pretty interesting case study to just have like this second like biggest influence in terms of like the game's like modern level is just removed like that, you know? Cause like I said, if you're in the map packs, your level has minimum 2 million downloads, which means that pretty much every level is just huge no matter what. Uh, so let me think, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at the stream chat right now. So my, 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 my concentration's off, okay guys? But anyways, oh, uh, let me see here. I mean, in reality, I feel like removing map packs are gonna screw up some sort of feature. They're not. It's just the question of, if you remove secret coins from map packs, where else would you put them? And the main answer I've seen to that is, oh, it should be gauntlet levels, right? And it's like kind of, uh, wait, hold up, hold up, let me see, hold up, uh, let me see. Da -da -da. Sorry guys, I'm being a uh, thing somewhere else. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah, I, I can't really address this, right? All right, so let me see, anyways, okay. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, I'm not sure if Ender's in chat, but yeah, I can't read all that right now. Uh, jumper V2. Hmm. Dun, du, 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 du. Yeah, this level's okay. Yo, what was I talking about before I got mad distracted, bro? Uh, yeah. So, so the uh, most people's ideas was like, oh, we should just add secret coins for the gauntlets. But I'm like, do the gauntlets really deserve that? Especially the first seven, which are so badly. I, I'd say uh, mainly the first eight levels, like Chaos Demon in the first six have mostly pretty bad picks in terms of levels. Yeah, I think Gauntlet's giving a chest is better, but people, some people are saying like, oh, it should give a chest and the secret coin. And it's like, 
I feel like the secret coins is just simply a map pack reward. I don't think it should be removed. Um, yeah, because I, I think if you remove map packs, you're removing part of the, the game's culture. And I'll expand on this in a video later. I do think I'll have a surprisingly good point to make about how important map packs are to the game. But for now, I just got to let the script cook. This stream is mainly so that like when I when I watch over my opinions, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna probably rewatch this stream later and then write my script based off this stream. So this is gonna be pretty uh, valuable, bro. Those are goaded levels, not in terms of quality, but they're goaded. Uh, which ones though? Um, gauntlets? No, because I think like the gauntlets after like like time gauntlet and after are pretty well picked, but before that is like eh, it's pretty mixed. I'm gonna put jumper v2 here because I don't really, I don't really mess with jumper v2. Uh, the OG gauntlets, the OG gauntlets have a few bangers like Acid Factory, but I would be lying if I said that aside from like Acid Factory, Magmatic, and like the occasional like banger like Spooky Light or Battle Town, that they were actually like any good. Map packs are like keeping tradition intact despite globalization. People will play the new crazy levels, but will look back at older times to see how things evolved. Exactly, Ender. Ender, yo. <laughs> I'ma have you review my script. Whether you have the time to or not, okay, Ender? <laughs> You're a mod of this chat, which means that you are a slave, okay? You are a slave of the di dictatorship, okay? I don't care about your elbow. Okay, anyways. That was just an entirely unrelated meme. Um, anyways. The thing with Time Machine is that Time Machine is unironically my second favorite Rob Top level because it has the most goaded, like, up-to-date design. Guys, if you actually play Time Machine and appreciate the block design, you'll see how crazy ahead Rob Top was for his time. And because of Time Machine by association, this level might be... Oh my god, that was such a... Ooh, no! No, he botched... How did he botch the block design of Time Machine? That's what I'm saying, guys. Okay, but there's like maybe too much tradition going on in the map packs. It doesn't convey the evolution, right? See, I actually agree with you, Pineapple, which is the main reason why I hate the fact that Robtop pretty much stopped adding... It's why I hate the fact that Robtop only had one wave of map packs to account for 1.9 and early 2.0, right? Because if he added more map packs, it would have actually conveyed the evolution far better. We would have had a lot more 1.9 representation, 2.0 representation, and maybe even a little bit more 1.8 uh, representation, right? But because Robtop decided to end the map pack um the map pack like thing prematurely we have pretty much over representation of admittedly out of date levels but i think you know once he made stuff like the force pack and cookie pack rob top knew what he was doing and mostly picked very good levels and you'll see that later we're, like right now we're, we're ranking in a lot of c tiers but later on we're gonna see a lot of a tiers b tiers maybe but well, definitely some s tiers so a uh, time machine is okay a uh, time machine botches some of the block design um, but yeah, I mean, it's not as good as a uh, base after base V2, but yeah, this is maybe the second best base after or second best V2 so far, possibly, possibly second best V2. Let's see. This would be in the insane category. Holy shit, dude. These map pack levels are so hard to find because I'm, I'm not doing it in order technically. So I'll just move cycles V2 up there for, for later. Like might as well, right? Makes sense. So we uh, don't have to like move it down and up every... Every guy for second time. Okay. Cycles V2R. Yo, one thing that's triggering about Cycles V2R is like, <laughs> damn, bro. <laughs> it just, it removes like the whole name presence thing. Because all of them are V2 up to this point. But because Cycles V2 is like a remake of Neptune's old Cycles V2, he just like completely botches the name design. So I just hate that. I'll put po above, uh, above Steer Man's below uh, Polar Guys V2. But yeah, that's the the disturbing truth of Matt Mart. You'd get no views because I have no clout in the wider community. <laughs> No one actually knows who I am. They just watch my videos. All right, all right. I mean, yeah, this isn't bad so far. Cycles is pretty cool. I think what's cool about Cycles is that despite being a, a 1.2 level, Cycles already has a very cohesive theme. Because the level not only introduces the gravity ball, but it also introduces, like, gravity flips and stuff like that, right? So... The entire level is playing around with gravity in that way, which makes Cycles a very, like, uniquely gameplay styled level for the time of 1.2. So yeah, by association, uh, Cycles V2R is pretty okay. But, like, it has some botched stuff, like, right there. Like, why, why, why did that, like, why did Neptune just, like, design that and think that was okay? Um, 
This is probably worse than Stereo Madness V2, but above uh, whatever is worse than Stereo Madness V2 right now. I mean, it's okay, you know? It's 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 V2s. It's remakes. Uh, what's cool is that after this first wave, there's like barely any remake le levels left. Like, the first four remix packs were all added within the uh, 1.6 update, right? And after that, Neptune's levels, like other remakes, like Hexagon Force V2 or whatever, they're still among map packs, but they're scattered among map packs. I wonder if Robtop ever considered adding like an auto pack, right? Because I think there was a non-zero chance back then that like, because Robtop really liked Funny Games auto levels. He has like two recordings of Funny Games auto levels on his uh, stuff, right? So I think there was a non-zero chance that Robtop would have had like an auto pack of like auto club stop, auto uh, toe, and like auto player or something, but. I think Robtop was just like, nah, I'm gonna have these people play for their shit, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, because that would have been admittedly dumb to have an auto map pack, or an auto gauntlet. But yeah, I mean, Lake has an auto list, so we're like 50% of the way there, in my opinion. Oh man, this is gonna become dog bark hell. They're like, oh, owner, we need our food. Okay. All right, remix pack three. Uh, now next is fusion pack. Ooh, this, is, this should be probably the best pack we've played so far. I have pretty high opinions of these levels. Because obviously, I mean, Very Hard CLG is early funny game. It's so early funny game that, like, funny game wasn't, like, one of the goats yet. So, here's the thing. I think I think the, we're playing Clash right now, right? Yeah, Clash. Clash is very well designed block-wise. But it has, like, one controversial segment at, like, 64%, which I think, like, single-handedly makes everyone completely dismiss this level. But if you just take in the time to, like, recognize how good the block design is... Clash might be the best level we've played so far. It depends on how much I hate the 64 thing. Because admittedly, admittedly, the 64 thing is bad. And something tells me that it played differently before, like, Robtop, like, messed around with orb physics continuously for several updates, right? Because the thing is, um, how do I say this? So, uh, as you guys might know, um, Robtop changed physics of levels several times, right? Which means, if you were, like, a 144 hertz player, for example, Dark Paradise was literally impossible despite it being a 2-star. And Hyper Ice Jumper was... It was essentially impossible. Hyper Ice Jumper was like a frame perfect. And that was no fault of Hyper Ice Jumper. But because of that, in the inner community, map packs have such a bad rap. See, I did that in 1 of 10. So like, I know that's a bad gameplay thing. And you could definitely mark off points. Oh, no, no, no. You could mark off points for that. That is a terrible thing, dude. Don't do that question mark shit at 80%. What are you doing, Darnock? Yeah, that's terrible gameplay design. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but Clash is the best looking level that we've played so far. And I think most people would agree with that. Uh, let me see, yeah, physics change. So yeah, Robtop did several physics changes, which means among like the inner community, there's like a ton of map packs, which just are hated for no real reason of their own, no, no real fault of their own. Like we're gonna play map packs now and they're gonna be good because we're playing on the modern 2.2 60 Hertz or 240 Hertz physics, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, map packs levels get a lot of hate from the inner community, which is why you hit, we, you see so much memes where it's like, oh, despite being one of the greatest players ever, and Switch just hacked all the map hacks because you just can't deal with it, right? Um, and yeah, it's mainly because of stuff like, you know, the, the 144 hertz hyperized jumper glitch, which really um, minimizes the, uh, how much people, many people like map hacks. Are all the map hacks fixed now? Yeah, I believe so. Watch John, Donark join the stream and go go off. I don't care if Donark joins the stream and goes off. If Donark joins the stream, I'm telling him to make another level. He has to, okay? Uh, let's see. I think Clash is worse than Utopia Dash mainly because of block design, but out of out of all the levels we've played so far, Clash is the best looking straight up. But I have to I have to put it below uh, uh, Utopia Dash for its terrible gameplay design towards the end. Very hard CLG. So yeah, this is one of the few funny game levels that's so early in his career that he wasn't yet uh, an established legend of the game, right? Which is fine. I mean, he still has a ton of cool concepts. So like like the spike on slab stuff representing spears is pretty modern gameplay design for the time. Um, but yeah. This clearly wasn't, like, the, the same funny game, IQ-wise or whatever, that made, like, Revolution, right? Luckily, we get to see appear into, like, the early part of Funny Game's peak because Funny Game Holiday is featured in the map packs. But we don't really get to see, like, inexplicably for the 1.9 and 2.0 packs. Robtop didn't include any, like, banger Funny Game 1.9 levels like, uh, you know, Revolution or Rainbow Dust or, or Dreamer, right? I think Dreamer, Dreamer is probably one of the biggest misses for me. Because I think Robtop decided to include like a somewhat like generic level in my opinion called like Silence, which is barely time themed over Dreamer, which is like the clock level that like influenced clocks in Geometry Dash for like generations to come, if that makes sense. So I think Dreamer by Funny Game probably should have been the first time Gauntlet level. But yeah, I mean, you can't have everything sometimes, but it, it would be fun to have a Funny Game level that's not Death Moon, have like 20 million downloads or whatever. Bam, bam. 
Well, it's funny with funny game is that I think a Geo game actually carried along the legacy quite nicely. I think Mountain King is probably the most known funny game or most like known Geo game level, uh, Geo game era thing because Mountain King is very well designed. I hate the gameplay here. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, buffer, buffer orbs, guys. Buffer orbs. Yep, yep. Just okay. So if you buffer all the orbs off screen, you'll actually die there. That was me buffering. You have to actually just time it. So look, the rockets look cool conceptually here. And look, these are very nice detailed like rabbitical S block designs. Like I said, around 1.3, I consider like rabbitical to be the best creator before he got like taken over by Funny Game in 1.4. But you could definitely see some like, like, like Funny Game was already good despite this being one of his first levels. So I definitely can't rate this low, but it's just not like the gameplay is not there, you know, which is fine. But because of the gameplay not being fully there, I'm probably going to have to put this below level easy. Uh, above the level that's currently below level easy. Yeah, Funny Game himself didn't make Mountain King. Uh, Geo Game did under the Funny Game account. So yeah. Uh, as a good hint for Funny Game, I believe that every level after Simplism has no influence from Funny Game. No pineapple. I wasn't saying that buffer orbs equal bad gameplay. I was saying that if you buffer all the orbs, you die to an off-screen uh, yellow orb. If that makes sense. So that's what I consider bad gameplay because the yellow orb is off-screen. So, yeah. All right. Anyways, let's see. We were just playing uh, Can't Let Go CLG. Very hard CLG. Eight star, eight star. I'm just going to move all these up here. Collect Funk Remix, da -da -da, Electric Freeze. All right, all right, all right. Hold up. Where the fuck? Oh, my God. This is so annoying. I hate this. I hate this. I hate gamers, okay? Gamers do not deserve rights, in my personal opinion. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that move three levels at the, at the same time again. I just lost like every single level I was talking about. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, electric freeze hype, very hard CLG hype. Okay. All right, very hard CLG goes uh, below level easy, like I said. Mainly mainly gameplay-wise, it goes uh, below level easy above Cidic Flow. All right. Okay, yeah, TBH, I need a lecture on what's good GP. No, I mean, as an old head, like, I started this game in 1.92, trust me, I agree with you, uh, when I say, like, these new gens. These new gens and their jump indicators, okay? Back in the day, we didn't need jump indicators. Um, or whatever, so, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I was just complaining, because I think off-site, I think even if you like memory gameplay, off-screen orbs is always a bad, like, bad conceptually. So, yeah. I think old gens and new gens can unite on that fact. Uh, this is just Clutter Funk Remake, so it's going to be like mid-pack Clutter Funk Remake. Like, pretty ex expected, if I had to guess. Yeah, this level doesn't really do a whole lot new. I do like the fact that the, um, as, as you can see there, the, the deep spikes merged quite a bit into the block structure. So that was definitely a, a good aspect of level design right there. Pineapple, don't you? You must have like a job now. You must be like old as fuck, Loki. Because you're like an OG, OG creator. And at this point, OG creators started like nine years ago. For some reason, new gens hate electrodynamics and clutter bunk. Um, I don't like electrodynamics, but that's more because I don't actually like like the 1.7 and 1.8 block palette in general for the most part. I know it sounds like slanderous, but I think other updates like 1.6 were like stronger block design wise. Now as for Clutterfunk, I don't understand the hate for Clutterfunk at all. Clutterfunk is an amazing distinct level and it's not even like unfun gameplay wise. But look, as you can see here, uh, I hate 1.3 era blocks. 1.3 era blocks are my least favorite because look at it. Like none of the triangles go into each other in a satisfying way. Raptop just didn't give the creators enough options to have consistently correct 1.3 patterns. So because of that, 1.3 has just uh, the consistently worst block palette. So I have a kind of negative bias against levels that primarily use the 1.3 block palette. Okay, look, look, here's an example of what I consider correct use. Do you see how the, the light squares, the light triangles, like, bleed into each other on the lower parts of the... I know it seems like a minor thing, man, but I just feel like it adds up. Like, the waffle blocks in, in 1.0 are, like, universally loved. But those 1.3 blocks? It's no wonder why no one uses them. It's because no one uses them correctly. I haven't gotten to the UFO pack. Nah, I showed it to people who don't even know... Cologne! Uh, yeah, I mean... I mean, it's because there's this whole meme where it's like, oh, why isn't this level a uh, demon? Which I've never gotten because club step is like blatantly harder than electrodynamics. I think it's mainly just, I guess, I don't know, speed haters. Like, I, I feel like club step is way harder than electrodynamics. Like, that shouldn't really be as much of a debate as it is. It doesn't really make sense to me. Single most shittiest map? No, I actually disagree. Uh, Morph pack? Oh, you mean UFO pack. UFO pack's probably not going to be that good, but I think morph pack's probably the worst one we've seen so far. 
Let me see. Where's Clutter Funk Remix at? This level is kind of mid-pack. It doesn't really mess up badly, but... Um, nah, I don't really like this level. I'll put it below Stereo Madness V2. Alright, let's see. What's the next one? We got... We got... Turbo Pack 1. What's funny is uh, 1.8 has like... Moby made a video on the whole... He, he probably either said Morph Pack or UFO Pack, if I had to guess. I mean, those are the, the only good takes. I know he addressed Morph Pack, but I forgot which one he had as his worst straight up. Maybe one of the Insane Packs, because, like, admittedly, the Insanes are probably the most controversial aspect of map pack gameplay. <laughs> Aside from, like, the obvious, like, really hard demons like PG Club's death. Because, like, with the Insane Pack, it'll just randomly be harder than a map pack entirely, right? Like, there's, like, um, I think it's called a Twisted Pack or something, which, like, makes you beat Tyrion Wall and Corrupted Kingdom, and it's like, holy shit, this is AIDS, man. This should not be, like, insane, okay? <laughs> this is a Demon Pack, straight up. Anyways, this is more of the usual, like, good Darnok level design. Though this probably has some of the weakest Darnok level design that we've seen uh, so far, right? So, yeah. Alright, let's see here. Oh my god. Alright, so. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty good, but, I mean, in terms of Darnok, I, I, expect, I expect better, okay, Darnok? I expect better. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool merging of block design inside the structures. Uh, I know my mic is going to be varying in sensitivity right now, but yeah. Anyways, um, let me think here. Uh, this level's pretty good. It's not that bad. Um, yeah, Electro Man is one of my favorite levels, like, vibes-wise. It's I think it's my favorite route type level overall, because it's just, like, very polished and well-designed. Is this a bad gameplay moment? Yeah, it's a pretty bad gameplay moment. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you can play that correctly and still just die, pretty much. Um, so yeah, Electric Freeze is pretty low down there. Um, I, um, in terms of, I mean, it, it's good because it's a Darnock level, but like, I'm gonna say top of, top of C or, mm, I'll go bottom of B here. All right. Electric Freeze. Error Funk is the next one. Now, Liad is a pretty good creator. I, I like Liad. Lead, lead, lead. Um, I'm not sure if this level is good. This level is probably mid pack from what I remember. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, but Clutterfunk vibes wise is peak, bro. Um, yeah, anyways, let's see here. Yeah, <laughs> I know, my, I know my, my main commentary just consists of singing, but admittedly, this first wave of uh, 1.6 levels is kind of uninteresting, you know? So it just be like that sometimes. Okay, this looks pretty good design-wise. And I like the fact... Look, a, a major, like, Geometry Dash sin for me is if a map pack has an arrow pointing in a certain path. And then the arrow just leads to, to death, okay? I think that's just objectively bad gameplay design. Like, you're not cool. You're not a memory level. You're not limbo, okay? Don't do that. So yeah, it's good to see... Hmm, I'm not sure this is a unique block design, but the whole, like, invisible block thing, you gotta admit that looks pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, this is definitely, uh, it's C tier. Like, it's a weak level. It doesn't do a whole lot right, but it doesn't do a whole lot wrong either. Like, I've, I've been having a pretty fun time with the game. Oh, uh, right when I say I was having a fun time with the game. Okay, yeah, off-screen orbs. Yep, that's definitely a moment. Get this shit out of here! Okay, Moldy said the worst pack is the UFO pack. I think the morph pack is just objectively far worse. Because the morph pack, I mean, a as people saw in the rankings... The morph pack is only slightly redeemed by Polar Geist Reverse. The other two are the worst levels we've played so far. And the thing with the UFO pack, you can hate the gameplay, you can hate the concepts, but not only is it more inventive than the speed pack, it's probably... How do I say this? It has better It has better decoration now, right? Like, Zelink has a pretty clean decoration style. I'll rank Aero Funk and Ice Cave V4 at the same time. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. That's kind of kind of cringe. But yeah, no, I mean, if you look at the UFO thing, it actually has pretty uh, clean, um, like, gameplay, like, uh, throughout. You know what I'm saying? Or not not gameplay, um, like, design. Design-wise. Ice Cave V4, get that up there. Ice Cave V4. Ice Cave, guys. Guys, it's a Slaughterhouse reference. So true. Error Funk. Error, error, error Funko. Let's see here. Error Funko Pops. This shit, this shit kind of mid. Um... I guess below below five above Polar Guys V zero one. How about that? 
Why do you say Ryan Trahan looking at... <laughs> is, that, is that confidential information? I don't think we've seen the moldy face reveal, Math, math Genius. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways, as KB4. So what's cool about this, I mean, there's several, like, as you know, themed uh, one point, you know, early map hack levels like Skyfrost by Jabagulo, right? But, I mean, thematically, even, even though it was done multiple times, an ice theming in general was still pretty unique. And I'm not sure if this was the absolute first to do this. But yeah. I mean, obviously you have like fucking ice carbon zust if you want to count that shit, which was pretty damn early. But yeah, I mean, the whole ice theming is still pretty okay, pretty cool. Um, is there such a thing as a, a map hack level that was included in the map hacks but only rated? Because I think everything we played so far has been just featured out, right? Because I mean, obviously, right? Like if Rocktop liked the level, he probably has a feature to not like rated. But I'm not sure if we've seen any rated map packs. If that historian dude Cool Vlad is still in the chat, maybe he knows, or maybe someone can find that that there's a a map pack level with only a rates. Is the audio fine, guys? All right, Ice Cave before should have been in the Ice Gauntlet. So true, <laughs> so true. <laughs> What's funny is that Ice Cave before unironically matches the Ice Theme better than like three or four of the Ice Gauntlet levels. Cause Rod Top's logistics with the Ice Gauntlet was pretty much uh, this level is blue, so I'll just, I'll just fucking put it in the Ice Gauntlet. Why not? All right. Yeah. Okay. So Ice Cave V4 is okay, but it, for for being themed, it's cool. But I mean, I can't really give it that much more credit than I'll probably put it below. Po it just doesn't look that good. I don't know. Like I want to put it higher, but it just it's, it really doesn't hit that different to me. So what's funny with the uh, Rob Top is that despite the fact that this is 1.6 and speed didn't really exist yet, he has uh the next two packs are the Turbo packs. Wait, what? Oh, wait, we already played this shit. Okay. Turbo Pack 2. Okay, so this is Hyper Ice Jumper, which was made infamous to 144Hz players for containing a, a, a I think, 144Hz frame perfect at 79%, right? Dun, dun. So, yeah, there's two Turbo Packs, which is, I think, aside from Remix Pack, it's, like, the only pack which has, like, a continuity of, like, multiple packs named it. And, obviously, the Demon Packs. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we're already doing another ice thing. So, yeah, I guess the whole ice thing really wasn't that inventive, depending on who did it first. But, yeah, from what I know, I, out of all of them, Hyper Ice Jumper probably has the most infamous gameplay. Uh, it's hard to say, though. Matt Mars going to shit his pants when he sees winged things. Yeah, like I, like, I, like I said earlier in the stream, um, Rabidical is a really good creator, but I think most of his more worst levels, at least what I consider his worst levels, happen to be in the map packs. Like Windings and um, Ripple's Adventure. So yeah. I do like uh, Rabidical as a creator, and I think levels like Time Road and Extreme Park definitely deserve their map packs thing. But yeah, Wind Windings is one of the weaker levels. But in my opinion, probably the... At least this is my prediction from what I remember. I think... Um, Demon Jumper and um, fucking... Demon Jumper and Darnock Can't Let Go are probably the weakest aesthetic-wise in terms of map pack levels. Uh, like, map pack demons, because they just don't look good. <laughs> like, straight up. Yeah, like, like that 78% timing right there like, it used to be pretty much impossible on 144 Hz, and it was pretty much auto right there. So, like, I'm, Hyper Ice Jumper could be worse. I, honestly, like, this is one of the more controversial levels, but I honestly don't see it. I think it's pretty good. Uh, this is the definition of what happens when you, like, pee in snow, if you know what I'm saying. Like, pee in ice and... <laughs> you got the yellow background with the fucking... All right. Barely any deco in the air, bro. This is not 2.1. We're not going to be seeing any air deco anytime soon, okay? Um, okay. So that level was Hyper Ice Jumper. Okay. Uh, Hyper Ice Jumper. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, this is pretty good. It's better than all these. It's better than Ice Cave. It's better than Air Funk. It's better than Five. I'll put it... I'll put it above five below uh, easy because I think easy is just very clean block design wise. Am I bugging here? Yeah, I, I might be bugging here. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty mid pack. It, I, no, there's a real argument that, yeah, I'm going to put it above one below high hill. Okay. It's funny because my favorite map pack is the alpha pack. Yeah, it's probably my favorite overall pack too, but yeah. Okay, so made in Vuasari. I actually love this level and I used it for background footage in one of my videos of uh, uh, the, the, it's, it's the one where I talk about like the Geometry Dash app store being deleted. I think Maiden Vuasari is a very satisfyingly made level, if that makes sense. Like all the block design patterns feel very like satisfying to look at. I don't know if that makes sense. It's just, it works. 
Like, yeah, I don't know. You, you guys will see more of, like, a uh, Maiden Vuasari strengths later on, right? Yeah, I think I might have to split this map pack stream in two, man, because it's, it's an hour 15. I'm already, like, only, like, one. <laughs> I'm not even through the 1.6 wave entirely yet, which is crazy because we still have, like, nine more 1.6 packs. But, yeah, you guys see what I mean, right? Like, I don't know. There's something mesmerizing about this level structure. Okay, like, this is a, a weak spot and exception in what is otherwise a, a pretty strongly designed level, in my opinion. But this part looks pretty interesting, I guess. No, maybe, I, maybe I'm overrating this. I, I feel like I like this level far more... <laughs> yeah, this, this level is one of those, like, personal likings of mine. I can't say this. It's, it's very objective which, with what I'm seeing here. Uh, I was I thought this was going to be top of B tier, but, like, no, you're marathoning this right now. It's just going to be eight to nine hours straight of map packs, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this. Uh, Yo, math, how about you donate? <laughs> how about you donate, bro? If, if you donate money, I'll... Uh, I'll... <laughs> Nah, I'm kidding. Okay. I think it would be cool if we got five new map packs in 2.1. Yeah, I think that is one aspect because there's 65 map packs, right? So it's kind of unsatisfying that we don't have a round number of 10, in my opinion. Anyways, Maiden Vusari. I think I like it a lot more than it deserves. So I'll try to rate it somewhat objectively here and put it, let's see, bottom of, I want to say, um, let me think here. Uh, let's go with, I think it's above, fucking hell. Fucking hell, lads. I don't know, because I, I like I like this level personally, but I feel like I, I can't really rank it much higher here than good like in good faith. So many C tier levels. Yeah, um it's because we're like in the we're in the, the first era, the first wave, right? This is like okay, uh, if you were there for the gauntlet stream, you'll remember that pretty much everything, like most of the starting levels there were C tier too, right? It's because we just haven't gotten to the good stuff yet. We haven't gotten to a drift, we haven't gotten to retray, we haven't gotten to the crazy good stuff yet. So from what I'm seeing, this is very clean block design so far. It might be the best looking level so far in the pack. I don't know who this was made by. Let me see. Uh, ha 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 normal map. So yeah, this is made by a real ha ha ha, right? So ha 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 might be the go. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yo, this is click sync. This is actually crazy. Da, 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 da. Who was click syncing back in the day? Who was fucking click syncing back in the day? No, that goes hard. Boom. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yo, this level has the best thing so far. So yeah, this level is a, probably a B tier. It, um, assuming that desi the design doesn't fuck up. Yeah, there's like a slight, the slightest fuck up like in the design there at the top, as you can see, like the structures there, but this is pretty tolerable so far. Yeah, what can I say? This is just a pretty damn good level. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, the gameplay is not bad. That was probably my fault. Dude, the orb spam is so satisfying, dude. That's crazy. Bye, GW. Ha, ha, ha. You gotta love the GW represent right there. Well, fun fact, uh, Jax, if you're an old player, you'll remember that Jax used to be named GW Jax. And at first, I had no idea what that meant when I was, like, a nine-year-old playing this game, right? But now... What the fuck is this ending, dude? Okay, no, this dude is a troll. This dude is a fucking troll. No fucking way, dude. What? Yo, what the fuck? This dude just adds a pseudo. Well, no fucking way. Yo, this dude is such a troll. This dude is such a fucking troll, dude. Oh my god. Dude, this guy is such a fucking troll. Oh my god. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Am I about. Oh my god, wait. None of them. None of them. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm actually so dumb. I'm actually so dumb. No, okay, okay, no, I have to put this up on B tier. That was my fault. That was so, that was entirely my fault. Yo, I thought bros just added a 98% choke point to troll, dude. What the fuck? All right, ha, 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 normal map. That's a damn good map. I'm not going to fucking lie, okay? Uh, B tier for this one. Question is how high B tier? Uh, click sync, click sync, click sync. I like the gameplay way more than Clash. Utopia Dash is very well made. Mmm. I'm gonna keep this below Utopia Dash because it has some like very slight design fuck ups. Very slight design fuck ups, but like it's very good. It's the third best level we played so far. So overall, the Turbo Pack 2 is pretty damn strong. And now is the Chaos Pack. Chaos, Chaos. Boo da 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 da
cool Vlad was right. We got Venza levels. Okay, so this dude botched Theory of Relativity, which we play next way more than he botched this level. Because, don't get me wrong, this level has pretty a pretty bad 2.0 update. But it's not quite on the level of sin as Theory of Relativity. Like, what the fuck is this? It's just, you gotta love it, bro. You gotta love such a blatantly 1.5 level just randomly packing like a fucking 2.1 jump orb. Like, what is this, bro? Yeah, Venza is funny as fuck, bro. I mean, what does Venza even do now? To, look, look, fake, fake orange jump orb, okay? Like, like, what is this? What is this doing in the packs, bro? Like, this is cool, but like, why, bro? Like, you, like, who let him cook? Who let this man cook, okay? Uh, no, you don't gotta donate, Ender. I've been recording for two hours and I've made $2.50. Trust me when I say you don't have to donate for me to keep streaming. But like, that, I'm so surprised that Robtop reverted Battletown, which in comparison was a far less egregious change because newer Battletown is arguably better than old Battletown. I have a slight preference for old Battletown, but yeah. So Robtop Tongi, like reverted Tongi's level, but he kept this? He kept such a blatant, like, this just blatantly is so different from... Oh, wait. Oh, now I know why Robtop kept it. I know why Robtop kept it now, bro. He low-key copied this dude's entire flow. Okay, I don't know. Dash has a lot of explaining to do. I think Venza did the, the po potion portals first. I don't know, man. Robtop, I think that's why Robtop doesn't revert these levels. It's because he, he stole Venza's unique level design, okay? If you put fake indicators, you can end it all true, true, true. Anyways, yeah. Um, well, you guys know what's funny is... um. You guys remember, um, well, some of you that played the 2.2 GDPS might remember in the lab, right? Where you have to go through this machine and it like zaps you to another time, right? But I think Robtop pretty much, uh, like, I'm not going to say he stole that design aspect from in, in, the, in, the, in the lab, but I think he was heavily inspired for it in the Secret Hollow, which is pretty cool to see like later era Robtop levels being influenced by like actual like creator stuff. Cause I don't know, I mean, Robtop got the Potion Portal thing from somewhere. Maybe it was from this shit level, maybe it was from some other level. Cause Potion Portals is definitely not an uncommon thing. Anyways, this level was updated to be ass, so I mean, what can I say? It's D, probably. Um, but I actually do like a lot of- Holy shit, five euros! Bro, yo bro, <laughs> bro is using my ed my editing money to pay him, pay me back. <laughs> w Ender, W Riz Ender, W Riz, okay. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Yo, W donation. I think that might be my biggest donation like ever straight up. I don't think I've ever gotten a five euro donation before. All right. Needless to say. Um, okay, so I actually like some aspects of it. Like when he uh, highlighted all the 1.3 blocks and made them 0.5 scale, that was actually pretty sick, right? Yeah, Polar Guy Stage D. Let's try to find Polar Guy Stage D. Son of a bitch. This shit hard as hell to find. Am I bugging? Okay, Polar Guy Stage D by Venza. Venza is an infamous gamer who is not fine with just having map pack levels. He must update them with his modern um, design quirks. Okay, so like I said, I like some aspects like this whole scaled down thing. I actually think that's pretty creative for a map pack, but I feel like I feel like he just kind of botches it. I can't really put this above. I'll put it above Clutterfunk. The thing is, I like some of this level's ideas more. You know what? This might be controversial, but Venza. Yeah, you don't get ads because I, I I think I put a low ad count for this stream because I know this shit was gonna get uh, copyrighted by Polar Guy or by, by like all the music artists anyways. So yeah, I didn't I didn't really care about monetizing this stream. Help a brother out and click this link. <laughs> Math genius, you're a mod. That shit is shameless <laughs> shamelessness. I hope Robtop adds a freaky gauntlet. Well, too bad because uh, we we already know what all the gauntlets are gonna be, at least what they look like. We don't know the levels that are gonna be in them. So the thing is, I like some aspects of Polar Geist HD, but I think it does, like, kind of bastardize itself. So, I mean... Uh, I mean, it's probably, I guess, below high. I really don't like the fact that I have to place it this high, but it's, lo like, low-key gas. That's the thing. Like, Venza low-key cooked with this. All right. Theory of Relativity, though. Venza did not cook for this, okay? I can certify to you that Venza did not cook one bit for this fucking level. <laughs> this... This is not a 1.6 level. I don't know about this. Does this look like 1.6 to you? Holy shit. This is the definition of early 2.0 hell. Okay. And the fact that this was not reverted when maybe Robtop just didn't know how to do reversions back then. I have no idea why this was never reverted. But the fact that this is in the fucking modern map packs is such a troll to like level design like worldwide, dude. Like it is like 
So on one hand, this is extremely original. The thing with Venza, like, he just, theory of relativity, E equals MC squared two. Bro, you're so goddamn smart, bro. Okay, this is in map hacks. Yes, this is in map hacks, but keep in mind, uh, old theory of relativity was entirely different from this. Uh, the level that Robtop put in the map hacks was not this. So here's the thing with Venza, right? I actually like a lot of his original ideas and concepts, but, but it, the execution is really mixed, especially considering the fact that this is not really meant to be in the map hacks. This is just Venza being a funny man, okay? So, like, what the fuck is this shit, right? Like, like end of line had early 2.0, like, update quirk syndrome, but at least that was only for a coin route, and it actually looked kind of novel and cool. Um, I, I know that later on, is like, I know that later on this gets hellish. Like, like, oh my god, find Tor 2. This part is infamously shit, dude. Like, what is this garbage, bro? Like, what do you, what do I even do here? Oh my god, yeah. Find Tor 2, bro. It's like, okay, bro, you're smart. We get it. He's like, bro, is that a math reference? Okay, wait, I, oh wait, I think I know what happens here. Yeah, that's stupid. That is literally the dumbest thing ever. And the thing is, Venza is original and cool because look at that. That's some solidly cool ship design and background. Like the background here kind of eats for early 2.0. But what the fuck is this doing in a pound? You guys get what I mean, right? Like this is just an entirely different level from theory of relativity. And I do like the fact that this has three routes, even though most people who are sane would probably just use the middle one because the middle one's probably the easiest route. But yeah, like, like this is conceptually cool. It's just like, obviously this shouldn't be in the packs. I don't know what you guys think. Like, on one hand, I thought I was going to rate this level F tier, but I feel like the Venza levels have been surprisingly redeemable with how they, like, execute ideas. Oh my fucking god, stop auto checkpoint. So I don't know, man. I have really mixed opinions on this level. But I know the gameplay is, like, infamously shit, so I guess that would be my excuse to why this should be a C tier or whatever. Like, I know this part played like shit. Like, yeah, this part plays terribly. Yeah, this part plays terribly. And it's funny because like like this part for example is definitely like probably almost entirely made in 1.5 aside from the moving stuff But Benson just couldn't help himself and then you just he changed the hell out of this part And yeah, I mean, I guess it's just funny. It's a it's a funny case of a real gamer <laughs> I, I keep seeing comments or I've signed I've seen comments before like this is the only good part of theory of relativity Which is like it's kind of valid. I'm not gonna lie. This is peak 2.0 actually Peak early 2.0 gameplay. So now that we've played Theory of Relativity, let's just compare it to old Theory of Relativity. Because if I had to guess, old Theory of Relativity is probably a lot less inventive. Wait, what? No. I'm trying to find the old Theory of Relativity. PR Proj? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you can trust PR Proj with the shit. Okay, so yeah. This, this is what Theory of Relativity used to look like. So on, on one hand, it's like, it's... You're gonna notice that it's gonna be far less inventive, but it's probably gonna be a whole lot cleaner to play, right? Like, like this is cool. This is cool 3D for the time. I, I do think Theory of Relativity, the, the new update is better and worse at the same time. I don't, know, I don't know what to say about the new update, man. It's like, okay, so if you buffer those orbs, I'm not even like fucking up right now. If you buffer those orbs, you just get like owned by the, okay, never mind. This level is far worse. Actually, no, Theory of Relativity needed the update because this looks fucking, that played like trash. All right, swear count 25. <laughs> the swear jar. You see, when I'm demonetized, I don't have to care about swearing. So I do it all the time. All right. Let's see here. Fury of Gamers. Damn, where is this level at? Damn, you live like this? Okay. So, yeah, okay. Theory of Relativity. Honestly, I like how inventive it is, but the gameplay obviously plays like trash. Um... Okay, above high hill, below partition madness. I, I kind of want to put it higher. Yo, the, the level is oddly good, right? Is it just me or is theory of relativity, like theory of relativity cooks an odd amount, like well, like has far higher highs, but far lower lows, if that makes sense. I thought I'd be placing this in D or F tier, but I honestly actually kind of like this level for what it like tries. I'll put it below Partition Madness, though, because Partition Madness is easily the more consistent level. Bro, I used to read the heck out of Diary of One Kid back in the day, bro. That shit was peak. Shit was peak! All right. Chaos, chaos. All right, final step. I mean, this is a Darnock level, so it's probably going to be pretty damn good. Let's be real here. 
Darnock levels are always pretty damn good. All right, this, this looks like an earlier Darnock level, though. If I had to pinpoint it at 1.4 or something. Actually, no, this is probably 1.5. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, this looks like a pretty solid level. I don't have a whole lot of complaints. That's the thing with Darnock levels. Like, if I rate them low, it's probably because of gameplay, because the, the decoration tends to be pretty strong for the time. Like, Darnock is, is one of the, like, structurally best, like, creators. He's like a, a, a like, a primordial Zentic, except he, he makes better gameplay. Yeah, the fact that Darnock, if, 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 one, if Robtop kept adding, like, 1.9 map packs, Darnock would probably have, like, 20 or 22 map pack levels. It's kind of sad how obvious the neglect is from 1.9 forward because, I mean, for example, Neptune, all of his V2s are in the gauntlets except Blast Processing V2 and, and Toe V2. It's as if the second... Oh, that portal in block design shit looks really cool. It's as if the second that Robtop, like, pulled map pack support from the game, like, Neptune just left. He was like, I've already achieved all that I can in this game of map packs. I've already conquered every world. And... And now, now it is time for me to go. Do you guys know that the top two creators in terms of downloads are Zentic Alpha at first and Neptune at like barely second place? That's crazy to me. Like, that's how that's how influential map packs are. Because you know those guys are not like the second, like two biggest like known creator. Like you'd think it'd be someone like Viperin, right? But no, it's Zentic and uh, Neptune. So that's pretty sick. Especially Neptune, since Neptune only has like 20 total levels. Um, yeah, this level is a banger. Um, there was, there wasn't like any real like gameplay fuck ups. This level just does a lot right and doesn't do a whole lot wrong. So it's definitely one of the better levels you played so far. Da -da -dum. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -da -dum, boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -da -dum. <laughs> 90% of the stream is just me trying to like find the, the levels in the shitty tier list. Uh, okay. Uh, it's not, it's not the tier list fault. It's just, I'm doing this in chronological order. If I was doing this in difficulty order, it'd be so much easier. But I'm doing this in chronological order, so I like understand the levels in context. If that makes sense. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba -dum. I like ha 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 normal map more, but this is better than Clash because it has better gameplay. But yeah, ha ha ha, no ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha. The better peak gameplay or something. I mean, what can I say, man? That da 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 da, -da click sync. Yo, what the fuck? I sound like a TikTok NPC right now, did I? I'm just like. <laughs> Yo, you guys know that boom. Ba -da 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 -da. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, remix pack four. Um sick. I mean X-Step B2. I think this is one of like the, the top like ten easy demons. It's definitely one of the top ten easy demons. It's probably one of the top five easy demons. It's one of the top five easiest demons, like period. In terms of downloads and easiness. So yeah. I mean it's part of my hardcore route. So needless to say that this level is quite easy. Um yeah, X-Step B2. I mean it's another strong Neptune level. And yeah, um, if I had to guess, this is one of the better ones, but it's probably not as good as base after base V2, but I'd have to see if Neptune messes up the decoration because for some of the earlier ones, there is like parts where Neptune like inexplicably messes up with the decoration, which I don't like. That was a pretty sick transition. I'm not sure if X-Step had a transition that cool. Like with the whole like dark to dark to light thing. That was pretty sick. This might've been updated because it has like pulsers and stuff like that. See, like, what is this? Like, why does he just, like, randomly mess up and just not fix his, his craft, you know? Ooh, Matthew AR. Welcome to Matt member. Thank you. So that makes Matthew AR the third ever person to be a Matt member in Matt Mart channel history. Thanks. Thanks for the thanks for the membership. Uh, my first member is Frosted, and the second is uh, this dude from Turkey. I think his name is, like, GD Gaming or something. What's funny is, um... Not to sound like unappreciative or anything, but I think it's kind of funny that people allow like YouTube to buy like an $100 membership, but like since he bought it in Turkey, it's, it like translates to 12 bucks. <laughs> it's like, it's it's kind of trolling, dude. Like, I don't know. Wait, hold up. What tier is is this dude? Does welcome to map member mean that like you're, you're like, I think that's like a $5 one. Anyways, that's sick, man. Thank you for the, thanks for the bits. <laughs> uh, okay, XW2 has, uh, I mean, I guess the line art for that one was pretty bad, but like, otherwise it's pretty damn good. I mean, it's not the best, but like, it's not the best V2, but it's definitely pretty solid. Uh, let's see, x V2, V2, V2. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm excited for Y-Step, Y-Step is a banger. Uh, to my knowledge, the first nine demon packs are actually pretty strong in terms of, the thing is most creators, most creators try their hardest on demons. Let's just say that. So the average quality of the demon pack is probably going to be better than the average quality of a map pack level. 
I think X Step V2 is good enough to earn itself a spot above like all the other V2s that Neptune's made so far. And maybe above like I mean it's clean, it works. I'll put it above. Mm. Yeah, because it has some obvious mess ups, right? I'll put it above Aerofunk below five. That feels like a really bad placement though. I don't even know if I agree with that placement. Yo, what happened to Creator Review? Uh, creator Review has been modernized, okay? Creator Review now exists in the form of what is the worst Geometry Dash level and what is the best Geometry Dash level, because otherwise I get no views. Uh, if you guys want to know some fun history about Creator Review though, I actually have two pretty much complete but unused scripts. Um, so the next creators that were meant to be the subject of Creator Review were gonna be, um, how do I say this? It was, it was meant to be a Jonathan GD and Xylanox, right? So I think those would have been interesting creators to review at the time. But to, but to give you an idea of why we never got another like full creator review after Carmel and Robtop, I guess you can count that. Um, it's just because instead of finishing the Xylanox creator review, I decided to make Geometry Dash Hardcore Challenge Dash GD 2.11. And let's just say I like the fact that I made that decision because if I didn't, I probably I probably would have quit YouTube by now. Right, hardcore success was so big for me and the, and the rest of the channel. Like, to give you perspective, Hardcore right now has more views than every other channel, than every other video I've uploaded in 2020 and 2021 combined. And you can add 800,000 views on top of that and Hardcore will still have slightly more. That's how big Hardcore was for my channel, right? So that's why Creator Review stopped. It's because, I mean, I chose Hardcore Review over finishing the Xylanox and Jonathan GD Creator Review. And well, I'd like to think I made the right decision. But like, you still see creator reviews in several cases in modern formats. Like, if I make a map hack uh, video, it'll pretty much be a, a glorified creator review. That's the thing, I like doing glorified creator reviews nowadays. Like, what is the best, what is the worst GD level? Those are both very review intensive. And my Robtop video, which was quote unquote controversial as of recent, probably because I didn't glaze Robtop like everyone else. I just said what I actually thought. But like, the thing is, I actually rated the Robtop levels pretty positively if you look at it. Like, it's the equivalent of an eight to nine out of 10. Matt, you say that uh, free GD might take it over. I don't know about that. Like maybe, but it's still 1 million away. Like we got time. But yeah, uh, free GD taking over would be pretty cool because it obviously represents my modern channel more, but I actually kind of like hardcore. <laughs> it's kind of fun that it's all edited by me and whatever. But yeah, I mean, if it's taken over, I don't mind that because free GD is probably my funniest video like ever to this day. So yeah. Uh, I honestly, my, my mind kind of like blanked on Clutterfunk V2, but it was, it was probably pretty all right. I'll put it above X-Step V2, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's pretty forgettable. Um, I'll put it, there you go. Uh, yeah, I'll put it, I'll put it there. Stere, above, below Stereo Man SX. Only 800k is doable. Yeah. It's sad because I would have loved the Zender game review. The thing is, that's the thing, right? Most creators nowadays, unless unless I did like a fucking Voxy cat review or something, or like a creator that's like extremely relevant in terms of YouTube, like it just wouldn't get views straight up. Cause like for people to like click on a video, they have to be interested in a specific creator. That's why like, let's say like with my Cody video, right? I can't call it like, a, 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 like imagine like a boring title, like uh, history of Cody geometry dash documentary, right? No, I have to call it like who was the king of geometry dash because that's what gets like the average like normie to click Same with like the Zobros Carmel documentary I, I was at first gonna call it like there will never ever be uh, another player like Zobros or Carmel as a tribute to Emblemon, right? But No, that's just too long of a title a lot of people aren't gonna know who Zobros and Carmel are or if they do They're not gonna be like in instantly interested by the title So I have to call it the history of geometry dash's strangest players to appeal to a broad common denominator if you're a YouTuber, you might want to start taking notes, buddy. Yeah, the thumbnails. Yeah, Matt, if I think a video still has potential, like the what is the worst Geometry Dash level, I will like retroactively change the thumbnail, which actually works because like what is the worst Geometry Dash level had like 980k views before the thumbnail change. And now I think it's well over 1 million. And it, it like, it's already like the amount of extra views that the what is the worst GD level gotten has already paid me back in terms of how much I paid for the thumbnail. So I might like institute that same thing for what is the best Geometry Dash level in uh, Geometry Dash Civilization. And views like that, which I think still have potential, right? Uh, this is another level that I kind of like forgot that I like, it was clean though. Like I didn't die. So I mean, it's probably clean. Um, I'll put it above the other one because I like the, the theory of every aesthetic quite a bit. Uh, let me see here. Da, da, da. Um, I'll put it above... Um... I don't know, like it's clean, it works, it's a V2, you know. 
Doesn't do much inventive. Doesn't do much new. Doesn't do much wrong. That's the thing. It's less inventive than these levels, which is why I don't have these. Yo, Poggers. Oh, yeah, guy. Welcome to Matmar member. Yo, we get it. We getting bread, baby. <laughs> I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich. All right, members. Uh, I think I think your perks is that you guys appear in like a, a slide, right? So I'll try to make sure to include uh, all the people who membered me so far in uh, my big documentary that's coming soon. Yeah, that's right. If you if you become a member right now, whatever the membership perk says, I think your name gets included in white text in the documentary. So yeah, um, that's a that's a thing that exists that I'll make sure to institute. That I'll make sure to implement. Where the fuck did I put? Okay, X W two da 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 theory of V two theory da 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 theory of V two. Where where did I put? Where did I put it? Oh my god, I lost it. I lost the level. Okay. That's the thing. It does less wrong than these levels, but it doesn't do as much right. Dude, the core thumbnail hits hard. Exactly, right? The whole like puppet fire thing is so much better than the old thumbnail. Cause while I loved like Clox's 3D model, I wasn't able to complement that well with the rest of the thumbnail. Uh, I actually made the, the memberships been a thing on my channel for like over a year now, but I've only ever gotten four members like period, like across several different eras of time. So, oh yeah, guys, only the fourth ever person to be a, a map member. Anyways, uh, yeah. So like I said, Theory of V2 does less wrong, but it does less right. So I I'll put it above Stereo Manus X, I guess. I, um, In the same day too. Yeah, that's insane, bro. That's an insanely poggers, guys. So next we're moving on to the Demon Packs. Uh, the Demon Packs have higher average quality. I'm happy that Rob put Demon Pack or, or Demon Park in the first Demon Pack just to like show, you know, yeah, this is the first ever Demon, you know, so I'll just put it in the Demon Pack one. Because I mean, Demon Park deserves it. I see people nowadays being like, oh, Demon Park is such weak block design. It's like, like I get what you're saying, bro, but maybe cook in another kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, Y Step is pretty clean um, decoration. There's a reason that this is, uh, I think, the most popular Darnock level aside from Wave Challenge and Flappy Bird, which are just like the success of those levels. Like, I get why they're successful, but it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> What's my favorite YouTube thumbnail of all time? Well, for years, I think, uh, for nearly two years now, the day Geometry Dash almost died is probably my favorite thumbnail, made by Axe Five Five Sixty, because I've had it as my um, my my desktop, my outright like desktop like background. I always have it as that because that thumbnail was made with very specific like thematic intention in my mind, right? Just to like nerd out about the thumbnail while I play this uh, gas level, um, pretty much. The day Geometry Dash almost died was of course a story about like Manix and Novel Boy, right? But you'll notice that they don't really appear in the thumbnail. And the reason for that is because the day Geometry Dash almost died is themed around like the day 2B2T almost died. The amazing video by FitMC, which is probably my favorite thing that he's still made to this day, right? I feel like FitMC is still one of my top three YouTubers despite the, the fact that he's pretty much quit YouTube for, for Quackity's server a very long time ago, right? But anyways, so the main the, the main narrative behind the day Geometry Dash almost died was like valuing the, the community, the old community, the people that built everything. So all the people in the thumbnail have their levels appear in the game. Like Darnock's an example of one of the people who are like fundamental to the community. He appears in the thumbnail despite being like barely a part of the story, right? Um. So yeah, the, the reason for all that was, you know, to just like, you know, honor the old community members and really put like an, a narrative threat in the documentary, right? The whole threat was the fact that, you know, once 2.0 came out, all these creators like really didn't know what to do with the modern update, right? Yeah, these creators had no idea what, what like, I don't know, they, they like had no idea what they would do with the modern update. And pretty much what that means is, is like, you know, he had a ton of people like Darnock just pretty much quit upon 2.0, right? So you need Novel Boy as the hero to like save this, uh, save the levels. And I know I'm saying this in a very like, how do I say this? <laughs> I know I'm saying this in a very like ADHD way because I really I have a hard time conveying my thoughts sometimes when it's complex stuff like this. But this is all to say, right? Oh, by the way, notice with Demon Park, the half spikes point to where you have to go. Isn't that crazy? So M2 Cole geniusly added a level of site readability um, to this level that normally isn't really that site readable, right? I'll take the psychopath route on stream for fun because I think it's pretty funny, right? Uh, anyways, this is all to say, right? The whole thing with the day Geometry Dash almost died was that Novel Boy and Manix were meant to like pretty much like be the saviors of the community. Because as someone in, in March of 2018 or February of 2018, it really was a true threat that the GD community was uh, gonna die. People thought that 2.2 was gonna come out. And that's the thing, a lot of, I, I know it's mainly, mainly new gen saying this, is people thought I was like overstating the threat of Geometry Dash dying as a game. But if you were there during like 2018 and, and 2019 pre-COVID and pre-peaceful and pre- um, Mainly pre-peaceful and the uh, fucking, yeah. 
Peaceful is like the big level that brought Geometry Dash back into the mind life. But yeah. If you were there, you'd realize that thing was kind of dead. It, the, G, the GD community was in the worst state it, it, it had been since before 1.9 in my opinion. And yeah, I made a whole uh, video on an imposter. I actually like that video quite a bit. It's, it's, it's probably one of my more favorite like level reviews. Uh, level reviews will probably never come back in any real form unless like Grobtop de releases a level. Because aside from like I Spy or whatever, I can't really think of a whole lot of level. And obviously Explorers when I when I review it, and people are like, "Oh my god, you didn't give this a 10 out of 10, bro! I'm gonna actually dislike this video." Right? Uh, anyways, this is all to say, the day Geometry Dash almost died is to this day my desktop, and yeah, uh, it's amazing. I love it. And you know, you have all the Geometry Dash creators like looking at it like a community, um, onto the the cracked Rob Top icon. It just the the, the, the the thumbnail really sets the tone for the rest of the video and that's why i love it um I, I wish i could have conveyed my thoughts in a cleaner way but i hope um i hope what i said has made sense so far and why that is my favorite thumbnail but obviously the the free to play one is a pretty close second because i mean what can i say it's netted me quite a bit of results and it's also from the goat axe 560 so yeah i definitely got to get axe for another thumbnail because every time axe makes thumbnails he cooks um how do i say this um he made his like commissions free like randomly like a year ago, so because of that he just has a ton of like like furries. At, I don't know. It's hard. It's a long story. It's a long fucking story. But he just <laughs> he just finds himself in a position where he has to regrettably make like a ton of free furry art, and it's like, I mean, <laughs> oh man, pick a struggle. Of course Matt would know. Hey, no, no, it's cause when I asked him for a thumbnail, he was like, "Sorry, bro, I'm making this free furry art," and I'm like. Do you like doing this? I mean, they're not paying you. I pay you. <laughs> but, you know, acts as honor as an artist or whatever. Whatever that means. Okay, so Demon Park. Look, this level has a lot of good ideas, like the half spikes within block structures. And while a lot of aspects of it are pretty weak block design-wise, for a 1.1, well, pretty much the earliest 1.2 level possible, I think this is pretty much released on the first day of 1.2. Demon Park has a lot of good ideas. And the fact that it's invented, like, the demon difficulty... This is almost like a B tier, bro. Right? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about sofas. I want to watch Matt Mart put forgettable levels people don't care about on a tier list. Unfathomably based. I want to put Demon Park high, but I feel like like it obviously has very like rudimentary design. Hmm. I think above one. I'm gonna put it right below Made in Vusari just for its sheer influence. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, it, it made the demon difficulty. You have to realize that without... Okay, did you guys notice uh, a naming scheme that I noticed, right? This is probably what would have happened. Did you guys notice that a lot of the map packs were called, like, Beginner Pack, Normal Pack, then Hard Pack, and then Expert Pack, right? My theory is that um, if the demon difficulty had never been implemented, you'd, you'd probably see the 10 stars be called something like Extreme or Expert levels, right? And I just think Demon is so much better. Like, everyone already knows that this, it, like, sets the theming for the game, right? Like, so much better, right? So, yeah. The Demon difficulty being a thing is just amazing for the game. Probably, like, single-handedly, like, helped, like, revolutionize club step monsters. And in general, the Demon difficulty just gives Geometry Dash, like, an air of iconicness. Like, the Demon difficulty is just so much cooler than Expert or Extreme would have been. So, yeah, that's why I have to give respect to the GOAT of M2 Cool. Thank you for being a Korean and, and just happening to choose the correct English word to make a truly banger difficulty. <laughs> Demon Park. Like, what a hard name for such a level that could have been fucking called, like, Hard Machine or something. And I'm not, I'm not saying that to, like, reference the level. I'm saying that it's a hard level that uses the song Time Machine. If it was named, like, any of these other map pack levels, he might have called it, like, I don't know, like, Time Machine V3 or some stupid shit like that, right? So I'm glad that M2 Cole chose Demon Park as the name. Anyways, from what I've, I've been playing here, I think this is a Rabidical or Darnock 2. I think it's Extreme Fantasy, so I mean, this is a pretty damn good level. It doesn't really mess up. Um, it's good gameplay-wise. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. Doesn't do a whole lot wrong, doesn't do a whole lot right, as usual. Man, bro, the C tier is full, bro. Luckily, when we get to later packs, it's going to be, like, better. But, like, I know, I know now that the, it looks like complete aids to, to rank. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, extreme fantasy i mean it's pretty good uh it mess it, eh, it's okay uh it probably goes in like high high c low a i'll put it i'll put it highest of c because it really did right below electric freeze i like that placement c tier is filled with 
You like that? SpongeBob Foghorn, baby. All right, Super Cycles. Super Cycles by Jax. I mean, this is a memory level. Like, okay, so this is one of those map packs. I mean, I would say that this level is infamous, but like, it, it is basically the definition of a memory level. Like, you know what you're getting into when you play this. Okay, like, that's all I'm saying. Uh, the level is pretty good design, I guess. Um, I think it has multiple routes. Or, or I, I think actually maybe maybe all those other quote-unquote routes are, are kill routes. Have I received my silver play button? Yeah, I have received my silver play button. You didn't see it when I when I tweeted my silver play button with like an anime girl on. <laughs> that shit was gas, bro. Still the best 100k tweet. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Uh, I'm sure you'd be disappointed in that tweet though, Azure Turk. Azure Turk's one of the goats, guys. Thank Azure Turk for one of the reasons why the why the free to play video is so uh, successful and good. Uh, he edited like a solid third of that. So yeah. Shout out to Azure Turk. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways, yeah, this level is a memory level. I mean, you know what you're getting into. Um, I guess if I was to criticize it, um, I guess the block design is kind of bad here. I don't know. Like, the block design doesn't do a whole lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pretty much forced Ender to retweet the 100k subs thing. <laughs> I was like, yo, if you're a true homie, yo, retweet this. <laughs> okay, I was like gaslighting Ender into <laughs> retweeting something with like a fucking anime girl on it. I don't know if he, maybe he lost followers from it, bro. That's funny as fuck, though. Sorry, Ender. Sorry. So sorry. All right. Um, super cycles. I mean, if I was to criticize this level, it would be from the angle of block design, which is not that good. Uh, so, yeah. Man, we're really going to have to start ranking like iconic stuff like the Nightmare soon. I'd hate to say it, guys, but I think Super Cycles might be another C tier. Uh, it's another C tier, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll put it below easy above 5. Actually, I'll put it above XV2 below 5. Yeah, I like that placement. People scrolling down my profile and seeing that. To be fair, if they're scrolling down your profile, they probably had nothing better to do. <laughs> Today on Twitter, I'm gonna be chronically online and scroll down some random online person's profile like a bot. Okay, so Starquake is one of the funny update levels, and um, like I said before earlier on, I'm not sure how much you guys were in that stream. What would you say is the most C tier, C tier map pack level? Probably the one that's in the middle of the C tier, which would be something like XTEP V2, because like all the all the Neptune levels, most of the V2s are like unfathomably mid, because like I said, Neptune doesn't really try anything new. He just like add spikes and mostly calls it a day aside from base after base v2 which randomly has some of the like better block designs but like other, other than that like somewhat of a banger neptune just mainly mainly posts mid pack so yeah i had a, i had an entire like debate about starquake with this person on twitter or something and they were like um saying that it should be reverted now i'm, I'm against levels being reverted mainly due to like history but in starquake's case the only reason why i defend that is because the level says the the, the shit word at the ending. It says the shit word, guys. It, guys, oh my god, no. Think of the kids. Think of the children. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the only other map pack level to have curse words was already reverted, which is System Out, which had Fuck Mika at the beginning. Which is like, look, out of all YouTubers that they could have hated on, Mika's definitely the first one, right? <laughs> like, Mika's definitely the first one that comes to mind. Mika's a, a chronic menace, okay? But, yeah. Can't say the F word. Anyways. Uh, this level is okay. I actually like the gameplay. I actually think it's quite mesmerizing. I think Mask's gameplay style in general is quite like mesmerizing and dynamic, and I quite like it. Thank you for playing this shit. It's so funny that this isn't a map pack level, bro. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, okay. So the best way to describe Mask is like a lot of Mask's levels plays like play like autos, but you're like actively in the auto. So you guys know how like autos like have you go up and down and it's like very dynamic like the, the true automatics like the old the old automatics right so the best way to describe ma ma mask levels is that they actually play in a very like mesmerizing way that i quite like so for that i'm actually going to give starquake a pretty high ranking i know it was updated to be harder i know it says the s word i don't care bottom of above extreme fantasy b tier Will I ever continue the GD documentary series? So this is a question I've gotten many times and I've answered it many times, but just to answer it, it, it again. The Geometry Dash documentary was flawed conceptually. What that means is that like, it focused on like eight different narratives at the same time. In my opinion, I've evolved my storytelling in a way that like, let's let's go with like the story of Geometry Dash's strangest players, right? 
That follows a clear narrative through line of Zobros and Carmel, both being very unique creators, but it follows through one of them at a time. The way that Geom so the way that Geometry Dash documentary covers it is that it's a very flawed narrative, right? Because it was based off of the, the Super Smash Brothers documentary, which was made in 2013, right? So it was based around, it had actually one competitive, uh, one through line, which was that of competitive melee, right? So that documentary was actually able to follow a cohesive narrative. Unlike mines, which would be like, oh, well, Seri was number one on the leaderboards, but also Neptune hacked this level and da 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 da. It's like a million different narratives. So while I understand that you like like the Geometry Dash documentary, and it's cool, I, I'm, I'm proud of those videos. I'm proud that I was able to make that as some of my first content in 2020. I feel like nowadays I'm able to tell way cleaner narratives when it's like, okay, 2.0 came out and now we have to talk about these three manix levels you know fusion z blade of justice and and, and blood bloodlust and bloodlust or er, er, sets fusion z and blade of justice failed now we talk about bloodlust which needs to revive the game so that's the that's the best way to describe it right yeah yeah i'm giving a lesson on storytelling right now uh, yeah so i'm telling you the reason why the geometry Dash documentary won't ever come back is because it was just a bad way to tell the story now here's what i will tell you geometry Dash documentary episode four technically still exists to this day and it will come out but not in the way that you see it, right? Uh, the Geometry Dash documentary episode four would have mainly focused on the stories of Zobros and some other notable players of a thumbnail, right? High stack flow is pretty good to my knowledge. And I, and I really like that unique um, orb jump part. So this is definitely a B tier. Um, anyways. Oh, let me think here. Okay. So yeah, you have fucking... Uh, okay. Yeah. So this is all to say that storytelling wise, the, the documentaries are an intrinsically flawed concept that I made when I was like 15. So it makes sense, right? It makes sense that they're intrinsically flawed, but yeah. Anyways, um, da, 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 star quake, hex deck flow, hex deck flow, better than electric fees, better than this one, better than this one. Hmm. I like this placement. Actually, it's, it's more fun than clash. I put it there. Hex deck flow is pretty damn good. It's kind of sad that I left it on a really high note. Well, as you can tell, the high note I left it on, I mean, if you're, if, if you like been keeping up with the channel, it's pretty obvious who will be the next subject, right? But the um, Geometry Dash documentary episode four is partly going to cover the story of Zobras, which, which I already, in my opinion, well covered in um, whatever, right? It was also going to cover the story of Funny Game, but I think Sam Fine did a pretty good story, uh, did a pretty good way of covering like 1.9 Funny Game and like the majesticness of that, right? But it's also going to cover a third big player that you guys might know. In fact, I've shared the thumbnail for this like seven months ago because the video was meant to come out six months ago. But, you know, uh, brain issues and stuff like that. So it hasn't come out yet, right? But pretty much, um, the thumbnail has Riot in it. Riot was going to be the main focus of episode four, right? But now Riot gets his own narrative documentary to himself with an interview that I regrettably recorded over two years ago that still mostly hasn't seen the light of day aside from one sentence in the day Geometry Dash almost died. Pineapple, Pineapple asked, do people want cleaner narratives? I think according to the view counts, they probably do. Because <laughs> most of the Geometry Dash documentaries, they only have like 200k or 100k views retroactively, right? Uh, at the time that I released them, they'd go on for months and only have like 200 views. So the only reason that they got bigger is because I got bigger. So the actual documentaries are the reason, like, are pretty much like, why, whatever, right? The, the new documentaries with good narrative are the reasons that why I'm at. Oh my god, I'm, I'm Joe Bidening right now, guys. America is the best. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, Crescendo's good. Usual mask W. Um, yeah, Crescendo's not S, but it's pretty good. It's B. Damn, we really haven't gotten a single A tier map pack level. I feel like if I ranked levels entirely fair for the time, stuff like level easy probably would be A tier. Because, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, it's 1.1. There really wasn't much better levels than level easy back then, but I just can't really... Actually, no, Time Machine already existed. Time Machine would have been ranked S if it was on this list, like, in its normal form. So, never mind. Yeah. B is a pretty deserving placement for level easy. Anyways, Demon Pack 3 is funny, because I think Robtop knew that this would be, like, the easy, the easy pack, because he includes what most people consider to be, like, the three easiest demons. Crescendo is a bit hard, but most people consider the Nightmare and... and um, the uh, lightning road to be the easiest demon. So I bet Rob Top was just like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I'll just include these as an easy way to get the beginner's foot in the door for easy packs. Uh, I'll put it below Star Quick above Extreme Fantasy. All right. Anyways, yeah, that was a that was a huge rant on um, storytelling. So I mean, hey man, if you're a YouTuber, you can learn something from it. You can learn why Matt Mart quit the Geometry Dash documentary. 
But yeah, I, I think the, the video that I'm making that mainly features like Riot and his interview and all that, that's gonna be my best video of all time, likely. And I think it'll be a very good nominee for video of the year. So yeah, I'll be very hyped to uh, see that. Pineapple, I'm curious, what's your favorite map pack level if you're still in the chat? Pineapple's been here since the beginning, bro. This, Pineapple is a fucking OG, and he's just in the stream casually, bro. That's sick, bro. That's why I love being a YouTuber sometimes. It's because my most recent video on Swing Copters, uh, like, I made it on Sea and Neon, right? And Sea and Neon just commented on it within the first, like, day. And I'm like, what? How the fuck? Bro, you've been gone from the game for seven years. How did you, like, insta-comment on this video? Anyways, the Nightmare is, is pretty infamous for being updated. Like... What's funny is that the older version of the Nightmare actually used to be easier because it didn't have the... <laughs> Good thing I released a video on October 21st. Okay, Ender, you don't have to rub it in, okay? It's not like you're exactly the best with upload dates. Anyways, so yeah, uh, the Nightmare was updated in 1.7 to have all this like 1.7 like Riz. But because of that, it looks quite inconsistent. Because keep in mind, this level was meant to be 1.2, right? So I think in many ways, the Nightmare... The, the new version is better, but what's funny is that... What you're about to see is entirely new. The nightmare used to pretty much end like right here, but Jax added an extension for the final part, right? So yeah, the nightmare used to be even easier. Even now it's like the undisputed easiest demon, but yeah. So overall, there's a ton of aspects of, of, um, of the nightmare that's likable. Does it deserve to be like the third or fourth most downloaded level? Eh, I mean, I don't know. I like the fact that Jax updated it and actually made it good, unlike all these other, like, levels like Theory of Relativity that were updated to be, like, controversial somewhat. Actually, wait, no, this is gonna be a terrible take. Uh, this this is terrible take city, but this might fuck around and be worse than Theory of Relativity. Theory of Relativity is just so much more inventive, and the Nightmare's block design doesn't really, like, actually fit with the other one, as much as I love Jax. It, look, 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 Jax is such a goat that... <laughs> Oh man, this is embarrassing to pull up on stream, okay? This is unrequited friendship, okay? Hold up. Guys, I have so much fucking clout, guys. Look at this fucking list, guys. I'm so fucking cool. Uh, look at, oh my fucking god. Okay, all right, um, all right. This is embarrassing, guys. <laughs> Jax is one of the few people I've sent a friend request like years ago, and he just never accepted me, bro. It's so sad, so sad. I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry, Jax. Why didn't you accept me, Jax? Damn it all. Uh, these normies, they don't like me, you know, eh, whatever. Yeah, anyways. Optifine. Yeah, I think I just friended Optifine because I was like, yo, that dude has a cool name. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it. He deserves it. All right. Uh, anyways, I mean, the last time I sent a friend request to someone was like 2017 or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the nightmare, the nightmare is kind of inconsistently decorated. So I actually, I'm actually placing this lower than I thought, but it has some cool redeeming aspects that I'd say would still place it above high hill. But yeah, I didn't think I'd be... Oh my god, you have Jax's friend. That's how fucking cool Pineapple is, bro. I have a I have a I have a Jax friend in chat, bro. Yo, Pineapple, if you have Discord, bro, add Matt more, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to increase my old head my old head uh friendless roster. I got Riot, I got Anubis. Alright, I'm trying to get some some more some more gamers in this, okay? He also has Michigan, bro. This dude is an OG OG, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Shout out to Pineapple, man. I had to friend request you, Matt. Talk about unrequited. Well, I accepted, didn't I? That's, that's quite requited in my opinion. Anyways, the Lightning Road has very weak design. Obviously very weak design-wise, right? But this level does so much inventive shit with like the portals and it invented flashing. This dude has Taman! This dude has Funny Game. This dude has Sarpanj and Triaxis. Literally, that is clouded. That is the definition of clout. This dude was top 10. He caught friends like fucking Pokemon, bro. What the fuck? Triaxis quit the game like seven years ago, so that's pretty damn impressive. <laughs> Taman pretty much quit the game like seven years ago, and that's probably when he got the friend request. Obviously, Taman returned recently, but aside from the recent return, seven years ago, he quit. Serpange is just impressive in general, because, I mean, Serpange is like the GOAT. And um, fucking, I mean, funny game? Do I have to even fucking explain why having funny game is goaded as shit to have on your list? Funny game is like the GOAT. This dude has the two goats, Funny Game and Serpons on it. Pineapple's the goat, bro. Yo, Pineapple, if you add me on Geometry Dash, Mad Mart, hey man, you said you wanted to add everyone, right? <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you added me and I added you, 
I'd add someone who added Michigan, Triaxis, or Ponstein. That's all I'm saying, bro. It's a bit. It's a business venture, okay? It's a bit. Don't be like Jax Pineapple. Don't be like Jax. <laughs> Except my friend request. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyways, the Lightning Road invented flashing, which was a pretty unique effect for the time. If if I say something invented flashing out of context, that sounds really bad, right? But it's like the good kind of flashing, not the not the flashing that'll get you put on a list. Anyways. The Lightning Road has pretty bad block design, but with stuff like the portal design, it does a lot of shit, right? So, um, I like it. I mean, it plays well. There are 1.0 levels with BG pool. Shut up, you fucking nerd! You fucking nerd! Anyways. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna lie. It, even if you're lying about Jax, if you have Michigan, Serpange, Funny Game, Tracks, Tama... Uh, that's kind of cooler. I'm not gonna fucking like that's kind of cooler. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Those are just all like legendary like actual god tier creators. I forgot where I placed the lightning road. Um, anyways, yeah, only trying. I know what you're saying, but like the lightning road actually feels like lightning. Obviously, the other ones have BG pulses because that was like an actual in-game feature. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro's just math, math genius is just like guys. I joined this guy's talking stream and he's just talking, bro. He's just yapping right now. Um. I'll put it below Demon Park above High Price, mainly because it's influential, but not quite Demon Park influential. Anyways. Yeah, so the demons have been getting better. Oh, never mind. Uh, Demon Jumper's pretty ass, but um, Skyrim's, Skyrim's pretty gas, so yeah. Hey, that shit rhymed, though. All right, guys. Uh, no, I, God, should I say it? Should I say it? Should I say it? Oh my God, no. No, I can't say it. All right, guys, smash or pass the first club step monster. Matt, I added you as a friend. I don't know who you are, little bro. I only know pineapple, okay? Yo, clone, I'll add you on <laughs> geometry dash. If you become a member. <laughs> I'm evil. I'm evil gang, okay? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, anyways, this level looks like trash, but it actually plays pretty damn well. Oh my, never mind. It doesn't really play that well. You have to buffer like everything. Um, yeah, this level plays like trash, honestly. I don't even feel like playing the rest because, I mean, it's pretty much just like auto like 20 it just looks like bad for the time this might actually be d tier because like i like the gameplay but this level is just like badly made straight up like i don't like there's not a single aspect of this level that really looks appealing in any way the rest is just saws okay you're not really missing anything by, by me dropping out early uh this is definitely like d tier design wise I, i'm honestly putting this below square adventure i didn't think i'd be putting it that low because i actually like the level and I, I don't really have any real like negative preconception towards it but i just don't like it like Design wise, it just looks kind of bad. E even light out might just be better. Wow, bro, the money changed you. Maybe you should give it to me, and that wouldn't be a problem. Okay, man. Maybe maybe you should edit for me, Math Genius. Then I can transfer the wealth. <laughs> Anyways, Skyrim. I like Skyrim a whole lot. Uh, let me think. Is this the bugged level? Boom, boom, boom. No, okay. So pretty much the thing is that Demon Mix like remade that and made it so that you can't actually do the path the normal way. It's hard to describe. You'll see it when we get to Demon Mixed. But Skyrim is one of the levels that's in Demon Mixed and you just can't do it the normal way for some reason. For real? Because clearly I'm not putting my editing into use. He's right. He, you're right, Math. Join us and we can make another masterpiece like the Carmel Doc, which you edited like two, one or two minutes in. I love your subtitling, Math Genius. Your subtitles for my video, like, I use that as an example for, like, every editor to follow, like, in the future. Like, every time I think, like, oh, who, who really made, like, good subtitles for my videos? I'm like, yeah, that's Math. Math, you should edit for Matt Mart so I don't have to try to reach 100k first. So true. So true. Hmm, but who'd reach 100k in the bank account first? That's the question. <laughs> no cap. No cap. All right. Okay, so I like I like Skyrim, and I'm dying a lot here because I'm mainly like looking at chat, but Skyrim does play like... I was gonna say it does play well gameplay-wise. Stop! Stop 2.2 physics. 
Bum, 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 ba -da -da -da. Yeah, I mean, I like how this level plays, and I know there's some off-screen orbs, but, like, is it me or is that, like, kind of expected with, like, the rhythmic pattern? Like, of course this shit has off-screen shit. Like, I don't know. It's not the... It's probably, like, top of C, little bottom of B for me. Because this is definitely one of the weaker Darnock levels, but it's not bad. Yeah, this is the, probably the weakest Darnock level I've seen so far. This is Time Machine. This is the most badass song. I think Ultimate Destruction would have been the most badass song if that was added. Do you guys have, have any idea how much cooler map packs would be if, if, if you if you played uh, Ultimate Destruction? But, yeah. <laughs> Dude, if map packs added Ultimate Destruction, every level would feel like so climactic. Every demon would be using it, bro. But Time Machine is pretty much as sick as old... Shut the fuck. Oh my god, Math. Math, you triggering me. I know, I know, that, I know that was bait, bro, but Darnock only fell up after uh, Skyrim, okay? You kiss your mother with that mouth? Shut your mouth, okay? Um, okay. Skyrim looks pretty bad, uh, but plays pretty well. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I might actually place it below Lightning Road. I don't really like it that much. Yeah. Sorry, Darnock. All of Darnock's other levels are bangers, though. And if his 1.9 stuff was here, it'd be like A or S straight up, but... All right, so Beautiful Chaos. Here's the funny thing. Um, do you guys remember that earlier fact where I was like, oh, do you guys know that um, the only uh, Geometry Dash number one creator to not have a map pack is uh, 99 Geometry Dash? Because, of course, Yoon Hasu has a Dizzy World, right? Even though Yoon's, Yoon's known as a more like a new creator. Even though Yoon's a very old creator, right? Darnock 2, which was briefly number one, also has a map pack level. Which means even Darnock's alt <laughs> was better than 99 Geometry Dash, okay? That's what's funny. And Darnock has like three accounts. He has like Darnock Blue, Darnock 2, and then a, a separate like third Darnock account, which has pretty much only dropped stage mix. It's like a stage mix that was put in the map packs, which was also by Darnock. It's one of the like the stage mixes by Dash nowadays because that that was like hacked by Team Hacks or whatever. Oh, but before if you were 144 Hertz, that used to be impossible. Um, I used to have to do this as a gimmick route, uh, which is pretty fun. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a pretty fun gimmick route, but yeah, I, I used to have to do this to, to be able to beat the level for my Hardcore 2 uh, video, but yeah. Nowadays, it's fixed, so this level is less infamous, but yeah, this is another one of those levels that was given a bad reputation because of 144 Hertz players and Robtop designing bad physics. Holy shit, we're three hours in and I'm still not through the 1.6 map packs. That is absurd, dude. That is actually insane, in a bad way. My throat is already cooked. I don't know how much more I can handle this, okay, guys? I need money. <laughs> Yo, I swear this used to be this gameplay scheme used to be way worse. I think if you if you buffer this, you used to die. Like if you buffer this, you used to not be caught caught by the huge portal. I don't know. It was some weird 144 hertz stuff. This level in general is bugged as fuck due to 144. Anyways, this is not like the best Darnock level. As you can see, the block design isn't exactly his strong suit here. The gameplay doesn't play terribly though. It's probably top of C tier, like actual top of C tier this time. Think about the hold up. I gotta reach out real quick. Emojis, that crazy man 50 combo. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Think about the documentaries. This is for science. I don't know what you're talking about, pineapple. Pineapple, pineapple pen. Pen pineapple, apple pen. Hey, that's a that's an old reference. I'm sure some of you are so like fucking <laughs> some of you who have not been on the internet long enough if you don't know what PP Yay P, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fuck with that song? <laughs> guys, I'm so fucking hip and cool. Hashtag YouTube Rewind 2017, okay? Anyways, I mean, this level has pretty fun gameplay for what it is. Um, it's top of C tier, though, because I don't, I don't really like the design, design-wise. So, yeah. That was a very smart sentence. Ba, 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 ba. This is copyrighted by Water Flame! Okay, fuck that. Alright. 2016 is old? I mean, for some of these old... Like, for some of these people, bro, <laughs> they, <laughs> some of these people in chat were probably born in 2017. <laughs> I'm not even gonna fucking lie. Alright. Uh, let's see here. No, all my viewers are, of course, over 13 plus, as the YouTube age analytics say. Guys, guys, just look at the YouTube age at. Oh my fucking god, I just moved that Captain John around. That's gonna be so fucking annoying later. Okay, uh, Beautiful Chaos. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. I'll put it there because it's, it's pretty fun. I'm mean, Beautiful Chaos and Extreme Fan. I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty much like the same fucking level, dude. <laughs> That's the thing with map bags. Like, th those are pretty much the same, like, level. <laughs> Let's be real here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we saw it briefly. Look, Darnock 2. This this account was the first proven number one. 
I mean, they asked for age analytics because I guess it's better than nothing. And because they can, I guess, Endure. That's if I had to get... Oh, radioactive V-Man. I love this level. This level is clean, bro. This level is clean. It's Mr. Cheese Tiger. Average Mr. Cheese Tiger W. And this isn't even his best level that's in the packs. Um, Impulse is a great 1.5 level. As, as, oh my god, I was about to make like one of those, like, you know, you know, the Frosted Flakes Tiger that's like, because, right, because, you know, Mr. Cheese Tiger, you know, like Tiger, the Frosted Flakes guy, I don't know, that's a, that's a, that's a bad joke, guys, that's a bad joke. Anyways, this level, unlike most other levels of this era, actually plays really fucking well. And, um, yeah, I like the block design. Like, look at the, the, the club set monsters, they're kind of quirky with the sauce, you know? Yeah, I mean, what can I say, man? I mean, I think this is a pretty unique uh, club step monster design for the time, because most of the time it was just like orbs inside of whatever, but inside of like square things. But these club step monsters are slightly more like slant, slanty eyes, I guess. I don't know, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, anyways. Yeah, that goes hard. Look at these, these 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 are the the type of people to join drama club. You know what I'm saying? Those monsters look look dramatic. They're doing way too much. All right, all right. So the club set monsters almost look incomplete, but they look consistently incomplete. So I actually like this level. I have a pretty high opinion of it. Uh, this is B tier. Radioactive demon. Man, their C tier is full right now, dog. That's crazy. Uh, I'd say maybe above Cidic Flow. I, I kind of, I kind of like this placement. It's actually crazy how high placing level easy still is. It's just for the time, like Radioactive Demons was less impressive than level easy was. So I'll probably put it like there, right? But look, like, Radioactive Demon is pretty damn good. I mean, it's damn near early fun again. All right, Apocalypse Eve. Oh, this level has hella atmosphere. This level has an insane amount of atmosphere for a 1.5 level. Like, just look at the block design here, dude. Mask is actually a great creator, like an all-time great. And I don't even think this level plays that bad. Like, just look at the block design here. I think this might actually be the best level we played so far. I mean, obviously this part is a bit, look, like, okay, his his name being in the block structure, I know that wasn't really a unique thing even by this time, but that's pretty, that looks pretty damn cool and it fits pretty well in the rest of the level. Like, I don't know, all the block design here just looks really strong and this level actually plays, like, really fun. Like, I do like readable Mask gameplay because Mask Mask's gameplay has a level of dynamicness that most, even modern creators, don't really match, right? like yeah i don't know if you play a mask level you just go like up and down you always feel like you're doing something when you play mask levels which is an issue for levels like star quick 2 that are like totally like unsight readable and dog shit but like with this level it works because this level is pretty readable for the most part so this might actually be one of the highest placing levels because even though it gets weaker around the end here just the, the first part how the atmosphere kicks in i feel like that alone makes this map hack worthy and for what i know that was that was used to be a kind of buggy thing back in the day Oh, and I think this level kind of, like, shits the bed because it was, like, randomly updated in 2.0 with, like, a random, like, part. With Hellfire. Hellfire. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Look, look at that. <laughs> Just a random, like, 2.0 scale. You gotta love the 2.0 update, man. It got it got the creators to return with the fucking worst shit ever. Okay, never mind, man. Okay. Okay, Mask. I don't... Look, Mask, I like you, man. Why did you, why did you return to cook that? <laughs> you really shouldn't have. But, like, okay. You gotta admit, up to this point in the video, this first part is easily the rawest looking part we've seen so fucking far, dude. Like, look at this. This looks sick, dude. Sudden Majaco moment. Man, I wish Majaco was in the packs. I think Higgs or Apollo guys probably would have been pretty solid levels. Um, but interestingly, I don't think I don't think we played it. I think every map pack level is featured, bare minimum. I don't think we I don't think there's a, such a thing as a rated map pack level. Yeah, I think everything is featured automatically, which is pretty interesting. I mean, obviously, right? It must be featured if Rob likes it, but yeah. Matt, what's the hardest level you've beaten? Uh, either Lunatic Doom Machine or Future Funk 2. It depends on what you consider harder. Or Shrip. Bro likes it raw. Well, shut the fuck up, Matt Genius. You like math. You literally like math, bro. All right. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I mean the levels, guys. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Matt, you know what my honest reaction to that is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ugh, I can smell you from here. 
All right, let's see here. Apoly uh, Apocalypse Eve. I mean, it starts off as such a banger. Dude, the thing is, it has that like shitty ending, but like, it's it's up here. I don't mind putting this above. Ha ha normal map. Yeah, I don't mind putting it above. Ha ha normal map. Normal map. All right, nice, 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 nice one, Apocalypse Eve. I think that's the last mask level we'd be seeing for the rest of the stream. I think. I don't think there's another mask level. I could be wrong though. Way of the Darkness. This is one of the few non-V2 uh, Neptune map hack levels. I think one of only two non-V2 Neptune shits. Uh, and Way of the Darkness has a really good aesthetic, actually. Like, when Neptune branches out from just copying Rob Top levels, he's actually pretty damn competent with stuff like Necropolis, right? Like, this level, this part plays very well because, like, you know what is a fake and what isn't because the fakes are clearly indicated by the block, like, the bricks. Like, that is one of my favorite, like, parts block design-wise. The issue is, I think the rest of the level, like, fails to capitalize on the, like, the raw dark energy of, like, the first, like, 20%, if that makes sense, right? Like, like, here the block design doesn't, it doesn't get bad per se, but it definitely doesn't, like, it doesn't maintain that atmosphere and aura of the first 20%. Like, much like Apocalypse Eve, the first 20% of this level hits different, while the rest kind of pales in comparison to my memory. That in this level plays slightly worse than Apocalypse Eve, so it, it'll probably get, like, right below Apocalypse Eve, but it's definitely the best Neptune level we've played so far. And, I, and, I, and I, I like Neptune levels, but I really just don't think the the V2s are normally inventive enough to deserve a high placing, if that makes sense. Like, this this at least brings some of the darkness back, but... Yeah, I mean... It's okay, pack, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's B tier, though. Um, so yeah, at least we're getting a lot more Bs rather than Cs, because I'm, I'm sick of placing stuff in C tier. Uh, but yeah. But, like, okay, so you guys notice that even with the amount of stuff I'm playing in Siege here, we really haven't, like, faced any, like, infamously shit map pack levels. Like, if you if you had to talk to, like, half the new gens, they'd tell you, like, oh my god, dude, this is literally all fucking trash tier garbage that's, like, unmemorable, or, like, unmemorable hell. And it's, like, like, yeah, it's unmemorable, but, like, I feel like you always see people being, like, yo, this is fucking F tier. And they, like, they, like, pretty much conflate Square Adventure and call it, like, every level in the, the map pack. And even then, I didn't, you know, I didn't even consider Square Adventure to be that bad, right? So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I like where, I like Wave of the Dark. This is all to say, map packs are overhated. Um, I'll see if I make a video on this. Uh, let's see. Wave of the Darkness hits harder. If it was just the first 20%, this would be A tier. But I think because it peaks high and then kind of falls off, it, it still plays somewhat fun. So I'm going to put it top of B tier for now. I think Wave of Darkness is the best level that we played so far. And if Apocalypse Eve didn't, like, shit the bed at the ending, it'd probably be, like, up here, too. Um, like, higher than Can't Let Go V2. The Rabbit one, not the Neptune one, obviously. For the new people joining. Okay, so this is gonna be a strong gauntlet. We got a Darnock, we got a Flame Game, and we got... Experience Adon! What is my favorite level in GD 2.2? Um... Oh, yeah, dude, some guy answered this. My bad. Yo, I hope you're still in the chat. Whoever asked me was my favorite legendary level. My favorite level right now is, is, I think it's called Slash. It's the one where you play as, like, the pink fox or whatever, and you have to raid a base. The main reason why that one's my favorite is because the gameplay is actually good. The thing is, unlike Coaster Mountain and Stratus, I actually had so much fun playing the level that I chose to replay it on purpose, right? Does that make sense? So it's not only my favorite um, legendary level, it's my favorite 2.2 level as well because it almost plays like an entirely different game. It's like Celeste, but like it like adds a unique mechanic where you like sword slash your enemies. And while I think that there's more that they could have done with the concept, I honestly hope they make like another level with like the exact same thing. Cause I think there's so much more that the creator can do with like the amazing gameplay design of that. But yeah, I think that level was very strong. If you told me name 2.2, 10 2.2 levels or get, I guess shot, I'm actually dead. Okay, so math. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like I low-key haven't been playing that much 2.2 levels. I don't know if it's just because I'm a historian guy, but like you noticed that I only have like 300, 300 platformer moons or whatever, which is pretty bad for someone who has like, who's like top 1000 in stars, right? And the reason for that is just, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like platformer levels, unless it's like very few of them, like, like that one platformer level where you can't fall for more than three blocks is actually pretty well designed. So like platformer levels with a unique concept like that still exist. But I feel like usually... I don't know, the, 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 what can I say? The older levels are just more fun or the, the ones that like run or whatever. I feel like we haven't had a whole lot of 2.2 standouts, but math, I probably could name 10, 10 2.2 levels. I could, yeah, I could name 10 2.2 levels pretty easily. Uh, let's go with Jetlag, IWBTG. Um, I, I could just go down the legendary list. It's like Deep Dive, Coaster Mountain, um, um, A New Dawn. I think that's a Serpons level. Um, yeah, I mean, I can name, I can name 10 2.2 levels. I won't for the sake of the stream though, but trust me, I can, winky face. 
Uh, so Club Drap was pretty decent. It played pretty solidly. It's a upper B tier level, no doubt about it. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot wrong. It's not that original. I put it probably below Hextech above Clash. Because unlike Clash, it doesn't really have a totally AIDS difficulty curve. All right, Ice of Dawn, or no, Requiem. Oh, oh, this is our first A tier. <laughs> this is our first A tier, if not S. Funny game, for 1.5, cooked a level with the literal lava design. Who thought that that was even possible back then? So while map packs is mostly consistent of early funny game, at this point, funny game was already one of the goats. One of the goats. Requiem is the best 1.5 level, and I dare say it's S tier. I dare say it's S tier. I think it's S tier. Look at how cool the fucking lava is. That is awesome. That is odd. You guys have to admit the lava there is awesome, guys. And look at the block design here. The block design is so strong. I, I'm not sure if Crazy Bolt appears in one of these early packs. But if, if Crazy Bolt appears in one of the early packs, that's probably also an A tier. Now, I will say, this part probably falls off a bit design-wise. So I'm not sure if I could give this an S tier. But the thing is, this was definitely the best 1.5 level. So this is either top of A, bottom of S. I'm going to go with bottom of S for now until I change my mind later, maybe. But like, like for example, parts like this, this isn't really like cleanly made. Like if this was true S, like that part would also be cleanly made. But if you like followed like the design of like the peak of these parts, I'd say high A is good. And funny game probably clinches the, the first uh, A tier spot on this list, which is nice. I think this level really deserves it. I think it's the best 1.5 level. So yeah. Best level we played so far. W, W. Guys, uh, chat, type W. Fantastic. Ba, na, ba. A to you. Yeah, this level is fantastic. All right, so let's see here. We got uh, A tier Requiem. Requiem. What is, what is that fucking dude? I swear there's some anime song like that, like Hunter Hunter shit. All right, let's see here. And the JoJo's OP. Anyways, that deserves a first, like, high A tier or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's good. W level. W Riz. All right. Let's see here. Ice of Dawn by Experience D next. Let me see. What, hold up real quick. I got to do something. All right. Let's see here. Ice of Dawn. What the fuck? Yo, this level plays like like weird. Oh, yeah, okay. Mute this, mute this dude. Mute this dude. All right. Let's see here. So Ice of Dawn, this is probably one of the worst uh, ice levels uh, so far. No, no offense to experience Dawn. I mean, we're going to play Moon, Ad Moon Adventure later on, and that level is obviously themed way better, dude. But Ice of Dawn doesn't really like cook that hard in terms of ice design. I don't really like it that much. Okay, that's that's a, that's a nice club done, Master. Requiem mo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's see here. Like it's okay. This is B tier though. At least it doesn't play bad. Um, Experience Dawn levels usually play like shit because it's like it's all like seven stars that you have to over memorize, so you end end up spending more time on like um, seven stars than you do with like actual. Uh, how do I say this? You end up spending more time on seven stars than you do with actual demons. Like his seven stars specifically. Because Experience Dawn is probably the worst case of like memory syndrome. Where he forces you, even though Experience Dawn usually makes good looking block design, he just forces you to memorize everything. So it's just, yeah, it's, it's annoying. But this level out of all of his levels definitely has less memory than usual. Holy shit, he has an entire fake top route for 10% just to be a hater and kill you at the end. But that's, that's devious. All right. That's... Is that, is that the right word, devious? I think that's the right word. What the fuck? Am I bugging? Wait, what? So Okay, so you do have to go through this route, right? Bruh, what, what, what the fuck? Oh man. Oh man, <laughs> what, what, do I, what do I do, man? Okay, uh, we go. When they go ho when when they go low, we go high. Oh, that doesn't work. Yo, guys, I, I straight up don't know how to pass this. I might fuck around and quit. Uh, oh no. What the fuck do I do?
Yo guys, does anyone <laughs> never mind guys, experience Don is a terrible person and, and human being. Um Yo, what do I actually do? What the fuck? Yo, is this map impossible now? Okay, yo guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I can't I can't play this level. Uh F tier. <laughs> F tier, guys, F tier. <laughs> Let me be clear. This is an F tier. Okay. Ice of Dawn. Uh, no, no, I'm just kidding. This is like, this is okay. This is like, uh, lower B tier, I guess. It doesn't really do the ice design that right. Honestly, high, actually, no, I'm not gonna lie. Hyper Ice Jumper straight up looks better. I'm put this right below Hyper, Hyper Ice Jumper. That and the ending didn't do this part any favors. I'm gonna put this below one. Fuck, fuck experience, Don. I'm just kidding. Uh, Moon Adventure will probably be A tier or B tier if I had to guess, because that level is actually pretty good. So Demon Pack 6 is actually one of the stronger packs so far. We got our first A tier level in the form of Requiem. And now, now we do Demon Pack 7. Let's go. Let's go. Natural step. So this level is infamous because it's it's pretty much the def it's one of the first map pack levels where it's pretty much just all memory. Um, there's no way that you'll beat this on your first try. There's no way that you'll beat this without practice mode. It's the definition of memory hell. And while I will say that I was look, I was satisfied when I beat it when I beat it, right? Because this was like Okay, also, having a portal sinker in map packs canonically is kind of awesome. Like, it's just kind of an awesome mechanic to have, right? Um, but anyways, this level, it's funny because levels like these always just have, like, the easiest shit parts. But then with the icon part, it's like, oh, wait, let me let me make you memorize, like, a million fake orbs and be really annoying about everything. See, so, yeah, Natural Step is one of the first levels where we have to, like, thoroughly memorize it. But once I was able to memorize this level, it was really satisfying to, to complete. And I think that's the thing with memory levels. There's a satisfaction of beating memory levels that you just don't get normally. And while I don't want to do that like every time, I, I definitely think having to, you know, do a little memorizing, that's okay sometimes. So yeah, I like natural stuff. I mean, Matt, this level isn't fundamentally hard. It's, it's just memory. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at, look, look, look at this gravity ball part. There's like, there's so much space everywhere to like do whatever you want, dude. It's like, this level is like blatantly easy until true nature makes you memorize everything. Man, the stream's been going on for three hours. My head hurts. Uh, okay. So guys, what do you think about the most recent video? What was your favorite part? Damn, that is the first water that I've drunk in like the three hours of streaming oh my god so what do i do here guys <laughs> low key what do i do here guys does anyone know who let this man cook oh, okay oh i see i see the route uh the thing that's satisfying about dreamland and more like low key memory levels is like they don't make you um like you could see if the pad's gonna kill you you don't have to mem memorize it you could like logically deduce whether or not the pads are gonna kill you in dreamland which is why i have it rated so high uh, to this day on this list all right fuck this law <laughs> Let me be clear. Fuck this low. Um, okay, that goes kind of hard. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, this video is a C tier. Or this uh this uh thing. Wait, what? Bro. The whole video itself. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. I mean, look, nature step is okay, right? I mean, yeah. Natural step is fine, and here's why. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm... I, Oh no, no, I moved it. I don't know where I originally placed back on track, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot. I totally forgot. Rip. Rest rest in pieces. The the, the accurate back on track rating. Uh, natural step. I just don't like how it plays. Like, it's memory, but it leans too heavy into the memory, and the block design isn't even really good enough to justify it. Um, above Ice of Dawn Below 1, maybe. Matt, are you ever going to do level requests? Like I always say, my policy is that I don't do level requests probably. Because one, it's not really an interesting idea. And I'm not even mod. You, you really have nothing to gain by being like... You have nothing to gain by being on my level request stream compared to other people. Because I'm not mod. I can't send levels. <laughs> and unless Rob Top or Viper or whatever, whoever determines mod team wants to change that, I will never be mod. So, that being said, I don't care. If I was mod, I, I'd pretty much send Holy Flipperoni then dip. I'm going to be real, guys. <laughs> Holy Fipperoni needs to be raided. It needs to be in a map pack. But yeah, otherwise, yeah. Um, yeah, this is a very cleanly designed level from B-Kid, which is interesting to see because B-Kid makes probably one of the worst designed levels 
um, in the map packs period, which is Darna can't let go. It's probably one of the worst gauntlet levels aesthetically. So it's interesting to see. And this level would probably look, this is one of those levels that would definitely look better with pulsers on. Because these are definitely like meant to be like pulsing stars that look like go hard, right? So at least B-Kid has one well-designed level, so it doesn't look like I'm completely shitting on him when I when I rank Darna, Darna can't let go really low. Um, and Darna can't let go is not by Darna, it's by B-Kid, so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this part is is pretty bad, like, design-wise, but it's not bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this guy, this part's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. Hold on, let me reach out real quick. What can I donate? I will, I will say, but... What? When can I donate? Then donate, bro. Why are you yapping? Just donate. It's not that deep. All right. Uh, let me think, though. Oh, is this one of those like memory part? Yeah, okay. So that's memory, but like it's like clearly indicated memory. So it's not like he's just throwing in bullshit. Like it's it's clearly shown where you have to go. Oh, well, now we're back to <laughs> unclear mem memory bullshit. Yeah, this level is, is pretty okay. Hey guys, I'm thinking I split the map pack stream into two days because to give you perspective, we're still not through the 1.6 demon, the, the 1.6 packs and it's three hours into this stream, right? Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm bugging them. Yeah, I mean, this level is like, this level is probably upper C because I do like many aspects of it, but I, I also dislike some aspects of it. So this level has pretty solid strengths and pretty solid weaknesses overall. Not bad from B-Kid. B kid 1442 fun fact uh, b kid was hired to uh, make the auto version of element 111 rg but um um yeah uh the level remains lost to media because b kid himself probably deleted the auto element 111 rg and he never uploaded it so yeah if you want to know why element 111 rg is lost you could blame b kid partially not not that it's his fault but yeah b kid's one of the few people to see the entire level why is there so many c tiers because we haven't we haven't gotten to the the good modern packs yet we're we're in the 1.6 packs chrono uh, cr chronologically, so uh, yeah, we haven't really gotten into the good stuff yet. But we also haven't get. At least there's not like that. There's not that much bad stuff. If you ask most people, they probably put like 20 levels in D and 20 levels in F. But really, it hasn't been that bad so far. I'm trying to think where did I put absolute zero because I, I don't. Th I probably placed it too high. I don't mind that placement. Uh, below relativity, above. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that placement. All right. Not bad, not bad at all. Electroman Advin V2. It's called that because Robtop, Robtop can use more more characters than you can. Okay, that's why Robtop was allowed to call his level Geometrical Dominator, but Dasher had to call his level Geometrical Dami V2. You hate to see it. Also, it's funny how um, Robtop. Okay, so there used to be this feature I think in the old Geometry Dash servers where if you put a curse word, it would replace it with a dash. Right? Nowadays, it doesn't do that. But like levels like dash series dash make people think that for like funny game to get that at, to work, he typed fuck serious fuck, which is pretty funny to think about. <laughs> like, which which curse words did funny game uh, type to get the dash? It's a it's a compelling theory. Okay. Anyways, uh, this level plays pretty all right. I mean, it's just it's just a V two. It's not that deep. It's like all of Neptune's other V twos. Like just C tier. Oh my god, another C tier, Matt. You need you need a lead. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Um, sorry. We haven't seen Crazy Bolt yet, so it's CT. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. This is, this is it's very okay. That's the thing with these map packs. They're not honest. They're honestly not usually like insanely bad. They're just okay. And I guess that's most people's issue with it. I mean, it's pretty inevitable that, I mean, consider this, all these levels were made before Newgrounds integration. integration. So what you're gonna be hearing is a mix of 16 songs for the first four waves of map packs, which is admittedly quite insufferable. Hold on, what is going on in chat right now? Man, he must have majorly disliked series. <laughs> no, I think Funny Game just typed that so uh, it looked cool. But I, I, I majorly dislike series. Series is probably Funny Game's worst like 2.0 level or at least like Funny Game modern era level because series plays like shit. Even though I like the fact that it's like an awesome boss fight and that's cool, series just plays terribly. I, I can't beat it even though it's a medium demon. Especially since the first 40% is so much easier than the rest of it. It's just like, it's insufferable to play. So, I mean, Electromat Advent V2 is like all the other V2s. Kind of mid-pack. Um, I'll put it above easy, below Clutter Funk V2, I guess. Yet another C-tier, guys. 
That's it. I'm unsubscribing. Okay, Impulse, finally, a good level. Oh, wait, no, Demon Pack 8 actually has bangers, because aside from Windings, Cyber Paradise and Impulse are very good levels. Uh, if I had to guess, this is going to be B tier slash maybe low A tier. Depends on how it plays, because, like, look at this block design. For 1.5, this is very impressive block design. Like, it just, like, look, 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 look at this, like, change shit. That, look, that's pretty inventive. Like, that seems messy, but it actually looks pretty well and works out. Like, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba dum da 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 Hmm. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know when I'm gonna stop streaming, but yeah. It's just, it's just like I'm not even through that many levels yet. That's what's scary about this, man. I'm like one four through, and the videos, it, and it's three hours long. I'm not, I, I mean, I, you guys obviously know I can't stream for twelve hours, but yeah, I'll try my best. I'll try my best to do as much as possible, because I'm really excited to get to the two point oh, the two point oh one wave, because that's in my opinion like the best wave of uh, gauntlets or map hacks and stuff like that. Yeah, you guys can hear me, like, messing up, you know, my, my brain getting scrambled and shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, whatever, whatever. Joe Byron. Um, that's the third time I made this joke, because this stream is, like, three hours long, you know? My throat hurts. I, can, I haven't drunk in water. I haven't eaten in 24 hours. Anyways. This level plays cleanly, honestly. I haven't noticed any, any real mess-ups. Uh, the block design is pretty clean. This is not A tier, but it's definitely top of B tier. Yeah, yeah, after that, after that fake orb, that's the top of B tier. <laughs> top of B tier right there. It's not bad. Probably the second best level we played on stream so far. It's clean. Nice, so nice, so very nice, Mr. Cheese Tiger. All right. Windings. <laughs> that's next. Like I said, I'm not a rabbitical hater. I love rabbitical's levels, but Windings is, I think, pretty bad design-wise. Okay, we gotta move this shit up. Get down. Get up again. I think it's the second best level we played on stream so far. Maybe below Way of the Darkness, but uh, Impulse has a higher bottom floor, so yeah. Way of Darkness has a higher peak, but Impulse just is consistently better throughout the entire level. Series goes hard. It's just tough, dude. It's it's early 2.0 difficulty where it's like all like annoying move triggers that like where like every object moves at sonic speed for no real reason and it's just aids. Now the the name Windings goes hard. That's like the one thing I like about this level. But otherwise, this level just kind of. From my memory, like, messy. I guess it's... It feels kind of botanical in a sense, because there's, like, all these twisted vines. So it almost feels like a dark garden, but... I don't think Rabidical was trying to go for that. And let's be real. Theory of Botany by Vismith is the better garden level, okay? Theory of Botany is just better than this level in every way. I mean, if you guys seen the Vismith video, you already know what I'm talking about when I say that Vismith clearly, blatantly deserved, like, three map pack levels in his name. Anyways, I have mixed opinions on this level. I mean, it doesn't really play, like, fun... Oh, th this next part. This next part is pretty clean design. This is a, a pr uh, that like little bit of like black uh, black background or whatever is like a preface to uh, Cyber Paradise, which is one of the coolest looking early map pack levels. Probably one of the first cases of modern uh, map packs, but or okay, it, probably one of the first cases of modern like design looking levels. You'll see, you'll see. Anyways, yeah, I have mixed opinions on Wingdings because I feel like this part is like almost cool. Like I almost see what he's going for, but I feel like it's conveyed in such a messy way that I just don't really like it that much. This is probably another B or C, but I feel like, no, I feel like this has too much unique design quirks to be C tier. I think this is, this goes maybe bottom, actually no, I'm gonna say top of C. Top of C, bottom of B for this one, if I had to guess. Because I like some design aspects, but I, I feel like it's just conveyed in such a messy way that it just doesn't work. Okay, that breakable blocks club stem monster is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be convinced that this is anything better than top of C. Oh, what? Yo, what is this rotated stuff? I mean, I yeah, that must have been from updates, but that that goes kind of hard. Okay, bottom of B for you. Bottom of B. Fine, fine. R rare, rare, good update. And then this last part is obviously very clean. Um, bottom B. All right, bottom B it is, chat. Bottom of B. Rare good map pack level update. All right, winding, winding, windings. Gaster speaks in hands. Bum 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 bum. All right. Better. It's it's. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna actually put it uh, above extreme fantasy below crescendo. Uh, all right, and now we face cyber paradise. My throat already hurts, guys. All right. Dunar ninety eight. 
the creator of Time Road. Just don't go to the 2001 section of Time Road unless you want to be greatly upset for the rest of the day. <laughs> if you're an American, of course. Anyways, Cyber Paradise is what I like to call one of, if not the first, like, modern looking level. Just like what it does aesthetic wise is so unique. It's it's like truly unrivaled. Like, like look at this. Like this just looks so cool, right? I guess it's just me. Um, the block design is formatted in a very unique way, of course. Yeah, man, I gotta drink water. Anyways, yeah, I mean, this level doesn't play that bad. It doesn't play well, but I, I feel like the, the whole decoration of it, it, it can be, like, it doesn't play well, but I can kind of be forgiven, in my opinion. What's funny is that I think Tunar98 is in the dedications for uh, Serpange's level Hell, which is in the Gauntlets. So I have to wonder why such an old creator like Serpange decided to dedicate it to him. And if I had a guess, Tunar might have had some like influence on Serpange's early uh, career. Because like, like I said, this is one of the first like almost modern-esque like over defo style levels. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. But like, like, look at this. It looks cool. It's like electricity is surging through the blocks. It looks really sick uh, deco wise. So I think this might be the second best level we played today so far. Only below Requiem. Requiemo. All right. So I'm gonna say top of B tier maybe. Cause like this level isn't that fun to play, but it's not like so egregiously unfun that it's worse than um, the level that we just placed in second or whatever. This is time machine. What the fuck? Okay, I'm bugging. Anyways, yeah, this level doesn't only do like the lines and things. It's like, it, it just manages to look fresh through the entire way. Like, I don't even know what this shit is saying, but I'm sure it's saying something. It almost looks like a city, right? Like, like a cyber paradise. Like, do you almost see like the arrow signs that almost look like stop signs? I feel like this is just very inventive for what is likely a 1.5 level or 1.6. Yeah, yeah, there are nine off screen jumps. That is the only real level with it. What the fuck is this? Is this Neptune Lost Media? What the fuck? Yo, wait, let me just archive this real quick. Why is this dude called Neptune? Is this a Neptune level? What is this? You thought it, it would be... Okay, wood is misspelled. You thought it would be only be rocket. What the hell? Oh, yo, he completely, he completely tricked me, bro. This is... <laughs> I thought it was only going to be a rocket, but I was wrong, I guess. Well, I guess I'm the first person to beat a Neptune level, quote unquote, Neptune level. It's it's ID 1.1 million, so it's unironically likely. Yeah, the only issue with this is off-screen jumps. Uh, otherwise, this is actually a great level. Guys, uh, Neptune lost the media. I don't know if it's actually by Neptune. It's probably just some dude named Neptune. Let's be real here. Neptune would never create something so infantile. Um. Okay. I think Cyber Paradise is the second best level I've played so far. Aside from the off-screen jumps, it's honestly a banger. What the fuck? Where'd, I, where'd it go? Okay. Yeah, here. Uh, Impulse? Impulse? Nah, it's better. It's, let's be real, it's better. It, it just has such an aesthetically unique direction for its time that I have to put it above Impulse. So Demon Pack 8 was actually pretty strong. Demon Pack 9 is now the last 1.6 pack. So this will be interesting. Yeah, demon. This is the last uh, 1.6 demon pack before we can finally get into the 1.7 map packs. So we're finally about to finish with the first wave of map packs, which is nice to see. Honestly, you could kind of tell that most of the infamy that map packs have come from the first wave because Rob Top was far worse at choosing packs back then. Like he had like I think like three or four stage mixes in the first packs, and um, yeah, I mean, there's obviously like the insane updated levels like theory or relativity or whatever so i think most of the i think we've already like gone through like most of the reasons why people hate the map packs you know stuff like square adventure right uh fun fact this level was so hard that apparently rob top had to hack it according to c volton like you can see rob top like phased through a block like rob top has one of the earliest versions of no clip because this is one of the one of the only three levels in history that rob top has ever like just recorded and uploaded a raw replay of to his channel like online level wise right so yeah rob top had to hack this level <laughs> Because the other two were autos, so he didn't have to hack. He didn't have to hack funny games auto levels, but he did have to hack this uh, Neptune's club step. And ne Neptune probably hacked this as well. Because while it's theorized that Neptune is the first victor of club step, 
let's be real, Neptune hacked some stuff, and I don't really trust that he's the first victor of Club Step. I, I still think that title probably goes to PG-1004, but who knows? Maybe Neptune was the first victor of Club Step, maybe he wasn't. But that PG-1004 guy, let's just say his his remake of Club Step is a whole lot more infamous than Club Step V2. Anyways, this is very in line with the rest of the Neptune levels. It's, it's Club Step, it's not that deep, doesn't do a whole lot new, doesn't do a whole lot good, doesn't do a whole lot bad. It's just Club Step. And that's okay. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, nothing crazy, but it is kind of funny that this is, out of all levels, one of the only three levels to be featured on Robtop's account as a showcase. I think Robtop, it would have been cooler if Robtop did more showcases. Well, if you look at Robtop's old EveryPlay account, there's like archives of it, and he has played some levels like autoplay area on his, uh, whatever. Oh, is my stream lagging or whatever? Is my stream lagging? What did the ocean say to the other ocean? Hey, are you lunar? Because you transitioned badly. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad joke. Well, if you get it, you get it. Yeah, Lunar Ocean by Gel. You guys get it? Because transitions and... and... Oh, shit. All right, that's it. <laughs> that's it, guys. End of stream. I'm just kidding. Anyways. <laughs> guys, this is how to hashtag Riz up oceans, okay? This is how to hashtag geometry Riz. Holy shit. I just said hashtag IRL, dude. I'm actually so cooked. Okay. Um. I don't ha... I don't have any strong opinions of this level one way or the other. Uh, neutrality or whatever. Um, it's okay. Another C-tier banger. D-Days by Palin. So, funny enough, funnily enough, this is something that interests me. Why is Palin, like, the one profile that's just, like, completely fucking broke? Well, this this was even more of a broken profile before. Nowadays, it's not that bad. But before, this is, like, one of the few, like, completely, like, error profiles, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. Uh... From what I remember, this level actually goes pretty hard. It probably has a lot of memory gameplay, but, like, the block design, as you can see, goes hard. And this is one of the only levels to use, like, an, a now mostly defunct mechanic, which is, um, like, pretty much, like, pad hopping, right? Which, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know exactly what you'd call it, but it's pretty much the idea of, like, you put a blue pad, and then right next to it, you put a purple pad. So this is definitely one of the more, like, unique levels gameplay-wise. Look, like, Doomsday, right? It, it's, it's called Doomsdays, right? And I assume that we're in day four. So this is Palin's way of, like, mildly theming... A level which is honestly pretty cool for a 1.6 hour level because i mean let's be real it's stuff like this, like uh, day three oh i think it maybe it's, it's counting down to doom day right doomsday yeah so th this is just looks cool right and it's theming in a way that like you really don't see a lot in, in old levels yeah d2 it's counting down right so that's how you know a level story is so like day one right sweep so it's counting down three two one and now this is the d-days okay so this is like kind of like Cyber Paradise-esque. I kind of mess with this level, and it's probably one of the top five levels I've played so far. Which I didn't expect from Palin, but yeah. Um, knives? Knife! Knife party, guys. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, yeah, it's like this level is meant to have like a dark atmosphere, which like you're, you're like being like stabbed by like knives, and it's just wholesome because it's like 1.6. It's like a, reminds me of GW World Cup by uh, Zeraku. In, in the way that it themes real life stuff that and um there's this weird level called like zombie land level four or some shit it's like this defunct insane or whatever that might also be by zeraku it's, it's by some old head korean creator but yeah it's pretty cool and yeah uh that's d-days um is this a fake route if this is a fake route i'm just gonna quit the level because I, I don't really feel like oh my god that's so evil dude this guy's such a troll <laughs> putting a portal sinker sinker right right at the end is such a it's definitely a, a move. So, yeah, I put a portal sink at the end. What the fuck are you going to do about it? All right, D-Days, D-Days, D-Days. This is one of my probably top five straight up. I don't even I don't even know if it deserves to be top five. It just probably is one of my top five. I might continue this stream on a later day Monday, man, because it's been a long stream already, bro. It was three and a half hours. Oh, my God. Cobb Cob was talking to me the other day, and he was like, bro, I'm surprised that you went, like, five hours streaming gauntlets, bro. I only streamed, like, one hour at a time, and I'm like, damn, I'm surprised, too. All right, D days. I like its theming. I like its theming more than Can't Let Go V two. I don't mind this spot for D days. Maybe, huh. yeah, I I don't mind that spot. All right, and Electro Rand is the last. No S tier yet. We're about to, you know, like like I said, the final wave contains multiple S tiers. It contains Retray. It contains um, um, fucking uh, Dark Paradise. Uh, no, 
take Tate's Retray, uh, a Drift, and the Mystery Dungeon, which are all S tier levels in my opinion. So this is the last Wave 1 map pack level of like a map pack level added during the 1.6 update. Next we're gonna get to Wave 2, which is the 1.7s. And I think the I think the waves only get better over time, as we might be able to observe. Well, I know some of you guys hate the UFO pack. I think that's coming right up. Not bad. Has some click sync going on. Electro Ram. <laughs> yeah, map pack levels are funny because <laughs> they'll just like casually have like a multi-million downloaded level by some like unregistered dude you've never heard of. <laughs> and it's just like, yep, that was the old community. That was old history. Like it or hate it. That's what the game was back then. Yeah, so I mean, what I'm seeing here is a lot of copy paste. I'm not sure if that was already a thing in 1.6. I know it was definitely a thing by 1.7. Actually, no. Yeah, it was a thing by 1.6 because in 1.6, uh, Club Set V2 already did stuff like uh, bypass the object limit. So yeah, and they bypassed the object limit by uh, copy pasting. So yeah, this level has some pretty egregious copy paste usage. It's pretty forgettable, but it doesn't really play bad. Like it's definitely one of the easier map hacks and there's not really any off screen jumps. So I can't really hate on this level. It's solid. Probably bottom of B tier, just so I don't have to play, place another thing in C here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say bottom of B for this one. Actually, no, no, I'm thinking top of C, low key. Top of C, guys, I'm sorry. It's low key top of C. But now, finally, we get we get out of this. Uh, we, we get out of um, 1.6 hell, and we get right into the 1.7 wave of map packs. Uh, so let's see. Bro said... Matmar, did you know that the UFO game mode is actually called a bird? Gee, I wonder who would have told you that fact yesterday. <laughs> Man, I don't know who made a documentary about that. I, I know it was someone, but I don't know who. All right. Bro just watched the most recent video and was like, y'all. All right, Matmar. <laughs> oh, man, fucking hell. Okay, let's see here. We got wave uh, two. Wave two. Um, Let's see. I don't know how much more of this I can do, but Phoenix pack next. Phoenix Wright. All right. 1.7. Oh, this level is pretty solid. I think it was part of my hardcore route and has a has a funny face at the end of it. Yeah, so far, I mean, it's less that map packs. It's more like map packs are like infamous for their reputation, but it, it's kind of overhated. Like most of these levels are just mid pack and that's okay. Because I'm gonna be real, gauntlets, all, especially the early gauntlets, have, have stinkers, dude. Like, I'm gonna be real, I'd rather play this any day over Overture or Victim or Drippy Dub, you know? Come on, let's be real here. I know I had some Drippy Dub fans, but hey, at least it's the best of the worst, right? It's the top of F tier. Better than being the bottom of F tier. This level is gonna be redeemed because it has a funny face at the ending. But yeah, like that's the thing with the map packs. It almost feels like I'm playing the same level multiple times, like I'm in like a purgatory because I played like five levels already with this exact same gameplay scheme. You got Polar Guys V2 by Sumstar, Polar Guys V2 by Neptune, Polar Guys V01 by Mixroid. It's just annoying, you know? Like I think I think when Rousehop was instituting map packs, he should have probably had less of them earlier on, but more of them later on for eras where map packs would have been far more interesting, like 1.9 or 2.0. That's my uh, genuine take on this. Because 1.9 and 2.0 map packs are underrated and, and they always have to be compared to these mid packs. Oh, Matt Martin, you know that, bro, you're actually an NPC clone day. No, I'm not gonna fucking. <laughs> Yo, you see that funny ass face at the ending, bro? That face uh, actually carries this above Polar Guys V01 single handedly. Matt, what's your favorite fire gauntlet level? Magmatic Sanctuary by far. If you watch my uh, last gauntlet stream, you'll see uh, what all my favorite gauntlet levels are and what my least favorites are. But yeah, it's Magmatic Centurary by far. It's the one that actually matches this, the theme by far the most. And none of the other Gauntlet levels really compare to it in terms of Fire Gauntlet. Like Magmatic is A tier and I considered all the other ones to be, I think, uh, C tier or lower. Uh, because of the funny face, Polargeist uh, V2 gets above Polargeist uh, V01. I'll put it there. I don't mind that placement. It's just that you keep asking questions that I already answered in, like, my most recent documentary, uh, Clone Dano. 
Standard Madness, another uh, non-V2 Neptune level. I'm not sure how much this level does new to like change the block design. Probably not much. Probably doesn't do a whole lot new, but eh, that's okay. At least Neptune is trying to be distinct with his uh, non-V2s. I think Z-Step was a pretty big missed opportunity. I don't know if that's a gauntlet level I don't, or a map hack level. I don't think it is, but I know Z-Step looked pretty good for the time. Plays, plays quite interestingly. See, like, this doesn't play bad. It's like a 1.0 with a mix of, like, modern deco. I, it's just, like, it's okay. Like, I don't like it, but... Yeah, I think we're gonna be putting C-tiers up for a while, man. Uh, I know once the 1.8 pack hits, it's pretty solid because we gotta play some bangers like the door bays. And I think even this wave... This wave probably already has Crazy Bolt in it, so... We at least have Crazy Bolt to look forward to and place an A-tier. And uh, I know I think the 1.8 wave includes stuff like Funny Game Holiday, which is obviously like A tier or, or even possibly S, because Funny Game Holiday is considered by many to be the first effect level. level so, yeah, this level gets a pretty uh, distinct, cool block design around the end, but it's still kind of mid pack. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I can keep going, bro. My throat is sore, dude. I got a voice record still, man. Oh, man. Okay. I'm sad. Okay, you're not a bot, bro. You're such a wholesome, big chungus Reddit gamer, okay? You're such a skibbity toilet with Riz. And W, uh, I don't fucking know. All right, standard madness. All right. Uh, it's pretty standard. Not quite madness, in my personal opinion. Aw, oh, man. That was a bad joke. I'm not unsubscribed. Um, okay. Wholesome 100. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really like this level. Um, it's, I guess, better than easy, slightly, by, like, the slightest amount. That's pretty much it. That's all the credit I can give it. Stereo Electro V3. This is a, this is a, a hood classic. Okay, this is <laughs> Stereo Madness, but awesome. Okay, <laughs> Stereo Madness with 1.7 decoration. Look at how up-to-date and awesome it is. Guys, look. Wow, that, that speed change was completely out of sync and unsatisfying. And so was that one. I mean, I kind of get what this guy was going for, man, but he really could have been more inventive with it. I don't know what it is with me in the 1.7 and 1.8 block power, but I just never really meshed with it all that well. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Like, I think the 1.5 blocks, the 1.0 blocks, those are all, like, really cool. And probably, like, the best, like, early blocks, but... These blocks, like, blocks like this just really don't hit the same for me. Bro, what? Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, Stereo Electro V3 is okay. That's pretty much it. Clone Dano, I called you Wholesome 100, Big Chungus Overlord, okay? Yeah, this level's okay, man. I don't know what to say. Alright. Am I bored or something? <laughs> I'm playing fucking map packs. Take a wild guess. <laughs> Uh, yo, Matt, can you can you make a video about the team hacks hack thingy? I mean, I can, but like, it's it's just like Stormfly already pretty much covered all the bases, and I already do somewhat cover um, uh, team hacks to a, a small extent with the uh, whole um, you know. Stereo Electro V three is pretty low tier. I, I'm I'm probably gonna put it here. I don't really like it one not one bit. Yeah, er early map pack levels. Let's just say they get better. I'm hyped to, uh... Okay, so Iceland is pretty good. I know this level is very copy-paste heavy, but it still looks pretty solid. Like, Zenthic Alpha knows his block design. Uh, he definitely deserved his number one spot when he had it. See, the thing is, I don't know... I don't really like streaming on non-weekends, because I don't know how much of you guys can actually, like, show up during, uh, non-weekends. So that's, that's the one, uh... That's the one asterisk as to why I wouldn't, like, stream, uh... You know, later, or whatever. But you know the thing is, if I stop stream now, then I'd have to, I'd have to, you know, continue stream on some other day, like fucking a week from now or whatever. And that's arguably even more annoying. But for example, parts like this will have Iceland copy paste and go on for like fifteen percent. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. 
Yeah, like it's just <laughs> this is one of the blatantly like most lazy levels I think I've ever seen. So, yeah. Ouch! Bad transition right there. Yeah, I mean it's okay. Like this level is a lot of copy paste. She, the, the disappointing thing is that when Zentic does try that, this level is actually pretty good. Uh, but yeah, it's just like kind of. Eh. Let me see here. All right. Yeah, I mean it's okay. <laughs> Shit, bro. <laughs> all my energy is is gone, bro. These map hacks have actually taken all my energy out, dude. Look, don't get me wrong. I'm still like pro like secret coins being the reward that you get for beating map packs, bro. But I can't say I'm not bored by tackling this in chronological order, dude. Like, holy shit. I haven't eaten, I haven't drank. Okay. Uh, yeah, this level is so copy paste heavy. I can't really good faith place it high. When it tries it, it's good, but like, I'm just, I'm just just put it here. It's, I wish I could place it higher, but it's kind of bad. Does anyone know a list of hacked GD accounts with their passwords? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is the stage mix that's by Darnock. Um, at this point, Robtop had already had three stage mixes. So it makes you wonder, like, why would, why would Robtop just like, how do I say it? Why would Robtop include another stage mix? And that's probably just because he has a, a Darnock bias. After this, Robtop would include only one more stage mix. But that stage mix is, the last stage mix that Robtop includes, the one by Predon, is in my opinion, the best stage mix for what it does. Because it's not only that the creator, the creator was goaded and he like updated it to like, so it like still like works as a great stage mix today, but you guys will see what I'm talking about. Anyways, as much as I like Darnock and his a million alts, th this is an, another F tier. I mean, it doesn't do much right. Like maybe it's above the other stage mixes in terms of quality, because at least it doesn't outright botch the block design like they did. But I mean, this is, this isn't good. I mean, copy pasting Rob Top levels, it's just not, it's not the best. Oh man. <laughs> Luckily, all the F tiers have been stage mixes and not like genuinely bad levels, right? So, yeah, that's good. Is that an off screen jump? Depending on if that's an off screen jump, I'll put it as the second best or, or best stage mix. Okay, that's not an off screen jump. That's that's chill. Da -ba -da 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 -pra -pra. All right. Like, it's okay. But it's probably the best stage mix, but. Oh, this only emulates the 1.0 stages. Yeah, it's not that good. I think it only emulates the 1.0 stages. Granted, it does it perfectly, but I think at this point, it wasn't, like this level definitely wasn't made in 1.0. There was definitely like newer shit. This is just Jumper, you've seen it. Yeah, no, at this point, like this was already like 1.8. I wanted to make all those in one, but I didn't have enough space. Well, it's funny is uh, Stagex. You guys you guys remember Stagex, right? Stagex was probably Darnock's way of making a good sequel to this, but Darnock just didn't finish it. So he just randomly has like a, a 12, like 14 second rated level, which is just a, a lazy mix of like Rob Top stages that ends early. It's kind of dumb, but eh, it's funny. Uh, this level is below geometry level, above stage mix probably. Actually, probably, no, yeah. Cause this stage mix outright, <laughs> they look literally the exact same from this angle, but this is the Darnock one, okay? 1.8, 741K, what are you talking about? I, sa I said this was like 1.6 or something, I don't know. All I'm saying is this was outdated because Jumper obviously wasn't the most recent level when this was made. Matt, did you hear about the AIGD levels? Yeah, I've seen it, but isn't it all just like, like garbled object trash? Like, I don't think it's actually good, right? Uh, isn't it just like, like, like the AI pretty much makes like, like it, it's impressive, quote unquote. It places blocks, but like, I, I feel like your average five-year-old has like more skill. Okay, yo, wait. Yo, who's a historian in chat? You're only trying, you're a historian, right? Do you know who the youngest person ever is to get a rated level? I, I feel like it'd have to be like one of those like Flappy Bird by Dash that was made in like 2013. But I think it'd be like funny. That then like the oldest person ever get it. Like if there's just like a random like 65 year old Geometry Dash veteran, bro, that shit would be awesome. Does that like actually exist? I don't know. That'd be funny as fuck if it did exist, but yeah. I don't know. Like the genuine oldest Geometry Dash players that I know are Rob Top and EVW, I guess can't think of anyone else obviously right like if you're 40 and you're playing geometry dash i don't know about that i don't know about that 
ba, 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 ba. Like go go play a uh, Tetris or Doom, ya old, ya old head. Oh man, how am I supposed to know how old the creators are? I don't know. You're the historian guy, bro. Just be like cool and like dox like every like unregistered creator, okay? I'm I'm just kidding. This is a joke. This is a joke, YouTube. This is a joke. This is a joke. It's cap. TOS guys. TOS. I think there's a top 100 star grinder who's like, oh, I'm not going to play that. I'm not going to play the fucking level again. This level is solid. It's okay. It's a Polar Geist V2. I, I forgot to play practice mode. Uh, let me see here. Da -da -da. I'm, this level is okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh, Polar Geist V2, I'm going to say it's it's worse than this other one. Okay? How about that? All right, let's see here. Um, hmm, Polar Geist V2, Neptune. All right, yeah, I like that placement. Oh my God, I have to drink water, bro. This is crazy. All right, Power Pack, this shit was trash. All right, let's see, what's the next pack? We got Elemental in terms of canonical order. And Elemental opens up with one of the greatest levels of all time. Flappy, Flappy UFO. Who doesn't love this level? I'm not even going to go into practice mode because I'm just so confident. Yeah, I mean, look, this map pack level is pretty indisputably bad. It's just like... I mean... What's funny is that Rocktop rated an even worse version of this, which, like, has botched num numbers, but... Like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. This works, but, like... Like, I don't know, man. I, this just isn't that good. It's 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 bottom of D, probably, if I had to guess. Because it, it doesn't do anything wrong. It's... Uh, never mind. It's, it's, it's top of F. It's top of F. Never mind. This doesn't look good. You know what, I'm having my first interactive poll in a while. Uh, since most of you guys have already agreed on the whole, um, the whole, um, but, uh, the whole map pack thing. Uh, let, let me see here. Uh, but, uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start chat poll, guys. I'm gonna engage with the audience. Okay, I gotta end this poll first. Uh, top of F or D tier? F, D. For this current level, Flappy UFO. Let's see it, chat. Let's see it, chat. Damn, 857 votes on that. That's actually a pretty interactive poll. Alright, thanks for playing. You're fucking welcome. This is going in the F tier. Alright. Thank you for making that one level like 10 years ago, Jake Sand. This is the only contribution this man has ever had to the game. All right, uh, if you guys if you guys do that now, man, I hate that I'm the only moderator here, guys. All my other moderators left. Anyways, you're going to timeout for 24 hours. You're going to the 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 the, the, the corner, okay? Put user in timeout, 24 hours. Confirm. Get that ass banned. Mods fill his stocking with coal. All right, back on track V2. Damn, bro. I mean, this is like not one of the Neptune ones, so it, it at least has some like fresh aesthetic decisions, but it's still not that good. You're the 150 like W. Alrighty, right. Oh man. Yeah, the stream's about to go on for four hours, bro. This is absurd. Oh, my God. I might... I, might, I think... Here's what I'm thinking. I'll, I'll split this in two. I'll do the... Hold up. Let me, let me check. Let me check how much I have to do. So, this is the 1.7 wave. Error 3 and error 4 are far smaller. I think if I stopped, like, pretty soon, I'd be... I'll do a few more packs and then just, like, stop the stream. Because, um... Most people have to go, obviously. If it's been four hours and you've been really viewing from the beginning, like, <laughs> I respect it, bro, but yeah. Um, no, it makes sense that uh, some people are, like, dipping, right? So anyways. 
Yeah, I don't know how much more map pack level reviews I have in me. Because I think my, my commentary has been like significantly worse for a while because I'm like more out of energy. And I didn't really have this with the gauntlets, but with the map packs and like the, what feels like sheer like endless monotony, I feel like I haven't been able to do as good of a job as I want to. So to preserve stream quality, I might, but I am working on a big documentary. So be, be excited about that. Once I leave this stream, I'll be working on a huge documentary and I hope to release it within the next uh, one to two weeks. Uh, there's like 24 people watching you playing GD levels. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Uh, let me see here. Back on track V2. Uh, so it's like, the, it's some star. It's a some star V2. It's okay, right? Like it does its job, but it's around as good as that other some star V2, which is to say it's not that good because by the time 1.6 came out, like, I mean, like there was better levels. I'm gonna put this below Polar Guys V2 because I just like Polar Guys V2 a bit more. Um... At this point, it was really uninventive. I'll put it below Sterebanus V2 above Clutterfunk Remix. Uh, let's see here. Back on track. All right. Now it is Electro Polar, guys. Now, I think uh, out of the Electro levels, this is definitely one of the better ones. Because um, unlike that other person, I think Vindexi actually... Well, Vindexi actually has a real like knowledge of how to decorate stuff and have it look clean. So, like unlike Stereo Electro V3, because like, people won't even know what level it's about. True, 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 true. All right, uh, let me see here. Yeah, most people agreed with F. Wait, am I bugging or did I not place it? Yo, I'm actually blanking out. Did I? Did I? Did I ever place that? No, I actually I never placed Flappy. Okay. Let's fix that. I kind of like geometry level more low key on some real shit because geometry level has like the flashy numbers. It's it's like actually looks cooler. Anyways, unlike um, Stereo Electro V3's creator, Electro Polar Guys looks competently made and actually sticks to the decoration theme well. Like, the, the yellow outline of the blocks really gives that, like, zzz, zap, zap feel, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I like it, I like it. And this part goes pretty hard. It, it, it even, it'd go even harder in a normal mode because a lot of these map pack levels, are, like, absolute zero, are made, like, weaker by the fact that you don't, you know, you don't see pulses because I'm trying to just get through it in one fell swoop. Just for, for your viewing experience. So yeah. Anyways, after this, I think I, I'll review one more pack and then dip. Cause th that's pretty much the halfway point. Concurrent viewers 18, yeah, this stream's falling off, okay? I'm becoming irrelevant, I'm becoming washed, I'm becoming an L man's, okay? Let me see here. Oh man. Members don't automatically become my friends on GD. That was a meme. It's a joke, Batman. <laughs> unless, unless you're cool like Pineapple. Like if Pineapple friended me, I'll, uh, I'll accept the friend request off stream. Yeah, I think straight up more people would show up if I stream this Monday because like you know it's already been a long ass stream. You know what I'm saying? Mac, you make a video about Cyclic and his downfall. Little do you know. Little do you know. Let's just say. Let's just say. Uh, Look out for the channel. Look out for the channel. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, uh, Electro uh, Polar Guys is is very competently made. I'm gonna put this in lower B tier. I like it, even though it's like technically a copy. It's a well made copy. So. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, next is the Fast Pack. Do I even have to review levels from that? Like Fast Pack is not even like aesthetically distinct in any way. I think I could just kind of like put all the levels in D tier and just be done with it. Cause like, it's not like fast pack is like specifically like, it doesn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I mean, I, I've already released the, the, the thumbnail for that. So that's all I can say about the video for now. Uh, I like electro polar guys, uh, design wise a lot. Actually it's, it plays really cleanly as well. Electro polar guys is actually a whole lot higher than I thought it would be, but I think due to it's like lack of inventiveness and the fact that I'll, I'll just put it below level easy. Ah, I like it. No, no, no. Okay, I'll, I'll put it above. Yeah, I like that. I like that place. Ah, no, that place is better. All right. Um, next is the fast pack. I mean, do I even have to review this pack? Let's be real, guys. This is like... Let me just see if, if Cross just does anything like aesthetically different. But if he doesn't, I'm just going to put uh, this one in C because it's an original idea and then the other two in D because they don't really do anything wrong, but it's just, it's just fast stuff, right? These levels don't do anything like aesthetically different, right? Because if they do, then I might give it more of a chance. But I don't think they, I don't think they like actually like aesthetically like, right? I could be wrong though. 
Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba yeah, yeah, this, this level doesn't really do anything new aesthetically, so I'm just gonna, like, the fast pack, like, I get why Robtop added it, it, but, like, it's just, like, it's, it's, it's kind of a nothing pack, you know? It's a mid pack. I'll put, I'll put Stereo Electro V3 above Hopper low key. Um, okay, and let me see here. Okay. Actually, yeah, I was kind of underrating, no, no, I think that's a good spot for Stereo Electro V3. Alright, uh, the fast pack is all just gonna go in... I'm gonna put uh, stereo fastness or whatever at the bottom of uh, C tier because I think it uh, it's like at least a slight unique concept for the time. But then after that, it's just D tiers all around. All aboard the D tier train. Okay, fast back on track. Square Adventure is kind of fucking underrated. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Square Adventure is not that bad. Um, I like that. I like that play. Mm. Like, obviously, Square Adventure has that one bad part, but I really don't, like, hate Square Adventure vehemently, like most people do. And I'm, I'm gonna be real. Lightout's better than these fucking levels. Um, it's better than Hopper. It's better than Stereo Electro. Better than Eight Jumper? Probably not. Eight Jumper was probably better for the time. Um, yeah, so I, th I think, yeah, that's that's gonna be my main my main uh, end of list uh, shifts. Where did I put, where did I put Fast Back on track? Did I already put that in F tier? Oh, no, I put it in D tier. Okay. I'm, I'm going to put Fast Polar Geist above back on track because Polar Geist just looks better. Sorry. Okay. Matt, are you the editor? Me, are you... What? I'm one of the editors. Um. Okay. Fast back on track. Demon Jumper. Demon Jumper just has the worst colors, like, ever, dude. It's just like, oh, let me just put red on, on like, fucking, like, purple and just pretend it looks good. That was a, that was a bad example. Red on purple probably does look good. That, that level just doesn't do correct, uh, whatever. Oh my god, I'm losing it. I'm becoming Joe Byron, guys. All right. Elemental, fast, bionic, bionic pack. So we're probably and we're, we're gonna end stuff on the bionic pack. This will be the last pack that we review today. Um, Vertigo by Lyad. Uh, Vertigo is a sick name for what is probably a mid level, but who knows? It, it's Lyad, so he might cook. He might cook. This stream hit the four hour mark. W Riz. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, this level looks pretty good. It's been pretty playable so far. Yeah, this is a nice mechanic. I don't mind it. Uh, I think I'll, I'll I'll continue to stream on Monday depending on how my uh, throat health is or whatever. Um, Cause you know, after after you stream for like, you know, four hours, you stop becoming the throat goat. Does that make sense? So uh, that one stereo madness monster looking thing looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, this level looks good. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't... Actually, it does It does quite a bit of stuff, right? If this level remains fun, I'll put it in B tier. There hasn't been any off-screen jumps or signs of unclean gameplay so far. See, like, that's bad, but you can react to it. Are those color blocks? I'm confused. I wonder how he placed that. Those look like color blocks, but I didn't think that was a thing this early in the game's history. I guess we're getting into 1.7 now, so it's like, yeah, there, no, yeah, there's color blocks in 1.7. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty sick. And the arrows are correct. You'd love to see it. Yeah, I'd say Vertigo is a B tier. Ooh, that's a really sick design for the ending. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Time is eco. You know that shit. <laughs> Time is eco is like the Majora's Mask Moon. It's like, are you ready for my triple spikes in terror? Millions will die. Okay, <laughs> that's... Okay. Uh, I like this more than Windings. I don't like it more than Crescendo. That's a solid placement for Vertigo. Matt, if you see this, say the fuck word. Okay. You got me to react, guys. I am the ultimate streamer. I don't know if YouTube, like, demonetizes your entire channel if you, like, say curses in stream. Because I don't curse my videos, so, like, that should be fine. Oh, Skyfrost is actually, to my memory, a very, like, actually well-designed ice theme level. Like, there's many, uh, ice map hacks, but most of them aren't really that good. Uh, Skyfrost, though, to my knowledge, is clean. By Jabba Grulo, right? Uh, and then the last one is Wormhole by Jazer. And Jazer, dude, Jazer is great because he's one of the few creators, like, okay, how to say this? He didn't, he, he obviously didn't peak with the map packs, right? I, I think most people with a pulse wouldn't call Wormhole and Golden Club his best levels. 
right? Jazer has only gotten better and better over time, and, and his evolution has been, uh, as a creator, has been great to see, because he's, he's one of the OGs. I mean, he made it like Horizon, he made stuff like that, and then, you know, he goes into shit like Dimension Machine, Matilda the Machine, and his modern levels nowadays are just really sick. Yeah, Kappa Boss Fight and stuff like that. So yeah, Jazer is a W creator. This isn't Jazer, though. This is Jabba Grulo. And for what it's worth, Jabba Grulo is doing a pretty all right job. This is... It's kind of fun. I could see this being in C tier. I know this level is quite infamous, though. So maybe there's, it gets worse gameplay-wise. But I think you just hold every time something's off screen. I think that's the trick with this level. See, like, these are pretty cool ice structures. You could tell that he was uh, trying to create, like, snowflakes. So fair enough, man. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty bad. I think this is up, up top of C tier. Fair enough. Yeah, I like this. This is top of C tier for me. This is a sick uh, transition. Aye, aye, aye. I gotta go through all the... You guys see how Roadkiller quote-unquote returned? I don't really get that. I, I think I think Roadkiller is now under a new person because I don't see why Roadkiller would randomly return and just make platformer levels. I think someone just took over the Roadkiller name. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's actual Roadkiller. I think actual Roadkiller is probably long gone. For those of you keeping up with the whole Ice Carbon Titan X situation. I'd say top of C tier. Um, yeah, top of C tier is a good placement. Uh, who's Road Killer? The inventor of Ice Carbon Titan X. If you know, you know. And obviously the creator of Ice Carbon Diablo X. Let's see if we can end off his stream strong with a Jazer level wormhole. This is pretty good. Yeah, look, look at that. Like, you instantly see icons. This is god tier block design for a map pack, dude. This might actually fuck around and be A tier. Depending on how good the gameplay remains. It's like, this is very good block design so far. I, I know the gameplay is probably going to be pretty uh, bad, though. Man, my throat's gonna be cooked after this stream, dog. I, yeah, yeah, but the game—I mean, the gameplay hasn't been bad so far. The block design has been pretty god tier. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of complaints to be honest. What do you guys think? I'll, I'll let chat vote on this for the final uh, level. Uh, Matt, who's the f most famous person I know? It, de it depends on how uh, 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 broadly you define that, but I guess it'd be like, like if, if you mean like sheer sub count, it'd be like le uh, like um, I guess Kai Guy or Lemon Cake, but that's like kind of a Mickey Mouse sub count. So if you mean like YouTubers with like non Mickey Mouse sub counts, I guess Colin. Uh, if you're talking about creators, I mean I, I interviewed Carmel, so there's that, and I interviewed Riot in the past. Yeah, I guess the one, like, small issue with this level is the gameplay. The gameplay isn't ideal. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall the design has been very strong. I'd say this is definitely earns a spot in, like, the upper B tier. Jazer should be quite proud of making a level this good for his time. Because, what can I say? Not, not a whole lot of other map pack uh, level uh, creators can particularly relate. Let's see if this ending sticks to landing. I don't know if I like the block design, but I kind of see what he's going for here. I'm honestly surprised RobTop didn't include one of the uh, Horizon levels because those have a, a far like more distinct uh, theme. They look awesome. What video do I talk to Riot? Well, it's a, it's a future video and uh, in the day Geometry Dash almost died, um, Riot speaks for like a sentence during like the 110 part. Um, and yeah, it's the only part of the Riot interview that I've released publicly that's over like three hours long. But yeah, trust me, it exists and it is awesome. So Wormhole by Jazer is definitely an upper B tier level. Uh, let me see here. Um, okay, so wormhole. I like it, but probably not that much. So I'll probably um, D days Utopia Dash. I'll probably put it below Utopia Dash for the gameplay, but above Apocalypse. Um, so with that, that's a pretty strong ending. I I would like to end stream right here. Let me see if I could just uh, uh zoom out. So here's like the entire list so far. I don't, I can't really zoom it out all the way, but here's the entire list. Uh. Use that for whatever purpose you want. And yeah, that was a that was a very long stream. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and watch my videos and shit. And what's up? Uh see y'all later. Peace. Oh, I'll be streaming this later, by the way. Maybe like Monday, depending on how my voice hurts, or like uh the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Alright, peace. B2.